Hello YouTubers and fellow Screenix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we're doing our brand new Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. So this will be my single player stream. I actually have a few streams coming up from Final Fantasy XIV. A double stream with Dan, as you might have known, that was the Dutch stream. I will probably have one in the future as well with my girlfriend. But for now, uh, doing a single stream. And you guys might be wondering for my regular viewers, it's like, why is this guy awake? I slept really early. I had a bit of a rough night. Slept really early. I woke up and I'm like, I'm awake. I'm awake. Might as well get out because I don't. There's no point in staying in my bed. So I went out and like, what should I do? Did a bit of cleaning in the morning, like really early morning. It's like 4 p.m. I started cleaning stuff, and now I'm awake, so I might as well do. Uh, wait, is it p.m. or a.m.? I missed. I messed those things up. I think it's a.m. Um, I mess those things up all the time. It's a.m. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm awake now, and I figured, you know what? Let's do some streams, and we're gonna do a brand new one, because I want to have alternate, uh, alternate characters, and. Uh, when this guy was just uh, trying to get my own stream up here for a second. Man, should have done this all at the start. So yeah, I want to have different characters. This will be my single player playthrough, if you will. And who knows, maybe I'll switch them around in the end and keep one specific character to play with the entire time on all streams. But for now, we're going to go from scratch. Just opening up my stream here. There we go. Let's create a character. So yeah, not the same times as you might be used to. Me playing. Normally I'm well asleep at this time. <laughs> Gonna create a new character from scratch. I wanna check what, what race shall I go with. I have uh, quite a few here. I don't think I've got a single Lazen. I got no Lalafels. I got a few Mikotes. I don't have a Rogalin. I got. I think I got a few uh, Aras. No rough cars. I got Fieras, but for me, Fiera has to be female. I don't know with the male Fieras. It's just like I played so much Final Fantasy twelve. I've never seen a male Fiera until they created this. Maybe I'll just go with Hyor again. Yeah, let's go with your. Why not? If you guys have been watching me play sometime in the past, you know what class I'm gonna take. That's not even a, that's not even um, up for discussion. Okay, so I'm just purely checking out the stats right now, and even though they're very very minimal at this point, the Highlanders have a advantage. So let's see how far I can get. So what? Tall. What is this length? Okay, here we go. My own height is 181. I'm gonna see if I can resemble him a bit of mine. So he's a bit taller, but I can't make him any shorter. Does anything change? Yes. Right, so I'm definitely not the most muscular, but wait, long cloth, or small cloth. Even if I put this one at zero, it's no, it's not even close. <laughs> I mean, I'm losing weight a lot, but I'm not chiseled. All right, face. All these guys are angry looking. This one's happy looking. This guy's angry looking. I wonder if they all, I wonder if they all have beards or it's specifically this one. Let's see, let's see. What do we got here? Skin color. Well, I'm not glowing in the dark, but I'm not dark skin neither. Reckon that will do. Yeah, that will be 
fine. Manderville. <laughs> Where's that man? No, that is, uh... Interesting hairstyles here. Is that Clive? Kind of vibing this one. Go with that one. That's pink. I thought that was red. How's that pink? to get the orange glow in there like my avatar I don't think this game has that though like a million colors but there's no like orangey orange this is probably as close as it's going to get maybe that one <clears throat> this looks more well kind of depends on the way the light is falling to be honest go with this one. Highlights, let's see. The black it hardly changes anything to be honest, but jaw. Well, oh, that might be a bit hard to see. Six iris size. Let's go with large because that's not even that large to be honest. Oh, eyes. Um, <clears throat> gonna have to check here something for a second because my girlfriend made a character as well. So, where is she? I know her favorite colors. I just have to check.
blue is a bit too bright. Keep on go with that. Eyebrows. Has a big nose. Mouth. Ah, one is good enough. Lip color. Don't see much anyway, but. Eh, no scars, that's fine. Tattoos. Uh, no thanks. Tattoo color, well we don't have a tattoo. Oh, that, that just looks creepy. Yeah, <laughs> a, little, a little heart like that. Krillin, here we go, let's go Krillin. Clicked it, it would remove it, but no. Face paint, we don't have any. Voice. Oh, we're already done? Okay. Stern looking dude. <laughs> I like their voices. Yo, Robin, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm up early. I'm up super early today. Couldn't sleep. Well, I did sleep for a long time, but I slept early. I figured, get up, do some streaming, because why not? It's weekend. This is normally not regular streaming time. This sounds like Rick. Where's the... This one. <laughs> oh, you're still at work. Wow, you got a late night shift. This one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Deep voice, I like it. Who you got? Uh, graveyard shifts. I used to do those for a while. I couldn't do them anymore. I hate nice in the graveyard shifts. Mm. 
Mm, who's gonna be... Let's go with Halone. Fine. And then we'll start off... I don't know what I want to start off with, really. I think I'll just go Gladiator, as usual. Very, very... Uh, Got the word. You selected Alpha. Yeah, that's fine. Fur name. Ugh. <laughs> this will be a character I'm gonna put in so many hours. I don't want to call it Rick. <laughs> I'll have. By the time I'm finished with this, I have like a thousand, several thousands of hours in this, in this character. Gotta make it proper, man. No, my last name will be... Jaeger. My forename? That's something I have to think of for a second. Gonna pick with it. I'm gonna go with a name that my girlfriend picks for me. Vexus. Yeah, me neither, man. It's been ages since I played this. I haven't played even the last expansion. The next expansion is already coming up, which I pre-ordered as well. I have the last expansion still sitting in the box, complete in box, collector's edition. I'm gonna start from scratch. Probably won't even be able to catch up before the first, uh, before the next expansion hits. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with paying. That's no problem. It's like, what is it, 12 euros a month? That's not my concern, really. I mean, I played World of Warcraft for 10 years. Give or take. Final Fantasy also now about 10 years. But not as not as sturdy as Final, uh, not as sturdy as World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft I used to play a lot more consistent. Maybe because I didn't have as much responsibilities as I do now. I, th I think like this, if you play this game, you'll be playing this game a lot. You'll play about 12 euros a month. If I don't play this game, I'll be buying other games and I'll spend more than 12 euros a month. That's my reasoning, really. Here. Feel. Pretty sure that's not in the uh, when I first played it. This cutscene wasn't even in there. I 
Hey. Hey, you. Dude, let me sleep. You're right, lad. You are more... You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the Eva, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. You there. Hold. What's this all about? Inspection. Man, search the carriage. I'm just an honest peddler, friend, so uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. Sir, look, Sumnus. On a speller, was it? Since when do on a spellers do and prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rather than dungeon till the end of your days, unless you can afford to fight. <sighs> Business as usual. <laughs> ah. Amalja, Amalja, to arms, to arms. Seven hells. Consider this a warning. Now, go! All of you! Boom! <laughs> Get wrecked. Dude just got punched in the face. Phew. That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You'll be careful around the brass blades, lad. Bastards will have the shirt of your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits. They are. Only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we're still alive along the road, uh, seeing as we still have got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? Them young'uns don't march for conversation, see? Runs the name and balance me trade. And judging by your unusual garments, I'll wager you're one of the new adventurers. Yep. I knew it. Go in whatever the wind blows. Seek it fortune and glory. Now, that's what I call living. So as long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Hmm. Let's go to game power, why not? Screw it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I pick anyway. Power, eh? As in, power to do good? Like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that? Aye, I thought that's what you meant. Well, adventurers do get up a lot of fighting, that's for sure. You'll never be short of a chance to polish your Warcraft in the adventurer's business. When you arrive in town, you'll best enroll in the adventurer's guild. They'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join a guild neither. You will ask home to a few, so if you fancy yourself how to fight with a sword, your fists, or even spells, you think you should, you should think about seeking one out. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Ulda? Uh, no. I can dream this city, but of course it ain't. Still, might be his journey itinerant has a few new things to teach you about the destination. <laughs> Chocobo card. Ulda is ruled by the Sultana in name, but as most folk know, the Syndicate holds the real power. Them and the monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether. But that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of her royalists. And the royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have long fought over power, throwing the weight of their wealth against each other, 
and they show no sign of stopping. Of course the Lizardmen, that's the Amalja, couldn't care less about the old and politics. They have their own interests, see, and they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say a war's a gift to the paddlers, me bring them profit. And though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, uh, at long last, behold, Ulda, jewel of Fenelon, where folks turn sand into gold. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises, a solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance, her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. And here's where we part ways, lad. I'm just opening my stream on my second computer. Give me a second. There we go. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By the way, a thanks for putting up with me, Prattle. You never did tell me your name, though. Hey, well here's an idea. Become the sort of storied person that you can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Bye, Brent. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Gotta love that theme song, the crystal. Crystal theme. I've been playing this game since way back, since like the original Final Fantasy XIV. I've been playing Final Fantasy XI even. Oi, Venture, over here. It's that guy, I forgot his name. I, I mean you. Fresh of the carriage by any chance? Uh, how can I tell? Huh. Name's Women, and my business is knowing every buggers else. Now then, what I was to offer you is some invaluable advice by the way of welcome to our fair city. Free of charge, even just this once, like. Women, that was his name. Welcome to Uldan, the shiny beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Falalon. Please go select. Okay, well, I don't need that. Will be mouse and keyboard. Thank you very much. First things first. System character. Um, system. No. Hot layout. Where is it? There you go. Uh, 
gonna change around a few things. My cat wants some attention. She's gonna have to wait. I already gave him all the food he wants. Uh, experience bar, that's fine. Hot bar one. Parameter bar. Don't think I'll need more than three hot bars for now. <laughs> what is it? My cat is going absolutely bonkers. Already gave him food and everything. I think he wants attention or the fact that I'm awake at this time might be bothering him. Come on. Good enough for now. Uh, system. <laughs> uh, it's kind of it's kind of easy in the city, to be honest. I always I hate that city now. Uldas easy, man. Uldas easy. Everything's close by. You just gotta learn to lay. You just gotta know the layout of the city. Um, uh, not this one. This character. Huh? are over there, so seven and eight I believe. There we go. Apply. Alright, um so we don't have a first main quest. Let's start with women. I don't need the tutorial, thank you very much. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city state of Ulda, you must register yourself with the Adventurers Guild. Alright, let's do that. Yeah. You're probably just skipping all the decks as well, right? It's plain to anyone with my eyes that you don't need to that you don't know your way around here. You'd be surprised, buddy. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you get yourself mugged or worse. And I don't want chance I don't want that any of that on my conscience. So before you do anything else, you want to head to the quicksand and speak with Momodi. She's the mad star of the Adventurers Guild. I can set you on the right path. Just take the steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that is as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure, adventurer. You've begun a quest. Yep. Don't need that. Thank you very much. There we go. Alright. Um, let's start with all the uh, small uh, crystals. Yeah, there should be one here. I haven't loaded in yet. I think my computer is loading. I need a computer upgrade. Either that or they don't spawn yet. Because it's taken a whole long time. My computer's not that bad. Come on. I think it hasn't spawned yet or something. That's weird. Guess we'll have to start this one first.
I mean, normally when I uh, don't stream, I'd probably be skipping all the dialogue as well, or most of it. Or at least the uh, the side quests. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurer's Guild, you come to the right place. Name's Mobidi, and this here is my own fine establishment, if it please you. I also manage the Adventurer's Guild here in Ulda, so you might say I'm looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. Lucky for you that is, without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amalja, for example, they've been plaguing the Sultanate for nigh oh, well, forever now. Is that your second account? <laughs> then there's the Garlean Empire. None, of, none can say for sure what they're planning these days, only that they are. Aye, the people drink and make merry, but they're not even all. There's a worry where... There's worry. Worry and lingering. Feeling of loss. A little wonder. It's scarce been five years since the Lesser Moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into the Eighth Hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. It was like the end of the world had come at last. I appreciate that, Robin. But then things began to get foggy. Everyone got their own version of what happened next. Some of them two or three. You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing the adventurers agree on, though. They all played... The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame if our recollections of those brave heroes are just humble this year, as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever we try to recall their faces in mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet this sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten. And so, we call them the Warriors of Light. <clears throat> and they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. And that's all I ask in helping a land... And that's all I ask... Wow. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Uldah in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. Alright then, a promise is a promise now. I'm counting on you to help the, put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And happy as prosperous old I means more business in the quicksand too. And he wrote, let's make this official. She's a good person. Go ahead, write your name in the register. Need as you can. Did I write all that? Vexus Jaeger. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue, does it? Ah, oh, the casino. Yeah, the uh, Golden Saucer, for sure. So did I on my other Dutch streams. Alright, Mr. Jaeger. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve says my witness. I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. That's the syndicate. In the East, it is said that the even merciful God might be driven to vengeance if they're thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You too, attend to this scum. No, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight? Not an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice for one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Of course, I do enjoy hearing the gentleman's woe with the woman folk from time to time. And he wrote, welcome to Ulda, Fexes. Take a moment to catch your breath and I'll teach you a little bit about our fair city. There's the crystal right now. Complete. Level up. I leave. Yes. No. Yep. Level up. Right, let's talk to her. 
We'll meet you the proprietors of the quicksand. I want you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. <clears throat> Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so that you can help me get to know the place. First of all, I would like you to visit the Eferite Plaza. To get there, head west from here till you reach Emerald Avenue. Then look to the north, you should see a giant floating crystal called Etherite. If it weren't for the Etherites, traveling around the Orzet would be a damn sight, more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You ever get attuned with Etherite before, Vexus? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiators Guild over at the Colosseum. Assuming that sword ain't just for show, you might consider training there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, over on the steps of Thrall. Goods from across all Eorzea and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventure like you might, yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Ula, as long as you got the gill. Just make sure you don't pay more than you ought, Vexus. There's plenty of... There's plenty as bone scruptual... Wait, there's plenty as bone scruptual to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself. Especially if they think one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesaroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to help you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then... Visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Gladiators Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, a word of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out who will try to take advantage of you, there are also some honest to goodness problems who you should consider offering a help to. A lot of folk are lured to the city by promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after guild, the, um, guild the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get, and opportunities will come our way. Speaking of which, you should speak to the smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for, for up-and-coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time you get going. Oh, and let me know when you're finished, will you? The way, this w no, wait, that way, I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small clothes without a guilt to your name. Hello, Mr. Smith. To the smith. I'm gonna attune to some of these crystals first. Now you access to the Ethernet. Quick travels throughout the city can be achieved by simply placing your hand upon Ethernet shards. I just wish they would give you those from the start, really. Let's go here for a second to uh, do Moogle. Because I have 20 mils, 20 letters in this game. Like I said, it's not my first play time. They did enlarge the bags last time I played. I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to be hiding in a tree and avoid contact with outsiders. Why? Ever would they agree to carry about letters? Why indeed? If I had my way, I'd be curled up in a canopy of nice oak, dreaming about some beautiful muglet with a rainbow-colored pom-pom. Keep up. But no, the moon had to go and drop me from the sky, causing all of the terrible commotion. If rights were shattered and link pearls rendered useless. For the moons, the poor, wingless people of Eorzea had no way of communicating with each other, beyond screaming at the top of their lungs. But no one really approved of, Koopa. That is it. Until the Horned Ones ask us to assist them by delivering messages, at first we were wary of showing ourselves, worried that one you might catch the skin of us, like you do every other forest fairy. But once we saw how much we appreciate it, we knew we'd find our calling. I personally promised to try and not read any along the way, Koopa. Look at what we have here. Twenty new letters have arrived just for you, Koopa. Your mailbox is complete and an utter mess. There wasn't any room left, so I had to send back letters. 
You cannot carry any more campaign or mock station letters. To receive new deliveries, you must first claim your items and then discard existing letters. All right. Take all. Take all. Delete. Delete. Wasn't there like a claim? Oh, I'm just going to take all of them. Take all. Take all. Delete. It's going to take a while for me to open up all these bags. I got some very old old stuff in here. Like I got the mount for the original Final Fantasy XIV. That's Behemoth Moron. Fantasia potion. I don't even remember where some of these come from, really. I know s most of them were like subscription based, but I know some of them I bought as well. Fantasia potions. I could redo my character twice for free. Every time I make a new character, I get like two of these. Sorel Bell. Yep. I haven't yet. I haven't not seen that series yet. It's something I would like to watch by my girlfriend, probably. But we haven't started it yet. We're doing Star Trek Voyager for now. Baby Behemoth. 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 Got a Moogle hat. <laughs> we'll take Kate Siftel. I'll take the Onion Helm. Look, that's the original Final Fantasy XIV Collector's Edition right there. The Onion Helm. Okay. Well, got a lot of stuff. This is uh, for a house, which we don't have yet. Put that in box four. And we have a wind up moogle, a chocobo whistle, wind up goblin, wind up Odin. If right tickets, they're very useful. Wind up Warrior of Light. Barding of Light, which is for mount. We have a wind up leader. This is also a mount. Mean of Light. Black Mage Barding. BDI's Void Order. This is a mount as well. Yep, Void of Resonator. Sorry, that's my alarm. I got one more alarm coming in soon. Got the black ch chocobo. These uh, vouchers are for some under or some underwear from some uh, swim garments. We got a wind up cursor. I believe this is another mount. This is a barding. There we go. 
We got the Helen. Yeah. This one's so bad, I'm not gonna lie. I know one gives bonus XP, where is it? That was the warrior, okay, there we go. I'm gonna hike this helmet, because it does not look proper. We got Strife, Cloud Strife's armor. Might as well wear that, because it looks better for now. Actually, it doesn't, but... <laughs> so, since we're here as well now anyway, let me do a logout for a second. Not a logout, not a complete logout, just... Because there's more mill. Look at that. Okay, we have 11 more. I think this is subscription based. This is Stormblood. Pre ordering Stormblood. Participating Recruit a Friend campaign. Yeah, I got those. Or Recruit a Friend. I recruited a couple of friends to play this game with me. Tentless attire. That's from Final Fantasy IX. We have. Uh, thank you for playing. Rose attire, Final Fantasy II. <clears throat> and we have. And don't know why I got those again. Playtime, I suppose. Slept near Horn. There we go. That's the one I purchased. Is that the Drought one? Drought, yep, that's the one I want. Your friend's subscription has been retained for 90 days and closed to the Drought Chocobo. That's a double seater. And where's the last one? It's gotta be this one. Yep, that's the one I was looking for. The Friendship Circlet. Retain a subscription for 30 days. That one's actually really good because that one gives me an XP bonus. That's why I relogged for a second. So, Falcon Ignition Key. This one because this one is uh, XP for lower than level 10 this one gives XP for lower than level 25 I thought it was more yeah that was that's my last alarm sorry guys I thought I had another item that would give me more XP where is that one then things oh no here it goes increases XP earned by 30% when level 50 and below it's the earrings okay now we can get another set because I don't really like to use the cloud strife one we got 
How about laying hard, check it. Tenseless. Let's go with the Walt Rose one. Yeah, I can live with that. Alright, after a long distraction, let's continue. So many side quests we need to pick up here as well. Women would like to know what you think of Ulda. So how you... So how you're taken to Ulda, Vexus? Make any new friends in high places, yeah? Well, we, uh, when you have the Sultana's ear one day, I hope you won't have forgotten about old women. As long as you're here, mayhap you can do me a favor to take this missive to Yoshias at the Platinum Mirage. It's just over yonder. And tell the men it will even give you some guilt for your trouble. If only all work in the city was this easy, huh? Eh? Alright, let's go to the main etherite. Uh, return, we'll put that there. Teleport. Nah. Nah. Alright, this is part of the main quest. You attuned to the etherite. Hail, adventurer. Why'd you have come at the behest of Miss Momidi of the Quicksand? And then the Baru. Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of a Chuman fee. That will be 100,000 gil, if you please. <laughs> Apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look on your face was absolutely priceless. Ah, but the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of Everyites. Allow me to explain. The crystalline agglomentary ag agglomerations tap into the ethereal energies and all primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Perchance you have ever heard of the return of the teleport? Well, these are the transportations that make you use direct of Everyte's and the connections to the flow of Ever. Given that there is an Everyte in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer would mind to explore the realms will wish to seek out the attune himself to each and every one. But even so, if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, I would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any Everyte you has encountered from now on. I pray you found that in the Informative? Should you wish to learn more about Eferites and transportation magic, I should be happy to answer your questions. I'm good, buddy. I'm, food. I'm good, thanks. Return learned. You tune with the Eferite, you're now able to use the return spell. Which like Hearthstone in World of Warcraft, for those unfamiliar with that. It's like a stone you can click on here. You can now cost a return, and we'll return to Ulda, because this is now my home point. Um... Uh, Let's see, what else do we have? We have another quest over here. Jajakuda. Jajakuda is the merchant visibly protruded and in need of some assistance. Tell me, what brings you here, friend? Hmm, looking for a bit of work, perhaps? Some small jobs to add a little weight to the coin purse of yours, hmm? Well, you're in luck. The pugilists have just placed an order for my several... for several of leather gloves and harness they use for sparing. The traders are cruel, for I find myself lacking the heights required. Would I had the pelts of a few snapping shrews. What say you, friend? Hmm? Care to help a merchant down on his luck? Hmm? Bring me five snapping shrew pelts and I promise to make it worth your while. You can find the creatures roaming around the central friend of them. Alright, we got something here. Josius. Do you have business with the Platinum Mirage this evening? Yes, I do. A miss is from women. Alright then, let's have a look. Bird is barren, let the hounds feast, so it goes. How oh, it is? Well, you see, the guild is often contracted to provide prospective services. Unfortunately, for this particular petitioner, women's investigation has revealed his finances to be wanting. Maybe adventurers like you don't mind working for free, but we have our business to run. I myself have four mobs to feed, so his bird will have to fend for himself, I'm afraid. Galfir does not like the way you're looking at him, but we'll let it pass if you deliver a message for him. Hey, 
You, I saw you looking at me. You got something to say, huh? I see that little shite face. I'll end up pounding him into a bloody pulp. And I guess not, so you go and tell him. Chill out, buddy. I ain't did nothing. Diddy Lara. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk to Diddy Lara. Oh, gods. Be, be good, Gaffer Goom. Alright, alright, I'll give back every go I owe, I swear it. No more beatings, I beg of you. The lad needs help to repay a long overdue debt. Look, I haven't got the gill on hand, but I do have this ring. Ain't much to look at, but surely you fetch a high price. Was me dare to part its mom's wedding's ring. God's rest her soul. She'll understand. Show to Marmaine over at the ossuary, and you'll get your coin. Well, we just so happen to be on our way there anyway. A two to the Ethernet shard. The shards are only inside the big cities. You can use them to teleport around the city. Very convenient. Because you can't use your mount inside the city. Nor do we have a mount to begin with. Erasmus. Erasmus of the Thumaverge Guild is preoccupied with his studies, but his brow is furred in a way that cries out for help. I'm Erasmus of the Order of Nathal, and I'm charged with studying the anatomy of region fauna and the environs in which they dwell, for the dark art of the Order is death itself, and power over death can only come through knowledge of life. One day I shall publish my findings in a single comprehensive volume, The Many Breaths of Fenelon. There's much work to be done here before that day. Ape me, brother. Bring me five bottles of marmot blood, and perhaps I shall name you in a footnote. Marmots are hardy creatures that thrive nigh everywhere. You will most likely certainly find them just outside the city of Western Fenelon, by the way of the gate of the Sultana. Do take care. They can be feisty little creatures when threatened. This is the size difference. He's the other human race. And I'm the smallest I can be. So the, the Midlanders, or the Highlanders I am, are quite a bit bigger than the uh, other ones. Greetings, adventure. We're bringing you to Arzeneva Ossuary. Oh, I got this ring for you. A Gaudi ring. You wish to sell this heirloom on behalf of Dilalada? Very well. It's most unfortunate when such drastic measures must be taken. Undoubtedly so, when the item in question is a fake, and such a gaudy, poorly wrought one. Also, do you know that our appraisals are not free? Normally this fee is subtracted from the agreed value. Alas, considering the ne neglectable value of this ring, I'm afraid you would still owe us. However, since this is a rather unusual circumstance, we shall waive this fee for once. No need to concern yourself with the bubble. I will personally see its disposal. Poor guy. I only have one ring. Okay, so what now? That quest is just a dead end then, I suppose. Oh no, we get this one now, Hihito. Hihito has enough of her husband's poor work of ethics. She needs someone to whip him into shape. How can the Osari demand such exorbitant contributions every single moon? It's outrageous, I tell you. Don't they understand a woman has needs? How do you expect me to pay for rogue and sun-soaked dresses? I feed my marmot. Oh, if only I had the foresight to marry a more ambitious man. This is all his fault. It was just work. If he just worked harder and showed him some initiative, surely he would be rewarded, maybe even promoted. If things don't improve, it won't be long before I join the beggars in Pearl Lane. Save me from this cruel fray, I beg of you. Speak with my husband, Bobaminia, and find some mo some way to motivate him. You should find him at the Colosseum entrance, wearing one of those ridiculous outfits. Right there. Unholy matrimony. Hi, I'm Bobanima. Congratulations, you found the worst world's worst husband. That is, if you believe the harpy I have for a wife. She never cooks, she never cleans, and she gallivants around spending my hard earned money. And now here she's speaking ill of me to bloody strangers. Well, your hell's bent on meddling in my affairs, you can assist me by taking some of these friends to there, flyers, and posting them on the walls inside the Colosseum. Got a long night ahead of me standing here out here, so I won't be getting to it anytime soon. When you finish, go and tell Walken at the Gladiator's Guild. She give you something for your trouble. Alright. Mm. Genevieve. Ah! 
have you done such shocking, unbelievable insolence? And now look, look at all my gills scattered across the ground. Pick it up right this instance. Lady Genevieve wants you to get her the gill which she caused her to drop on the ground. Really, my problem. This is all tutorial quests. They will teach you how to interact with stuff. <clears throat> if you played as much as I have and you still don't know how to do this, you should probably just delete the game. So there's two ways to go about this, I believe. You can just... No, that doesn't work. I usually do right click and then press use, because I think that's the only one. But when you have to um, hand over items, you can either drag it into the box or you can just right click it. I usually right click because it's quicker. gill now and there better be not missing so here like I mentioned you can uh, there's actually several ways you can right click let me see if I can show them all you can drag them over or just like with the flyers you can just right click and over there you go Hmm, this appears to be everything. What are you staring at? You expect some kind of reward? The insolence. Hmm. She still gives me 102 gold. I'll take it. You help in Bobanima? Well, I ain't a charitable of you. Friends got him pretty popular of late, and he keeps fans stealing these flyers and taking them home as souvenirs. Aye, so you've met Bobanima's wife? Now I understand. Sorry to hear you got caught up in all that. If you ask me, they made up for one another. Now that's my place to judge. Mind any rope? We appreciate your help. Walking up the gladiator's guilds, muttering frantically to himself about an infestation of ladybugs in the region. Carrot your ass in here looking for work, eh? Well, you're in luck. Just so happens I have a deed with new. Una, blup, I have a deed, but needs doing. What well, ladybugs been wrecking havoc on the outskirts of town? Something in the air of late made them all ornery as an oryx in a rut. Ain't much for fighting on their own, but in numbers they're more than a match for merchants and seem more days at the teat than he has on the battlefield. Well, what it will be? Fancy putting down four of so bloody buggers, or don't you? Right, let's talk to Lulutsu. Welcome to Gladiator's Girlfriend. Tell me, are you new in the thrills of mortal combat? Well, whatever you are, or not, you're new to us. If you'd like to take place in the hallowed halls, you must be willing to ready to undergo more most rigorous training. You must endure cuts and bruises beyond counting, and like it as not, far worse. A daunting prospect, I concede, but there is no other way if you meant to take the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? Coliseum is the only most celebrated place of public entertainment in all of Ulda. Where else could a poor man amass a fortune so fast as that one day allows him to claim the seat of the syndicate? Uh, there's not an Ulda on alive who isn't inspired by the rise of the self-made man. He's talking about General Rawbone. There is no ruler embodiment of his embodiment of this than the gladiator who wins riches and fame with a sword. Throughout his long and storied history, the guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training method are second to none, and our members ever strive to develop new techniques. We desire true glory to fight and triumph midst the roar of ten thousand voices, then this is where you belong, adventure. Think of it. Think of it in your legacy, and your soul stirs. Join us. Lutsu wants you to reaffirm your desire to join the gladiator's guild. What will it be? Will you rise above the masses and scrap your name in legend? Or will you resign yourself to mediocrity and obscurity? Join? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Sir? What is it? Ma'am. Decision you shan't forget. One moment. Make way for Faxa Shager. Fresh meat coming through. Here okay, we got this guy. Zasariku. Or... Zasariku needs an adventure to pick up an order from the Goldsmiths Guild. Have you come to wish me luck? I appreciate the thought, but there's no need to worry. What? You don't know who I am? I'm the next biggest, 
biggest thing coming to the Colosseum. Cesariku is the name, and you'll be arranging you'll be hearing all of my exploits in the coming days. Even thought of the title for myself, the Garnet Gladiator. Uh, which reminds me, I've yet to collect the circle that commissioned from the Guildsmith Order. You wouldn't mind picking it up for me, would you? Sure, I'll be your errand boy. Hi, Amelia. Hi, I heard Lulutsu. So you're Vexus Jaeger. It's a good name. Strong name. On behalf of the Gladiator's Guild, allow me to make allow me to welcome you. I'm Milia, Guildmaster here. So you wish to study your arts, I presume. You have reasons for choosing the sword over all other weapons? Perhaps you think it's easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon, but to wield a blade is well anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments who failed to achieve greatness. Bear in mind before you answer me, Vexus, for I do not ask this question lightly. Have you have you the strength to live by the sword? And if be your fate, die by it. Yes. Then welcome, Gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gauge your aptitude for the sword. Just as at the gates of Ulda, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and shrews. Slay three of each and then return when you're finished. A simple task, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. Alright, I'm just picking up the rest of the quests in this area. We've got another Ethernet shard here. And then we'll go here to the Goldsmith's Guild. Get that Ethernet shard out as well. And then we'll walk over to this quest as well. Great Gladiator. So when you have all the Ethernet shards, you'll get a few extra um, teleportations, only when you got all of them. This is a Rico's circlet. Just a moment, sir. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. I'm afraid crafting a circlet as a Rico's exact specifications have proven somewhat difficult. We ran out of garnets halfway through our work. We're still waiting on the next shipment. I hate to impose, but you, would you explain the situation to the crooked half at the Miner's Guild? <coughs> My records indicate that we were supposed to deliver gemstones yesterday. Mayhaps it slipped his mind. Alright, I guess we're on the roll. There's two more quests we have to pick up here. Decisions, decisions. Did we do this one? Yes, we did. Every time I enter a new big city like this, I always try to get all the quests, as well as the Ethernet shards. Bitter Snow's eyes are those of a man in love, wrought with worry and doubt. He appears to be waiting for someone who has yet to arrive. What could be keeping her? My beloved Yellow Moon and I promised to meet at this very spot, but two bells have passed and never a word from her. God, I hope she's alright. As much as I wish to go off and find her, I simply cannot. What if she were to come in my absence? Please, we just search her in my stead. It's possible she's somewhere near the Weaver's Guild. She always enjoyed watching thee. By the gods, do you think, do you think she left me for someone else, more dapper? I try not to look like a bumpkin, but I have no mind for fashion. I mean, your your outfit isn't too bad, I suppose. I was judging his outfit. <laughs> right, let's run for it. So before you used to have energy in this game, and right now you got my HP and MP, but no more mana, uh, energy, I mean. That used to be a thing, and when you ran, you would run out of energy, but they changed that. I have a mind to draft a pint, so hurry and speak your business. She wants how many bloody garnets? Seven hells. Man, they don't grow on trees. But more than that, this lad, what fancies himself the next friends to fare, ought to be less worried about style, more about swordplay. And he wrote, I'll do my part to ensure the little bastard gets bedecked in all the god's damned garnets he can afford. If he dies in his first fight, well, at least I'll heal. He'll leave a pretty corpse. <laughs> Damn. Well, he's not wrong. Unless the garnets add extra defense to the items.
faithful Ethelwine. Ethelwine appears to be vexed by his work at the Weaver's Guild and is in need of an helping hand. Something in the cream. Oh, what shall I do? This dress, it's just, I just can't seem to finish it. Uh, oh, the design is flawless, absolutely flawless. That I have no doubt, but I simply cannot set on the color for the life of me. Would you like to conduct a bit of field research for me? I'm dying to know what the color of ladies in old are wearing these days, especially on the hustling strip. When you're finished, please call on Leusu at the Alchemist Guild. The woman is a wizard with dyes. Have her cook up whatever color you find is most popular. There's Yellow Moon. Very good, be good. Just look at me. This hair, this outfit, they don't match at all. I look atrocious. What was I thinking? Oh, I can't let bitter snow see me like this. Maybe the last tunic was best, after all. Or no, perhaps the bloom. Someone's waiting for you, Yellow Moon. Hmm, Bitter Snow is waiting for me, but I have any I haven't anything to wear. That's your problem. Level up. We got Juliana over here. Juliana of the Weaver's Guild finds herself a troubling loss for manpower. If it is work you seek, the Weaver's Guild welcomes you. Indeed, your timing is impeccable. A soiree has to be held with all the Ulda's elite in attendance. Once the events went out, the orders came in and that with a fury. Every lord and lady from Cape Deadwind to Cinderwood is demanding the latest fineries. I need hands. I need them now. Yet I cannot spare the time to go off in search of them. Would you care to aid us, friend? I ask no more than you. Welcome to our doors. Any willing souls you might find. Come, let us see how you face. Show me your warmest welcome. So you have to select him and then type in dash welcome. That's one way. You can also find the emotes over here. Social. Excellent. I dare say I would work for you myself. Now hurry off. We need those people. You can actually do it here, I believe. Emotes, yeah. That's another one. But if you have a keyboard, you might as well just type it. We all don't have a weakness for fashion. Why, just look at me. I've taken trouble to match up the rep to my hair. Ravishing, no? Okay, I guess that's the one we have to welcome. There's uh, two quests that are next to each other. There's welcome, and then there's the one where you have to, uh, the colors that they prefer. Working at the Weaver's Guild? Hmm, I'd be lying if I said it weren't interested. To whom might I go inquire further? Gods, I can hardly contain myself. Think of new dress that will be at the party? Word, would that I were invited? Well, now you are. The Weavers are recruiting. Finally, my chance to become a famous designer. All right. Did I get this Eva right? Yes, I did. Lurking leech. What? What do you want? I've no time for shenanigans. You're getting in my bloody way now. Piss off, dude. You want to be a weaver? Chill out. Weaving work. Take a look at me, friend. I'm a bloody guard. I'm on duty, no less. Move along now. I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. I'm all thumbs when it comes to stitching and whatnot. BB Chua. Fancy me garb, do ya? This is your well shit. It's the latest rage. Welcome, then. So, do weavers need help? Do they? Sorry, friend. I'm all set for coin. Then these are the ones that we need to uh, talk to for the looks. The most popular color of light? Well, all the colors have their merits, of course, but I'd be pressed I'd have to say red. Is that a Sean? Any color is pretty perfectly fine for a dress, you silly thing, so long as it comes easily off the end of the night. Doderman. What color? Well, I must say, if you, I'm just back from Gridania, and I find a certain vervet to verdant livery. Green, you bloody idiot! <laughs> so you have one red, one green, one doesn't matter. Best color? Well, you know, once you go black, you never go back. So one black, one red, one green.
Yellow moon, oh yellow moon, how my heart pines for you. What fair color in the name of the fairest maiden? Yellow. We're not getting anywhere with the colors. We've got yellow, we got red, we got black, we got green. There are short of the white dresses. Alright, so now it's a white dress. So unless this guy gives me a, a color that we already had, it doesn't matter. Personally, I've always had a fine motley of red and green overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. Yeah, this guy has it all. Rururemu. Those names, I swear. Red? Ever and always. This is Zolda, my dear boy, where the sun beats on your back with a fury fists and the sins and sands and hot and unforgiven everywhere at once. We all don't live for our passions, and our lust for life is surpassed only by the lust of her lust. Alright, so it's red. It's got this one. Which might be the last one. Actually, I don't think it's the last one. There was one on the trading strip. Yeah, it is not the last one. We got Alowin here. Alowin has needed an adventurer to help him test a revolutionary new medicine. Yes, 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 at last. My work is complete. Mark my words, this formula will revolutionize alchemy as we know it. With just a sip of this tonic, ever raging fevers will be instantly extinguished. But I must need tested, adventurer. While well, procure more, I bid you to take this batch to Pearl Lane. Tell a man there named Landabert he's trusted by other refugees. Persuade this Landerbird to take my tonic and give it to his people. I require nothing in exchange, after all. If it is truly effective, it will be a tremendous boon to the advancement of alchemic arts. And uh, mankind at large. In your pockets. Luesu? You are here on behalf of the Weaver's Guild, are you not? Yes. Alphawine said you'd be along. Well, what color did you be, then? Sounds like you had two votes of red. One for each... One... One vote for each of... For green, yellow, white and black. One abstaining, and one vote for a motley of red and green overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. By no means a resounding victory, but I suppose red it shall be. I have some callous I've been saving for just this occasion. Mark my words, I'm going to concoct the most vibrant red Ula has ever seen. Alchemy may look like arcane and stotteric to the unaffiliated, but is it grounded in naught but science and experimentation? Indeed, I dare say it does more than the advance to culture and civilizations that night, any other discipline. It's a long talk, man. So we need to go to whatever this is, the Weaver's Guild. Juliana. You return. Well, how did you face? Two potential recruits, you say? Welcome, Niels. I only have their zeal for fashion will show off in their efforts of the guild. What do we... What do we do here? What we do here may seem all silk and satin, to be sure, but the work within these walls is far from easy. In fact, I suppose our trade is not unlike any other. <clears throat> Storyteller. Achievement unlocked. We got our first achievement. Which does what? Complete 10 unique quests. We already did 10, wow. Congratulations, you just received your first achievement. Achievements are carried over, by, by, or carried, no, or earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventure in the Orsia. There are achievements just for about everything, from leveling classes to uncovering locations to defeating enemies and earning gil. There are also rewards granted upon attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons and armor. Others include titles which can be added to your display, named to showcase your greatness. Hey, Landabert. Uh, medicine for the sick. Yeah, here you go. Deep green tonic. Ha, we're not fools, boys. We know full well what the bastard Adelwyn is up to. But we'll accept this medicine nonetheless. Look at us. Beggars can't be choosers. Might as well be more exper... Might as well... Might be as a... 
a mere experiment to him, but to us it's a matter of life and death. If we get to choose between this bastard swill and nothing at all, it's really is it really a choice? I guess, uh, you know, they either help them or they die. And then, since they're refugees, I don't think the guy at the Alchemist's Guild will matter. No, would mind. Then the bird wishes to offer you a small token for his gratitude. Few, few come here by choice, a few are still be bearing medicine. Your kindness shall be, shouldn't go unrewarded. This vase is important to us, but I want you to have it. I'm just... It's just some old pottery, I know, but it might be valued by collectors of the cultural artifacts. There are men who are willing to pay good coin for such objects. If you go to the Sapphire's Avenue exchange, Chances are you'll find one of them. Right, so I believe this is the last Ethernet crystal. So once we have this one, we'll unlock two extra teleports. I think. Two or three. So yeah, I'm stuck now. So that will be unlocked. Alright, Robin. Take care on your way home, man. Yeah, time to sleep. I just woke up. I'm not sleeping anytime soon, probably. But appreciate you for joining, man. You've attuned yourself to all the Ephraim sh uh, shards in Uldah. The Gate of Null, the Gate of Fall, and the Gate of the Sultana and the airship landing are now accessible as the Ethernet destinations. So I said two or three, but it's four. Talk to you later, man. Have a good night. Or good morning, good sleep. <laughs> I don't know how to call it in this. Hi, Simkov. Welcome. Welcome. What might a discerning gentleman like yourself be looking for today? Crack face. This crack was there before you found it. Honest. Hmm. Permit to be examined this face of yours. I hope you didn't spend too much coin on this trash. A flood like items brought in by refugees had destroyed what demand once existed. The markets are fickle, my friend. If you lose sight of your current trends, you stand to lose everything. New letter. All right. Uh, market words once bore my name until fate and hubris re reduced me to this. For your sake, I pray that you do not have to learn this lesson the same way I did. So, how are my quests doing? Okay, gotta kill some enemies. And I forgot about this one. Hey, Cesaroga. Oh, a new come leaf adventurer. But of course, yes, I'm Cesaroga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have to teach me the ways of the marketplace. Very well. As for my fee, what? Expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. Dear adventurer, when you ask Uldan down for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth for well. Judging by your garb, I'd rather doubt you could afford my services, but the fact you offer is nothing is laughable. Well, here's a letter of introduction. Oh, Mrs. Mambodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? Hmm. Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the buzziest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, all the last market have ever served as both literal and figurative centers of Georgian commerce. The great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of our maritime trade between Velbrand and Aldenart passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies and consortia have chosen Ulda as the base of their operation. They see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and money lenders, day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek adventure? Deadlier sword, perhaps? A shinier trinket? Whatever it is you want, the exchange will have it. To the north, you will find the merchants peddling armors and accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. And to the south, you will find weapons, tools, and the assortment of other useful items for sale. The 
Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content. But do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of a moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. Uh -huh. That is all for the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Momidi, and we'll have with you. Alright, that's taken care of. Um, let's go say hello to these enemies outside. And do I already have a hunting log? I do not. Then I think... Oh, I don't know actually. Let's go kill some enemies. I think we have to complete the way of the gladiator first before we unlock the hunter's log. Mapping the realm, central fenelon. Yeah, before you actually had to explore everything. Nowadays, it's just like you explore the entire area when you enter it. Save for new DLCs, I believe. Expansions. Got a few quests complete. The only quest we have left is on the west side. I guess we could just do that now as well. Compost, don't need to learn about those. Experience points, don't need about those. So we need to go to the gate of the Sultana. Get a new achievement. There we go. Mapping the realm western family. Nice, level five. So we got some items here. I'll put the crafting items in as uh, in tab two for now. We can sell them at vendors. We can sell them on the market. Me? Since I still have to level all those classes, I'd rather hang on to them if I can. So we got five quests complete here. And this one is the most important one here. The one with the little fire around it. That means it is... The little fire means it's the main quest. You also have this one with a plus here, Wave the Gladiator. That means there's a certain extra reward added to it, like a new skill or a new uh, ability. 
Hey, Erasmus, the blood, have you brought it? Yes, here's five marmot blood. Yes, this shall serve nicely. By virtue of your toil, I'm one step closer to publishing the many breaths of Femelin. Thank you. Take this as a recompense. Go now and make the traitor smile upon you. So, you can choose a hat, or you can choose this. I'll go with the gold, because I actually have a... I probably shouldn't, I realize. Because now, there's one quest where you need to have gear, level 5 gear equipped in every slot. I probably should have picked that helmet. But I like this one because it gives the bonus experience. I'm not sure how much bonus experience we get right now. It would be nice if we could see that somewhere. But I don't think that's uh, a statistic you can track, unfortunately. No. Actually, I'm not sure, but we have the earrings as well. I'm not even sure if they're stackable. These earrings are great, though. XP earned by 30. If you increase that with the helmet, you got... Uh... Actually, I... XP bonus is 20. XP bonus is... 30, so it's 50 extra bonus. That is quite a lot, to be honest. Back already, are you? Come, let's see what you brought. Exp except exceptional. These are the fine shrew pints indeed. Well done, my friend. The Pudulous Guild is among the best, among the largest clients. I fear that we have come to pass at this order being delayed any longer. Take this, hmm? You more than earned it. All right. Appreciate that, little buddy. Or is that rogues to call a for little? Well, they are. Stain facts. Let's get that letter that I received. I don't know from who or what. Oh wow, yeah, I forgot about I was thinking, do I have that thing or not? But apparently I do. It's been so long. The Mystic Panda Mount. So I did have it. I was thinking, I knew I had it on one character. I was just thinking like, did I buy it account wide or did I buy it just for one character? I'm not sure if that's an option though, but. Oh, was the tour of the city, Vexus. You got lost, did you? I well, well, that's a big place with lots to see and do, but wandering around aimlessly don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. So when you go exploring, explore like you've got a purpose, eh? Alright then, all that's left for you is to do hard work, make money, and spend it here in quicksand. Omidia of the quicksand wants to introduce you to a certain someone at the old ass dispatch yard. Well, young Lin, how are you finding one? How are you finding our fine Ula, then? Got your bearings about you, get? If so, mayhaps it's time you venture beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Ula are one thing, but the wilds of Fallon, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to. And he, you. Name of Papa Sean. You find him over at Ula Dispatch Yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. This dispatch yard is over in central Fallon. Just head out the door across the hall and you'll see the gate of Knoll staring right back at you. Pass through it, and head east, you'll come right upon it for long. There's dangers beyond them, wall, though. More than I care to count. Nothing too terrible, might you, but feisty enough to attack you if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. Okay, we got a few extra quests here. We got, uh, Botolf. Botolf finds himself at a loss after realizing the package he carried is not his own. <sighs> Pray let me <sighs> catch my <sighs> breath. I went all the way to the Scorpion Crossing for a package. But only just now realized I returned with the wrong one. The, the way is back so far. I can't. I simply can't. Would you make the trip back in my stead? I'm sure the poor soul at Scorpion Crossing is missing his package. I haven't the breath to tell you the way. Go and see. 
Mimishu. Okay, Kazani. Okay, Kazani is shrinking, is shrinking in duty and could do with a wake-up call. Hmm. Sure, darling. You can come for her, right? Where am I? Where are you? More importantly, where'd you go? Oh, bugger. Did my shift start already? The hell's with it. I'm feeling exhausted anyway. Mind taking this to Gigashu at the dispatch yard outside the city? we will probably give you something for the reward. Got so many quests lined up right now. Don't have an offhand, nor do I have a crystal yet. There's Mimishu. Scorpion's crossing. The way couldn't be simpler. Press to the grey and head west until you come upon it. The ring a package, are you? In that case, you'll want to speak to Oswald when you arrive. We'll come back to this area later. I know that, 100%. So I'm just going to deliver the quest and then return. Because I don't want to do the quest in this area yet. I usually do the side quests in the area where the main quest is. And I know for a fact that we'll encounter this area probably about 50 times. Or more specifically. Horizon and uh, Vesper's Bay, was it? Vesper Bay, yeah. So again, there's a few quests here. It's gone. You just know it. Gods, and had enough problems already. You took the wrong package, but told you bloody oaf. Horizon's packet. You're a 12 cent. You spared me quite a headache, friend. Thank you. If only there wasn't so many other misplaced shipments plaguing me these days. Is this considered level 5? It is, so I should probably go with this. Well, th this one is actually useful. Because it's better than what I have right now. What I have right now is just vanity item, really. It looks bleh, but it will do the job. Did I pick the wrong one, by the way? Not sure. Did I, I think I might have picked the... Uh, I should pick the other one, I think. This one is for uh, archers, etc. Is it? It has dex. I don't really use dex as a paladin, I believe. I need strength and vitality among. Those are the first ones. Strength and vitality. Though it matters very little at this point, really. And dex is not the worst stats to have, I guess. It's better than intelligence or spirit. Is it called spirit? No, it's called mind in this game. Back in one place, how about Arya? It's about bloody time. I admit, you look as tough as you just picked up a sword yesterday, but you handle yourself well enough. I'll give you that. And here, I'll give you this as well. Ain't worth a night in Ulda's finest pillow house, but I'm sure you'll find a use for it. I know, maybe I did pick the right one. Um, Camellia. Welcome back, Vexus. I take you've dispatched the beast and with ease. Rest assured, there will be greater challenges to come. If you wish to master the sword, you must test yourself against a wide variety of foes. To this end, I present you this hunting log. It contains information of creatures ideal for gladiator and training. You will doubtless gain valuable experience should you seek them out and slay them. It is only with such practice that you will recognize and eliminate the devious and sincere techniques. That didn't come out well. Your training under me shall continue and a half sits so snugly in your head you cannot imagine holding on else. Until then, Vaxus. 
Quest complete. Level up. Hunting lock unlocked. Let's go. Professor Milia wishes to teach you the fundamentals of gladiatorial arts. Ah, Vexus. I take it then. You and your sword have become better acquainted. Then, I will now instruct you on the other fundamental aspects of what it means to be a gladiator, commanding an opponent's attention. The gladiators? We are trained to engage enemies at close range. Weathering their attacks, we deliver our own. However, there are times when we must do battles alongside allies whose talents are not the same as yours. In such situations, your role is not to slay the enemy in front of you, but rather to defend the men beside you. We do this by electing the enmity of our opponents through attacks and techniques designed to incite their hatred. You must learn to draw the enemy's attention to yourself and I trust in your stout constitution to endure. In so doing, you protect your weaker comrades who would otherwise perish. To help you better understand this, there's a task I would have you to perform. It just so happens that Momidi of the Quicksand has requested our assistance. A gang of Lomins and Marauders has paraded into town and begun harassing people outside of his establishment. Men like these prey on the weak, but if we turn tail and flee, the first sign of defiance, you need to resort to violence. Men like these prey on the weak, but will turn tail and flee at the first sign of defiance. You need not resort to violence, it will suffice to show them that you are not afraid of them and will not tolerate their behavior. Seek out the Lominsons and make your way presence known by bellowing, face me marauder. In this way you will protect the people all as you would your allies in battle. So this quest is still in the city, the other ones leads us both to the dispatch yard. The dispatch yard being over here. Right there. So here you have to press slash me. Praise me, you coward. The hell's your problem? Maybe she likes her man rough. Were you supposed to be your bleeding manservant? Ugh, I don't matter. You've gone and spoiled the mood. Yeah, that's what I would say. I would kick your butt. Here's another one. Harassing other people. Stop harassing him. You know your friend here is a 12th damn cheat. Thinks he can change us more because we're foreigners. Charge us more because we're foreigners. But we'll get, on, we'll get his own back. Mark me words. There's another one right there. Keen Eyed Marauder. What are you sniffing around there? Oh, there's someone on the ground. I didn't see him. Oi, come on now. It was disrespecting me proud sea wolf and Erigic. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave the bastard be. But we ain't finished. I'm not really sure if that's what's going on or they're just being a douche. There's one more last one. Let the little guy go, come on. What? You're blaming him because the little shite shed his own pants? Well, bugger me. And I bugger you too. Go to Momidi? Oh no, there's one inside the uh, quicksand. Farmerl. You there, buddy. Got a problem with me? My poxy arse is your best screw. I'd sooner drink a pint of my own piss than this swill. That's not very nice to say, is it? Come outside. Let's have a fight. Just who the hell do you think you're speaking to, maggot? I'm Farmerl, the Driven, and me bloody marauders have been reaving so long, mothers scared their children with the tales about us. Don't believe me words, then let me do the act, let my ex do the talking. Oh, oh, this is lively, even for the quicksand. 
You two going to put on a show for us? What's this? A little guts damn fool. Show some respect when you talk to. From the Driven, leader of a troop of bloody murmurs or some such. Aye, I heard you the first time. Your voice is quite carries well. And unless you want me to split your skull with me axe, you better... Oh? Yeah, you better apologize. You recognize that sword. That, 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 that sword? It couldn't be. Frenzy? Not only the sword of Null would... Bloody hells. It's you. You know, I've never been one to stand back and watch. Why didn't I join the fun? Uh, b b begging your pardon, sir. Meow, off he goes. Why did you always do that? <sighs> Looks like it's just you and me. Standing up to the little was quite brave of you. And quite foolish. I think I like you, Gladiator. Name's Aldis, and I'd buy you a, and I'd buy you a drink, but I'm afraid I just spent the last of my coin. I used to be a young gladiator like you. Back then, I... Uh, but it hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored. A seeker of his yet unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bat warm right now. Gods, I've missed the city. This wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, we'll be seeing him. All this... I swear, if I hadn't seen all this with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed him. Everyone here thought he died years ago. Listen, Fexus, do me a favor and don't tell Milia about meeting Alice, alright? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Why? Well, let's just say some folk ain't good for one another. Probably should have teleported instead, it's quicker. Hi, Melia. I've already heard of your exploits at the quicksand vexes. Yeah, well, to send the marauders pecking. I wish I could say we've heard the last of them. Alas, we received rewards of ex wielding raiders, assaulting merchants, traveling through Scorpion Crossing. It seems work will not suffice after all. I want you to finish what you've begun, Vexus. Head to the Western Fenland and see that farm world of driven it. All those who've shared it in his crime never fought, never trouble the people of Uldan again. Right, so we gotta fight this time. Which is okay, because that's Western Fenelon. There's actually quite a few hunting logs we can complete. The little ladybug is there. The, uh, the cactuar is there. Uh, hammer beaks are there. That's central. That's Western. Just gonna do all of them. Box is one of them. Cactuars should be here. There we are.
That's also done. Hammerlea. Hammerlea. Horizon's Etch, right. The, the mongrels might be a bit harder. There should be over here. Right about here. And Hammerlea's over here. Got hammer beaks. Let's take these guys now. Yo, DNNG. Yeah, I was early. I slept really early yesterday. I was tired. I slept around like eight o'clock. So I woke up extremely early this morning. So I was like, you know, if I'm awake, might as well stream. How you been, buddy? I mean, I've already been streaming now for two hours, so I was awake like 5 o'clock, 5.15. I was awake really early. I think I woke up around 4, and then I was watching one of my favorite streamers who I just, who was about to go offline. But I was able to catch the last bit of it. And then I'm like, yeah, now I'm awake, great. Level up, sweet. And like I said, I've always wanted to stream this game, and I was kind of waiting for a co-player to stream with me. I have two two characters now. One I will be playing together with my girlfriend and one of my own. So I'll be playing this one for a while. I'm tired as F, but my alarm will go in about 30 minutes. You got anything to do then? Do you have a, a gig, a performance? Because it's Saturday right now. I know you don't work on Saturday. Normally. Congratulations, man. Is today her birthday, or...? So I'll be assuming there will be another video up on your channel. For those who are watching, or for those who will be watching in the future, if you see DNNG here in the chat, which is Dylan No Name Gaming, uh, who I streamed before with quite a few times, he has his own channel. Go follow him out on his channel. He does vlogs about Efteling, etc. But I think DNNG is just a Dutch channel. Or do you do English as well? Or is that the other one? Is that Dylan No Name Gaming, the full name? Because I don't have a lot of Dutch viewers. Most of my viewers will be English. Do you still use the other channel you have? Because that one is still is a recommendation on my channel as well. What's the ninth? <clears throat> ah, yeah. Well, it makes sense that you do it in the weekend. Celebrating birthdays during the week? Yeah. Weekdays are not the best for that. So we did all the hunting logs here. It's like, why didn't we level up? This is a level 10 hunting log, but then I realized that it's a two-part. Alright, um... We still have to do the quest itself. Right there.
I'm just ignoring the fate right now until we need to grind. I'm not sure if we still need to grind those coupons for the mount. You used to before, but it's been years since I've done that. Got a nervous merchant here. They, they tore me from the saddle and took everything I own. Bring back my goods to me, I beg of you. Go away, Farm Merle. You're nothing. Did he even do damage, I wonder? They, they took me Yeah, okay, I got you everything. 12, bless you, adventurer. If it weren't for a good man like you, would never leave home. Well, I hope you enjoy your day, uh, Dylan. Efteling. Yeah, Efteling is a great theme park. I know you live right right around the corner, so for you it's convenient to go there. For me, it's still a good hour and a half travel, I think. Like an hour-ish. Hour, hour and a bit. Hour and 15 minutes. Been to the Efteling about... Probably 10 times in my life. Something along those lines. 10 or so. So I am familiar with it. And it's, it's a nice theme park. Especially the last few years, you know, when they invested more into roller coasters, etc. Because before it used to be more like a theme park, you know, with uh, fairies, uh, fa fa fairy tales. And they had some nice attractions, but now lately, you know, yours and the Drag, the Barol, those kind of things. They added more roller coasters. I like theme parks. But I usually ride the coasters. Or the freefall towers or launching towers or anything thrilling really. Probably won't see me go in a merry-go-round. That or unless I... <laughs> I'm feeling drunk. Good, it is finished. And with that, the stage of your training is complete. This time your enemies will were ill-behaved ruffians. But who knows what manner of opponents you will face in the future. Regardless, I have faith that you will do well. Master your sword and you shall master yourself. Now then, there will be work for you in the days to come. Return to your training, Vexus. We will speak again. So we got the sword. Uh, I need this one, because I didn't get the hat from the previous reward. My normal drive is about 15 minutes. Ah, so I'm assuming you're near me now. I won't say the name of the place, but I know where you are. Closer to me, at least, then. Let's put it like that. Alright, we can finally progress. I had to stretch there for a second. We must rebuild. There we go. That's level 4 quests. And we are now level 8, so we're ahead of the schedule. But that's good. 
Yeah, okay, then I know where you are, yeah. I figured I figured as much. So how's the uh, how's the job search going? Found any uh, any decent jobs yet you'd like to do? Central, this is central, this is central, this is central, all of this is central. You can do all of them right now. Next one is Antling Worker, that's Black Brush, that's up there. I haven't played this game for, well, a couple of years, I suppose, except for the Dutch stream, but I still remember all the area names. Giginasu. Anyone seen Kekazani since last night? Anyone? Oh, here. Hey, what are you doing with that timetable? I've been looking all over for it. Got it from Kekazani, you say? Why the useless drunk? I'll wager he was out at night again, chasing after skirts. That's it. The next time he misses his shift, I'm tying him to the tracks. <laughs> Damn. This guy is just tying him to the I've never seen a train drive here by, so it should be fine, I suppose. So I'm not going to wear the eye patch just yet, but I kind of want to see how it looks. Yep. Now I've got an eye patch. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, actually. But I'm keeping this one because it's better. Uh, we had leggings. Hemp and sorosol. Nah, you'll get one. I know you will. I know you're not in an extreme hurry right now. But, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's nice to have a small break. It's better to take your time finding the job you like, right? Than keep jumping jobs. We got Nymphadora Dora. <laughs> That's such a bad name. Well, you certainly looked the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be a good soul, Moby advised me to expect, hmm? I am Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch shard. An empty an empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than tired old Lalafell passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Twelve, no, there have been plenty of both these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now true oldens work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweating of our brows and we love our of our home, we have rebuilt old Aunt to a grandeur and majesty that you see today. Well, there's plenty of jobs out there, I guess. Sometimes you just gotta settle with a job you might not immediately like. If you need money, you gotta work, man. Well, not in the Netherlands, I suppose, but... <laughs> that's another topic. The railways, which run right through the dispatch yard, too, were born of the noble efforts of many, great many souls. There's still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Ulda needs the aid of you and your brethren, my friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point. I suppose I do believe I may have some work for you suited of your ability. Alright, now we're getting finally getting some gear here. Station Master Papa Sean has a simple task for a fledgling adventurer. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. I just happen to have a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area, a dispatch of the dispatch yard, as you were. They have been long away with the shade and feather bits of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hell on the mind and body out there. It isn't much, but go give them these twilight pretzels, would you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. Dude, that's dark. Why would you kill yourself? Did he just say that? He did. Got Rampart. Well, 
Halt, sir. I'm going to have you have to put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. Yo, chill out. It's your pretzel, man. State your name and business. A twilight pretzel from Papa Sean? By the gods, forgive me. You could say this new post has my nerves in a twist. I'm terribly sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch. Please give Papa Sean my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Papa Sean is a great character. We'll be seeing him a few more times, so I can guarantee you that. <clears throat> yeah, that sucks, man. I know you've been. I know you've been spending a lot more money lately than you used to, as well. <laughs> Well, save me. Scorching days, freezing nights, this post will be the end of me. Here's a pretzel. Stay sharp, buddy. Twilight pretzel. Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, now that's a refreshing goddamn pretzel if I feel reborn. Should've put the ex- uh, the... Should've read that a little different than I did, but oh well. He's happy with his pretzel. Got one more pretzel to deliver. They're guarding the dispatch yard. Yes, they are. From what? From these level 3 units? Full armored knights? Most unlikely. They're better geared than I am. Western front, clear. Eastern front, clear. Here's a pretzel, buddy. Good job. For me, from Papa Sean? Twilight pretzel? My favorite. How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't find on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. Why did you join the Sultan Swarm? Not even the Brass Blades out here. It's the Sultan Swarm. These guys are elite. Your return, and with a deal of fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how fair are Sultan Sworn sentries? Do you have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing. Are you sure? I... Oh. Oh dear. Take this for your troubles and stay a moment. There's more than I would ask of you. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. I already had a new sword. That's the same one. So we're gonna go with the gold then. <clears throat> level up, level nine. Now waiting on a couple of possibilities. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, gotta have more than one up. Uh, you gotta always apply for more than one job, really. So you have possibilities as well. Vexus, I have just this moment. No, no. The time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had you delivered those pretzels, I was privy to some most unselling news. Which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan Sworn? Papa Sean is in dire need of your assistance. Here we go. A young nobleman from a very prestigious family has run away from home. I've been ordered to see her and save her turn. The Sultan Sworn you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they've found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start. But we must proceed with cautious. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. It cannot happen, Vexus. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Praise the Twelve. I knew I could count on you. I instructed the others to expand the search, but Fallon is fast and there are only so many of us. The young nobleman's name is Liddy, Lady Lilera. Wow, I can't even pronounce that. Lady Lilera. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Lady Lilera. Lady Lilera. Wow, why is it so hard to pronounce? Try saying that ten times in a row quickly. Lady Lilera.
Could have sworn I heard footsteps behind me, but it must have been the snapping shrew there. Who did Lala fell? Oh, Sultan Tree. You are about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help menu before answering the call of duty. We're talking about this one. What I'm curious about is what the Sultan tree looks like. But that's a big tree. That's a very big tree. Let's go. So yeah, storied battles. They have their own instance. You teleport there and you get this scripted battle. Oh, Sultan tree. Hallowed spirit of my line. Forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. It's the first bit of voice acting we got here. If that happens, I won't read them out loud. Show yourself. <sighs> As you command, O Lily Run. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. We got another big character right here. This guy, the white-haired guy. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them, if it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. <laughs> you should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. The gargoyle. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend. For Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. <laughs> please stay in harm's way, I like that. Let's go. White haired dude, which I don't know the name of. I do, but I'm not gonna tell you until he tells me. I mean, I do about 29 damage. He does about 153 damage. He also has blind. And he has flash. So he's using... That's not, that should not be in his repertoire. I know what class he is. And he's using gladiator skills, which he is not. I like his name. Handsome Stranger. This one's kind of easy. He's level 12, which is quite high. And they level kept me. I'm level 9, but they kept me at 8, I believe. Stay close, you got me to heal you. Didn't even take any damage. Not a single piece. Yeah, he's using Sword Oath. He's definitely using Paladin skills. More of them, really now. There are limits to our hospitality. Come on, uh I keep I keep wanting to call out his name, but I'm not going to. I 
I'll try to give as less spo as, uh, as few spoilers as I can. At one point, there will be uh, a place in this game I won't have reached myself yet, so that will be fun. There we go. Duty complete. Crystal. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, 
If I only knew. A denizen of the void at any rate. The void scent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then. So I still don't know his name. Stay awake. Bye, stranger. So we still want to do the hunting logs here. Let's go to underneath the Sultan Tree. Yeah, that's the main quest. Sultan Sworn have returned. Thank the gods you've returned. Yet us all worried. You do realize what would happen if the person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse. By her grace, the Sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be sweeping in the streets. Weeping in the streets. But I've already given you cause to weep, Barshan. You and the people hold on. Please, you're... You're not to say such things. You will find it, I swear to you. It is not my place to make demands, my, my lady. But I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. I cannot thank you enough, Vexus. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilara from the Voigts and Fiends. For your gallant service, you dare serve all the riches in the Zeruel Vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Appreciate it, Papa Sean. Hmm, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder. I see, you met Thancred. That's his name, Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his day investigating oddities in the Ever. Rather too fond of his sound of his own voice for my liking. But perfectly harmless. As for you, Vexus, you're just the sort of adventurer you need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to people of Fallon as you did to us today. Right, complete. We got Kikidoa. Kikidoa needs a reliable adventurer to deliver a gift to the coffer and coffin. You're an adventurer, yes? You're not. Otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I resolved to repay a debt of gratitude which I owe to the owner of Coffer and Coffin. For the purpose, I've purchased from the royal plantations a ridiculously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. 
Alas, I cannot part this place to procure any proper... And no, wait. I cannot part this place to procure and prefer the pumpkin, you see. I scout a shipment from Nanawa Mines, for which I wait is late. I prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the covering coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the Royal Plantation, and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Well, it's a main quest, so we don't really have a choice. There's also the side quest, Hiyaja. Hiyaja needs the help of finning a snipping shrew population. Fenelon has ever been a barren region. Believe me when I say it takes no small amount of effort to make crops grow here. We've even introduced earthworms to the soil in order to enrich it. Alas, they've been nigh eradicated by snipping shrews, burrowed creatures native to these parts. Unless we save the earthworms, the earth plot won't yield as much as a single pumpkin next harvest. Won't you help us finning out the shrew population? Shrew hills will be the best place to start. All right. And we got Gagari here. And see, Sadoa doesn't seem. doesn't come calling soon. This particular specimen so sadly passes its prime. Oh, you're to deliver this delicate. Delic, the delic, wait, I can't even read that. So you're to deliver this decadent delight? I can say with a confidence that any gourmand would be grateful for such a grand gift. Here's a pumpkin. I hope it meets Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, as we're always deluged with demand. You know the way Coffer and Coffin, correct? It's beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where the local labors lounge. We've got Shrew Hills here. That's one. That's three. Thank you, friend. You truly are a champion of the earthworms. Now we can look forward to a plentiful harvest of pumpkins. I wonder which ones will grace the Sultana's plate. There we go. We had a follow up quest. He judge I can point you in the direction of work. An idle adventure is a sorry sight. I have no need of existence at the moment, but perhaps someone at the Coffer and Coffin wants a helping hand. Bowo Baru, the resident chief, comes to my mind. The man is obsessed with inventing new dishes, and I hear his current fascination is fish. If you were to donate some of his cause, I'm sure he'd be grateful. Now, a simple farmer and I don't know much about fish, but I know what I like, and I like Orobon. I won't find any more succulent fish in these parts, I tell you. If you have a mind to save some fish from Wobobaru, I can wholeheartedly recommend Fatty Orobon. Four slices or so should be enough for him to experiment with. Orobon, oh, that, that doesn't look very tasty, trust me. I know what Orobons are. But maybe it is delicious, I don't know. That's an Orobon. So, um, I don't know what they are. I guess it's a fish. Sort of. So what did I need? I need antling workers. There they go. I need a few of these. How many do I need? Three. Playing European servers here, and it's quite early, so you don't see a lot of people around here. This as well being like the starting area, so even less. So we got the spring grave rubbers at the black brush. That's where we are right now. If I'm not mistaken, they should be near the water. I 
I believe this is where the spray-ins should be. Yeah, here we go. There's another person. Level four. There's another person there, level ten. go, that's another hunting lock complete. Level up. Level 10. Sweet. Oath gauge unlocked. Ah, because we got shield oath. There we go. We got shield bash, which is nice if we had a shield. What else do we need? Kirk and Shell Sweepers and Entling Soldiers. Entling Soldiers being in the north, Gurklin being to the east, I believe. Those might be Gurklings as well, by the way. Yeah, they are here. Like I said, I know most of the places here because I've played this part a lot of times. Later on will be the part where I've never played. But that will be quite, a, quite some time from now. Just the Entling soldiers left. We'll get 1700 XP plus 2500 XP. That's 4200. That is enough to level up again. They should be around here. That might be it. I know there's. No, that's the workers. I know there's two types of uh, ends here. Or maybe three even. Workers. Or that's the big one, isn't it? Or is that a fate? No, that's a fate. That's not it either. Sentries? So he's not here then. Is he over... It's in the clutch, isn't it? Okay, so it's not these. I know there were ants here, but... These are not the ones we're looking for. These are workers and sentries. I need three of them. I realize now that we reach level 10, we can also get a new class quest. Yo, Professor Voigt, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I figured I'd do a Final Fantasy 14 stream. This is the game I wanted to stream for a very long time, always looking for a co streamer. I might play it soon with my girlfriend. Um, 
but with a different character than the one I'm playing right now. This will be uh, my solo play character. And I figured, because I woke up early today, really early, I figured, you know what, let's go stream Final Fantasy XIV. How are you doing, Professor Voigt? Welcome to the stream. As you can see, I started early today. Really early. This is not normal streaming time we got here. Teleport learn. Man, when I was playing this game, you only had these three, that's it. And... Uh, that's it, I guess, yeah. You only had Lenoskea, the Black Shroud, and Fenelon. I mean, that's when I started playing the game. Nowadays, you get so many areas. This game has become gigantic. Yo, Bobo Baru. Fish, fish, futile. There are no several subspecies, but I shall not surrender. Well, you got Orobon, here we go. Orobon? Of course, but wait, how did you know about my Epicurean and Ven Endeavor? Well, it matters not. The solution you suggest is sensational. Saute with salt, a squirt of sun lemon, so simple yet sublime. I'm from the Netherlands as well, so we share the same timeline. It's 8 a.m. here as well, and if you can see when I started, I started t almost three hours ago, so yeah, I, I started at like five, even before five. Fish is costly committed here in Fenelon. Well, if it's not your local Largace, it would have been footed to fork out a fortune to have some brought hither. Thank you. Oh, Baru needs an adventurer to furnish him with fresh new shrew meat. Ah, oh, bugger. My stores of shrew meat are nearly not. Let me, f let me help you. Let me fix that for you. Come on, clicky click. The meat is indispensable ingredient for making my smoked shrew loaves, which are famous for their fantastic flavor. Fortunately, I'm no fool. In preparation for this possibility, I've set two barrel traps outside our establishment. Alas, I'm not accustomed to butchering live beasts. If you could do the deed for me instead and bring me the meat, I can continue to cook. We'll do that. How about you, uh, Mr. Roger? Drink for you, laddie. You won't get better ill or spirits for your coin than I made place. Here's a massive pumpkin. What's that? We Kikidoa asks you to bring this here to me. <laughs> so even that foul mouth drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for a time I carried his drunken Sultanars back home. What else? An honest to good pumpkins from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with there. The lads here scoff down beastie amounts of meat and it's starting to tell to their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their belly, assuming you can't get a stubborn bastard to try something new. Thanks for your help, Letty. Alright, let's get the new main quest. Roger hurts all sort of information in his line of work, some of which may be useful to you. Where is Blackbrush Station, sorely undermanned. Stone torches there can't get moments peace. Bloke by the name of Warren is hoping to bolster their numbers for short term assignments or two. If you fancy putting a few extra gill in your pocket, you should do a lot worse. You could do a lot worse. Right, so we still have a few quests. Let's get those uh, shrews out first. Slay the captured shrews. Still don't have a shield on me. I don't want to kill him. He will kill me at level 50.
That's one down. So where are you from, Professor Voigt? If I, can, if I may ask, what country? I was thinking of playing Pokemon today, but maybe I will. I stay. Uh, I will still play that today. Sorry, that uh, tortoise caught me off guard there for a second. Horizon's Edge, Central to Clutch. Here's some fresh shrew meat. This robust redness. Shrew meat is lean yet so lovely. I learned. Wait, what? Let me reread that because that was just weird. Have you carved out the critters? Quickly, else my customers will complain. Here you go. I'll learn. Okay. This is rich, robust redness. Shrew meat is lean yet lovely. I'll learn you. Slurred in my secret sauce and smoked. It's a symphony of savory sensations that will satisfy even the most critical connoisseurs. It takes time to prepare properly, though, so I fear we may be forced to deny our dedicated customers their desired dinner regardless. Fair enough. So we have here a uh, Corchinol Cachuar, which is also in the clutch. This one is in the clutch, we can do those. Western, 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 Eastern, Sandgate, Eastern, Eastern. Okay, so we can just get those two, but we might as well do them because they're right here. So we have Cactuars and we had, what was the other one? Quiverin. Quiveron? Quiverin. What is it? Quiveron. They're up here. I don't see them yet, but I know they're here. There they are. There's the Cactuars at least. Hunting logs give you a massive XP boost when you complete them. So we need about 2200 XP to level up, and I'll probably level up after I kill this guy. Just from the XP boost. Yep, as I said. Quiveron should be here as well. There we go. How many do we need? We need three of them. We won't level up this time, but at least we'll get a big XP boost again. You can see it here right at the bottom, where I needed experience. So our normal kill is about 150. Thousand XP right there. Look at that. That's almost half. A, that is half a level. Okay, that was all the enemies um, in this particular area. We can do the giant tortoises, but they're level 17, so they're kind of high at the moment.
This is bronze and this is tin. So tin is worth nothing almost. It is worth 25 gold each. The bronze is worth 100 gold each. Uh, that's crafting items and we have meat as well. I'd like to get all my meat and potions into one place if we can. So four for what will be for random items and gold. Three will be for potions and food. Should probably eat that food. Get the experience buff. Two is for crafting and one is just for gathering the new stuff in. Speak with Warren. Looking for work? For chance? If so, you can have come at a better time. The stone torches are soul sword hired by the Omalja and Sun Mineral Concern to protect our interests. Primary duty here is to keep track it's clear of pests, and it is for that purpose that we require your aid. I shouldn't point you out, however, that it can be messy work and are liable to get messier still if you get ill prepared. A single piece of gear can maintain the difference between life and death. If not, I have I'll not have it on my conscience and to send an ill-equipped adventurer to an ultimately demise. See to it that your arms and armor are in order. When you're ready, present yourself to me again. Equip your head, body, hands and legs and feet with gear item of level 5 or above before returning to speak with Warren. Well, that's the whole reason I took that eye patch armor last time. There we go. So you're ready for inspection? Yep. Good, everything appears to be in order. You know not it's guaranteed in this world. Fate is a tickle mistress, after all. At any rate, capable adventurers like you are far and few in between. I would not have you throw your life away. I've had to bury too many comrades who brushed aside cracks in their hubercks and dints in their helm. No matter what you face, do not disregard the importance of gear. Alright, so now that that is over, the inspection, we can... Go back to using this one. There we go. That chest piece is slightly better though that we got. Wow. <laughs> I look like a pumpkin here. Alright, what else do we have? We have two quests here. One from Avogith. Avogith is concerned for the welfare of her fellow sentries. See the bloke over there? Name's Osbert and he's hurt bad. Now, ain't exactly my job to mind in my business. I'm a torch. He's a blade. But at the end of the day, we're both people. You know what I'm saying? Any road, I went over to him just earlier, asked for what's wrong, but he refuses to tell me. Stubborn bugger. Seems his pride's more important to him than his life. What is it with men acting tough? I tell myself I try it, but the fellow end up kicking the bucket, I don't want that on my conscience. I know this is sudden, but you could try and talk to him into a drunken into drinking a high potion. I'd sleep a deal better for it. I ain't got one on me, but one of them fellas over there yonder sells him. Alright. Warren. Warren has worked for adventure, willing to exterminate the Cullins attacking ogre wagons. Or wagons. Ogre wagons. Let's go to it then, shall we? Or wagons pass through the station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and coming coming and going from the dispatch yard to seem must pass through a tunnel by Fesha Watch. Tunnel in which seems in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse, creating an ideal condition for a goblin nest. So now our ore loving beasts have taken up the residence in a tunnel we dug and we're practically delivering meals to their doorstep. But no more. Inside the tunnel in question, you will find a narrow fissure where the goblins hide. Use the, this silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures and then slay them. Will do. So we need a high potion. Uh, this guy might sell it. Purchase items. There we go. Now we have a high potion. Breathe, Osbert. Old boy, just breathe. Pain is just weakness leaving the guts, damn it. My head. If I only had to save the high potion, I think this might be the end. Now oh, here's one. You don't even have to tell me, it came from me. Well, I don't really need this, but if you insist, you have my thanks, adventurer. I was assigned to suffering in silence. For I, Osbert the Undying, veteran of countless battles, could not afford to show weakness to my colleagues and our allies. They look, they look to me for inspiration, you see. To think that I was almost brought low by the gentle blow to the head. <laughs> <laughs> I was only incap inca incapitated for a few moments, I think. To repay you for your kindness, indiscretion in this delicate matter, I shall share with you my warrior's wisdom. If you must practice your juggling, use heavy stones in your own peril. I lost money on that one. 
because I got 122 and it cost me 146. But the experience will make up for that, so it's fine. Let's see if we can. I think I can beat this guy, sure. Lure out them with the uh, silver ore cluster. Coblins. Oh, wait, there's more. It's like, wait, that's it. These guys are even lower, they're level 4. Is that all of you? Yep, that was easy. You don't want to fight these too early because they're level 17. So the moment you see them, they're probably out of your reach. But that's number two. So just one more giant tortoise. See one right there. We'll take him down in a second. Let's talk to Warren. Well done. Shan't be easy to work to keep the tunnel free of goblins, but our wagon should be able to get unmolested for a time. Disruptions in ore shipments threaten not only the in interests of Amalgis and Sun's mineral concern, but of Ulda herself. One might like... One might liken these strange tracks to vein that bear of our nation's lifeblood. If we only had more men like you to lend a hand. Well, that sword is slightly stronger. Let's take it. Storyteller number two. Twenty-five unique quests, or how many? Thirty. We're going on a roll here. All right, we got a new main quest, Zuzumeda. Zuzumeda wishes you to share with you the most amazing rumor. Ah, the altruistic adventurer. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears, and I'm eager to share it. May I? Rumor has it that there's a vast, untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Silla. But that is not all. Inconceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence. Even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone Throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is Whiston, and he is a very, very ambitious young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but they say his master plan is to use his new fortune to curry the favor of the Sarcrarium. Of course, the Fama Verges only consider the options of the most wealthy when drafting the laws of Ulda. But have your voices heard, you must be prepared to pay a Sultan's ransom. One voice which is invariably heard belongs to Lord Lorido. He has long lavished guilt upon the Fama Verges, and some claim that he devises new laws with the express intention of ruining his competitioners while protecting his own interests. Suffice it to say, if Wisdom thinks he can compete with the likes of the Syndicate, he's in for a rude awakening but it eventually may yet be a little way off. For the present, he is moving ahead with his plan and is assembling a team to serve his site. I'm told he's at the Coffer and Coffin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you want to be looking for work? Perhaps you should meet Wiston and volunteer for his expedition. 
And we've got Zezeda here. Zezeda needs someone to procure a hammer beak ribs. Looking for help or work around the station, are you? Well then, how about hunting some hammer beaks? We just received an order from S Times Lepidaries for silver ingots. You need to make a conceremonial silverware, so I'm told. However, we've been instructed to refine the ore by melting it in a furnace light with a layer of bone ash. Since we don't normally smelt melt silver this way, I've since long neglected to restock our stores for hammer beak ribs. Alas, there's no time for to order more. If we would slay several of their fiends and take their bones to Beringer in my stead, I'd be forever grateful. Interesting choice. And I write here, the Q uh, signifies the quest mark, or the quest uh, units. You can see them on the map as well, as yellow, little yellow dots. The game really helps you a lot when finding enemies. You can press M, you can see oh, it's right here. You can see your mini map, the red glow, there should be in that area. And then they even have the dots, where they literally are in that area. Once I'm level 15, I'll do the gladiator quest. We can do two of them in a row. Because I got didn't do the level 10 one either. I wonder how much experience this one will give. 4,500. We won't level up yet by killing this one, but we'll be well underway. Reckon around here on the bar. Ooh, well that's pretty dead on. Oh no, it's a little bit further even. Down he goes. Alright, um, let's talk to Wiston first, I suppose. He's not up there, is he? I think he's downstairs. Yeah, he's downstairs. So you don't die from falling damage if you don't have any damage. If you're in combat and you took like one single piece of damage, then you might potentially die. Come to join. Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered, and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find these works today. If you're interested, there's something else you can do for me. There are these children outside, little ones from Stone Troll. I look after them with, when I have time to spare, and they've taken to following me around even when I tell them not to. What, what, but with what we're overseeing, the search for the vein, barely have a chance to visit the privy at the moment. Much less entertain younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? Starling child. I ain't going nowhere, mister. I'm too hungry to move. Besides, you'll have to carry me. Here's a ginger cookie. Crumbling ginger cookie. Straight from good Wiston's pocket. Don't mind the lint. Yeah. I don't think they'll mind, no. A cookie? Well, if Wiston really wants me to go home, then alright. But I want two next time. Oh, Wiston always plays with us. Why would you come and play? Well, oh, Ginger Cookie, I better save some for my brother. I know, I'll go home and eat it with him. That's a good child. How about you? Wiston's kind to us. I like him. This is for me? I want to eat it, but then again I don't, because it'd be gone. Tell Wiston thanks, and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. I like playing with Wiston. He makes sure no one bullies us. Wiston's worried about us. Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm good. I'm a good girl, so I'll go home. Alright, that's taking care of the kids.
Thank you, adventurer. I only wish I could do more. Stone throw is no place for a child. Not that my childhood was much happier. Never enough food to go around. No work to earn, but no shortage of contempt from the great and the good. I remember thinking things could only get better. Yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for his refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen is a disgrace. I say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll, bur I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. And I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're crying for and pay them fairly. The mining companies have profited from our suffering for far too long. But in their hubris, they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we will take an adventurer. We will reclaim our dignity and win our, our place within the walls. We found her. We found a vain wisdom. We must come and see. Ready? Amazing. We leave at once. You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to the history of making. All right. Let's go see Wiston. But first, let's go deliver those bone ribs. Can I enter here? I'm not sure if I've ever entered here before. Oh, wait, I did. Yeah. It looks a lot bigger on the outside. I told her so. I told her. What the hell is the incompetent little run doing anyway? Rare as orders like this may be, but we should always be keeping hammer beak ribs on the hand. Don't worry, I got you. Well, I'll be damned. Guess the girl found a way after all. Thanks for your help, Venture. Don't quite understand. Don't quite understand it myself, but I'm fellow straight set. Set to do it the old way, even though we could be using shards to refine silver faster and cheaper. Well, it ain't my guild, so if that's how they want it, just goes to show that the Thumberford's guild has more money than it knows to do with. God, what I wouldn't do to have that kind of problem. <laughs> I don't use the helmet. Because we have that experience boost helmet, which is worth way better, which is actually way better. There's Zezada again. Zezada is desperately seeking for someone to recover stolen covers of gemstones. You there, help me. A mischief of Kirk and a stolen cargo. The thieving rats love anything that sparkles, and yet they made off with several covers of her precious gemstones. The overseer will flame me if he finds out. I beg you, help me get the gemstones back. The Kirk and fled to the lair to the southwest. Follow the tracks and you'll be bound to find them. That's where we were when we had to kill those uh, uh, cactuars. So the game does give you, like, at least for your first hunting lock, if you change classes, then you don't have that anymore. But at the start, the game always passes you through the areas where the enemies are, so as long as you keep your eyes open a little bit, you'll find them. Because if you don't kill them in time, you'll lag behind, because you'll be still in log 1, and your level might already be near log 2 or 3. So you'll be encountering them, but you won't be able to do anything with them, because you're not leveled up. Or you didn't complete your hunting log, I mean. Level up soon. I think one more enemy will do it. So you can tell we got 53. Watch this when I, I just noticed that right now. Watch when we kill one of these guys. We'll aggro them sooner or later. There we go. So we got like 90 experience, around 90. 94, and we get 53 extra experience. That's more than half. So that's 20 plus 30 makes 50, plus the food buff makes 53. So yeah, the items are stacking, and they're definitely helping. At least till level 25, where we won't no longer need to use the fetter. The helmet, if you will. I wonder how long the food buff is. 
Is that always? Yeah, there's no limit to that on the level, it seems. But that's the last one. That's the lowest one. The food is only three. Then the next one is your helmet, which is 20... 20% uh, 20 till 25. And then the final one is the... Uh, the earrings. They are... Till level 50. To crush your enemies. Trophy earned. Or achievement, not a trophy. Defeat 100 enemies, nice. Now level 14, one more level, then we'll do the gladiator quests. You can do two in a row like I said before. So this, we're now in central, are we? Yes, is there anything left in central? I don't think there is. Nope, there's not. Yo, Cezada, how about you take better care of your stuff? This is the second time I'm helping you. You're back. Please tell me you retrieved the gemstones. I sure did. Bless you, surprise over adventure. Thanks to you, my height will remain intact. It's hard to believe that the Gherkin used to be honest merchants. Some of them even live in Nola. But then the beastmen were banished from the city and the Gherkin lost their livelihood. Some turned to thievery and pretty crimes to survive. It is a sad tale, but it's sadder still that most of the citizens couldn't care less. Now that's taken care of. Uh, next up, this one, the main quest. The way down in the hole. I don't have a single duty finder yet. Winston. Duty calls. Commence the battle for way down the hole. Level sink 13. We're 14, so we're level sink one level down. False ball, son. A vein ore in the middle of a ruined bloody city? God's damn fool. What do you think was going to happen? Did you strike it rich and get cozy with the order? All well, the masses of Ulba are locked on. No one crosses the syndicate. The syndicate? Huh, finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all of your friends have deserted you, it seems. Lucky boy, now you won't have to die alone. O oh, mournful voice of creation, grant you this humble stone a soul, that it may wake to life. The plot thickens. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself! This ain't part of the plan? Bloody hells! Does Lord Lolorito mean to kill us too? Golem, let's go. Golem or Golem? I, I I think Golem is the Pokemon, <laughs> or the Golem is the, the guy from Lord of the Rings. But I think I say Golem more than I say Golem, even though it should be Golem. I think. Maybe that's American versus English, I don't know. I mean, this guy is so slow, I don't even have to take his attacks. Be the golem. 
duty complete. That was easy. That the golem could be vanquished. This man is no ordinary adventurer. So, that's right. I ain't an ordinary adventurer. Hey, Finkrit. Thanks for showing up late. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. Brain freeze. I would compose the ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do you justice. The songstress of Ulda herself could not rival your beauty. Fankrit being the player? Oh, stop it. I have oft heard that it's a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and, lo and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Aye. And business is suffering from it, bloody Amalja. What we'll stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'll wager the caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must ask quickly. Are you coming, love? You want to keep a girl waiting, will you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where in the Marvel City might your lovely ladies be staying? Damn. Two at once. At this rate, grain will soon be more than precious will be more precious than gold, a result of the uncomely bad harvest to be sure. We have you to thank for it, don't we? That's the first time we see Delamont. Ah, the awakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Delamont's descent. And of course, to the primals. Fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Soi will know what to do. We only need to trust in his judgment. So this was before the Calamity. Truly a marvel of Charlian ingenuity, as if I could reach out and touch the ether. That's a nice sword, though. bit big, can't wield it, but maybe a smaller version of that. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like this before. The scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm, this disturbance is recent. Sultan Tree. Maybe, maybe Papa Sean will know something of it. Well, we're all awake. Look like they gave you quite a threshing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person in interest had already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there anon. Yeah, 
Yeah, this guy has uh, high-ranking uh, friends. My colleagues went to Great Lamps to provide with me the means to detect Everett disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder it might not be simpler just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lorito. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he's not a man to be trifled with. The Sultanate enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect that they have the support of the outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at a coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. I shall accompany Weston and his men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I've yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thancred, a humble scholar serving the flow of Ever in Fenelon. It's an honor and privilege to make your acquaintance. Oh, well, I hope when we next meet it is under more auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have... Never mind. Very well. That was a long cutscene. Now we need to go back to uh, Coffers and Coffin. I'll pour myself a drink soon. I'm getting quite thirsty. I've been streaming for what, three and a half hours? I haven't drunk a single sip. Yeah, three and a half hours. So once I reach the uh, coffin and coffers and turn in way down in the hole, we'll uh, get myself a drink. It'll we'll just be a can, so I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Wiston. Twelve bless you, my friend. You risk your life to save ours. Retreat by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Lorito owns the gods and brass plates. You should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that the wealthiest man in Ulda would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant for God's sakes. The ruthless bastard, and what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men. It beggars believe. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Ulda any longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, God, even the children may not be able to say, may, may, may not be safe if I don't disappear. You guts, damn it. If little Riddle learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part in this stays secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Mistress Momidi. She helped, cause, she'd helped countless adventurers in her time. Perhaps she'll know what to do. Go quickly now, my friend. Little Riddle's spies might be watching. Alright, we'll just return. Right, and when we do that, I'll get a drink, so be right back, guys. Alrighty, and we're back. Give the time, to give the game some time to load as well. I got my drink right here. Oh. 
Oh, that's good. That is good. So it's a shame that we're not level 15 yet, because we're right now we are in Ula. Wouldn't be nice if we were level 15. Settle down, Vexus. You've got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know what you were doing at the ruins. Wiston, on the other hand, is now a pariah. About as welcome round here as a rabbit wolf. Poor bugger. Suffice to say, the boy risked the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Lorito, chairman of the East Eldenar Trading Company. Generous contributor to the Order of Nathal and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he was l l Didn't get where he w Wow. Didn't get where he's be a <laughs> These old English words sometimes trip my tongue, man. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own man. Hells, even if those bloody blades knew what was coming, it was not likely they could refuse to do the beneficiary's bidding. <sighs> Don't let this color your view of old Vexus. It's true that there are some who, are afra who aren't afraid to crack a few skulls if they get them what they want. But most of us are decent folk, just trying to make ends meet. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a markman. But I believe you did a good thing, Vextus, and for that you have my respect. Listen, you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest the spell? I have... The boys at the Hourglass set you up with a room. My treat. Just have a word with Otopa Potopa. Whenever you feel like staying. Jeez, his name. What? Otopa Potopa? We you get your appetite for adventuring back? Consider taking a guilt liver or two. We got a lot of requests from the locals looking to their adventures for various jobs. It'll be a good way for you to earn yourself some extra gill. Eustace can tell you more about the system work, so go and speak with him if you're interested. Guild Levis, not really. Guild Hess, different story. Guild Levis, no, not so much. You now have access to the recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. Recommendation list can be opened under the duty menu and will be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure what to do next, this tool will make it makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Omidi of the Quicksand has a quick word for a willing adventurer. Look what the corral dragged in. Get the Z of Exus. It asks what brings you, but I reckon we know the answer to that already. Well, have I ever let you down? Wait, don't answer that. So happens, I know a fellow by the name of Dadanen, who needs the help. He's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones to those in Ulda which he means to buy them. He's asked that I send in anyone looking for work his way. You can find him over at Horizon if you fancy. That is Western Fenelon, mind you. Just cross the bridge north of Scorpion Crossing and the road will take you there. Knowing the circles he deals in, might be he'll have some talk of royal family that'll interest you as well. Why not make us a chocobo porter for the journey to Horizon? If you got the gill, that is. And find a chocobo stable just across from the way from the quicksand. Find Mimi Gun. He'll set you straight. Well, off you go then. I haven't got all day by holding your bloody hand. Well, we got something here that can unlock something. Blue, leather mate. Eustace is responsible for signing guild levies at the quicksand and is offering to give you an introduction to the world of leather quests. Ah, Vexus. Well, media set you might come. I take it you wish to undertake one of the many guild levies available here at the Adventurer's Guild. Guild levies are the means by which documents request for assistance from the citizenry, prior to assigning them to adventurers possessed of necessary skill. From battlecraft levies to the extermination of monsters to tradecraft levies that ask for creation of goods. The task we term levy quests are many and varied in their nature. Should you interest to be plagued, I suggest you make your way to Horizon and speak with Toto Noah. He will be happy to set your foot on the to see you set foot on the path to completing your first levy quest. Alright. While we're here, might as well go to the Gladiator's Guild. I realize it doesn't have matter that we're not level 15 yet. Because we'll get some experience along the way. So unlike most MMOs where they race... Um, how would you put it? Where the race determines your starting location, this game does not. It is actually your class that decides your starting location. 
First Sword Milia requires your immediate assistance with a dangerous matter. You look well, Vextus. I hope you're ready for your next task, because I require your immediate assistance. There have been several violent murders recently, the victims of which were all rear a man. Based on multiple spear wounds upon the body and the deceased, we believe that the Lancers are responsible for the crimes. Not only are these murders a blight upon our city, I fear it's only a matter of time before one of our own is targeted. We just have received word reports of foreign lancers skulking about in stone throw. Considering the circumstances, I find it likely that these are our culprits. We cannot abide any more murders. Go to stone throw, outside the gate of Nold, and speak with any of the, with anyone you find in the area. With luck, we might be able to find the lancers before they strike again. Stone throw, so that's actually a place we were just, yeah. So we want to exit the city. We want to exit at the steps of Nold. Gate of Nold, that's good enough. Actually had a little crosshair there to show you where you were going, teleport. That's convenient. I don't think they added that recently. I think they added that recently because I never noticed it. Got 2,000 gold right now. Godless Gladiator. Don't kill me, please. I'm not the one you want. Thank you, thank you. They appeared out of nowhere. Asked me if I was Aldous at Spear Point. I said no, but they attacked me anyway. What did I do to deserve this? Well, the name Aldous appears again. So here we got 62 bonus experience because uh, we were rested as well because we were inside the city for a while and I think our food buff just expired. I noticed it because it's 50% bonus only. But we finally get our shield as a quest reward. That is worth something. We're not done yet though. We got a bronze hoplon. I remember trying to craft the Hoplon when I would just start at Final Fantasy XI. That was horrible experience. Until you actually f figured out how to craft properly. You'd lose all the materials if you failed. So they were indeed the murderers we sought. But what brought Dusk Red Freelancers all the way from the Black Shroud? And why were they murdering Euroman men with swords? First sword. What is it? Lancers, first sword, a gang of them, hiding in the tunnels south of Blackbrush Station. Hmm. Seems we're not ready yet. We're not rid of them yet. Vexus, you might as well finish what you started. Go to Central Fenelon and dispatch the last of these freelancers. Bruce, accompany Vexus. See that he doesn't die. Well, I can't keep the boat from getting skewered, but I'll patch him up best I can. Vexus, defend Bruce. He knows powerful healing magic, but he cannot employ them unless you keep the enemies occupied. Make sure you command their full attention at all times. I am counting in to keep those bastards away from me. Watch me back and I'll watch yours. You have your orders, gladiators. Send these freelancers to the seventh gate. They mean the gates of hell. <laughs> Alright, central Fenelon. And we want to take the gates of Nold again. Because that's closest. That's where we uh, killed the uh, the goblin with the silver ore. Can't wait to get our mounts. 
mount guide. I can actually guys show you what mounts I have so far. So we have the Drought Chocobo. Movement, terrestrial. It has two maximum riders. We got the Fat Chocobo, which is another terrestrial. We got the Sorrel. I think they're all... Oh no, they're not. Okay. So we got the Fat Chocobo. We got the Sorrel. We got the Araman. We got uh, the Behemoth. We got the Falcon. We got Mystic, Mystic Panda. And we got Sletnir. Blessed by the Elder Primal himself, Sletnir will forever remain loyal to those who have proven themselves worthy. In addition to being fearless in battle, the Dark Steed is also able to manipulate his corporal form to accommodate any rider, large or small. Alright, so this is our destination. Level sync at 14. Well, we are 14, so we're not synced. That's good. Looks like someone pissed in his peace porridge. <laughs> I like how they phrase that. Down he goes. Duty complete. Looks like we're done here. Let's head home, Vexus. I get used a drink. We, have, we also have a lot of mi minions. Black Chocobo Chick, Chocobo Chick Courier, Wind Up Mogul, Baby Behemoth, Beady Eyes, Wind Up Goblin, Wind Up Odin, Wind Up Leader, Wind Up Nanamo, Wind Up Gilgamesh, Wind Up Sif of Gate Siftal, Wind Up Cursor, Minions of Light, and, uh, Wind Up Warrior of Light, and the Wind Up Red Mage. So you have this rule, you can just select one of them and put them in your taskbar like this. You can just do the roulette and it will just pick one randomly. Congratulations on the job well done, Vexus. Bruce says you acquitted yourself well. You have shown tremendous growth since you joined us, and though it pains me to do this, you have earned the right. Vexus, I grant you to leave I grant you leave to join the other guilds. You should doubtless know all that's home to both the Pudulous Guild and the Fomaverge Guild. However, there's also guilds where you may learn something of more peaceful traditions. You may even join the guilds of other nations, if that's your desire. Now that know that I will respect your decisions, whatever they may be. So as long as you do not forget that you are above all a gladiator. 
Before you head off, I wanted to ask you. Bruce believes the freelancers were out for a bounty. What is your opinion on this, Vexus? They were looking. They were tracking a man named Eldis. Eldis? Are you sure that that's the name you've heard? H he's alive? But how? Uh, let's see. So my jacket is level 8. My gloves are level 5. Boots. Uh, so it's boots or legs. Let's go with... I mean boots or hands. Let's go with boots, I guess. Armory unlocked. You now have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock the either classes can be undertaken by speaking to a receptionist at the corresponding guild. There exists myriad, dis there exists myriad disciplines in Eorzea that adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended you first focus on mastering your current class. Yep, it's probably going to be better. I agree. Having said that, I'm still going to pick up all the quests for now. Starting with... So you want to be a goldsmith. Good morning to you, adventurer, and welcome to the Goldsmiths Guild. Have you come to observe our artisan at work? Indeed, it is a marvel to watch goldsmiths transform raw materials and gemstones into sparkling rings, and earrings and necklaces, some of which possess magical properties no less. You know, if you'd like to try your hand at goldsmithing, the guild is open to adventurers like yourself. No prior experience is required, for we teach all you need to know about the craft. Would you be interested? Sure. It pleases me greatly to hear you say so. The first step, I would have you understand the purpose of our guild. The vast mineral resources of Fenelon have given rise to a grand goldsmithing tradition which has been refined throughout the ages. Our techniques are renowned across the realm, our creations held in the highest regard. However, we of S. Times Lepidarius, the premier source of Uldan's jewelry, were not content to rest on our laurels. Seeking to advance our craft, we turned our eyes to the east, the only place in the known world where goldsmithing was set to rival our own. But we built the finest facilities to beckon their masses hither and blended their foreign techniques with ours. Our guild quickly became the center of Eorzean goldsmithing. Aye, there you shall benefit from the refined wisdom of countless veteran craftsmen. You will learn to see potential in your materials and shape them to your will. These are the essential skills for a goldsmith. Must, uh, for a goldsmith must hone his eyes to identify a praise and manner all materials. When needs be, recognize imita in imitations for what they are. It is even said that the master goldsmith can ascertain the authenticity of a man himself. You may one day come to possess such vision, but even the most magnificent jewels begins life as a rough hewn stone. It must first be cut and polished before it can delight the eyes with its brilliance. If you would become a goldsmith, you must need refine yourself. Uh, you, you must needs refine yourself as you want a gemstone. It will take much time and effort, and there is no guarantee of success. Should you be certain that this is the life you seek, speak to me once more. Before you embark on your journey to become a goldsmith, you must first seek an audience with your guildmaster. Are you ready to do so? Jemime would have to reaffirm your desire to join his old goldsmith's guild. You shall find Mistress Serendipity on her work floor, just down the steps. Show her the burning desire to learn and you're a certain receiver permission to join. Stop right there, you little troublemaker. People are working here. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I had a mistake for a moment. For a moment there, I... <sighs> Let's start over, shall we? We're being here today, adventurer. Do you perchance have the aspiration to become a goldsmith? Yes. Really? That's great. Welcome, welcome. I'm Serendipity, but you can call me Sarah. Oh, is that too formal? Sorry, I'm unaccustomed to this whole guildmaster business. Alright, what did your name say once again? Apollo. All right, Vexus Jaeger. Well then, Vexus. Work hard, and one day your creations may line the shelves of S Times Aesthetics. Trust in yourself and you can achieve anything. That was sufficiently inspiring, I trust. Good. Next order of business, here's your new craftsman hammer. Well, chaser hammer. Well, I say new, but it's actually been a bit weathered. Never mind, just show what you can do. Uh, just, wait, what? But never mind that, just show me that you know how to hold it so we can get started. Complete. That's all I'm going to do. We can technically get a new quest. 
But I'm not going to. I just want to get the goldsmith unlocked. You have unlocked a new class. You can change the class anytime by equipping the weapon received from this quest. When changing class, gear sets will allow you to register and save your equipment. You may use them to switch between classes instantly without the need to manually equip weapons or equipment. A button for the gear set is interface located in the upper portion of the character window. That's a lot of text, man. Gear set list and recommended gear. That's fine. Gear set list. Create a new one. There we go. Gladiator. So technically, if we equip this well, item now, we'll lose all our gear, because now we're a goldsmith level 1. And we don't want that. I want to stay gladiator for now. There we go. I just realized we haven't even equipped our hoplon yet. There we go. Then you press this one, update. It updates the list. Next up, the miner's guild. Might as well grab them now, because we'll have to grab them sooner or later. And since, they're, since they just became available, now's a good one to do so. Well met, adventurer. You stand with the Miner's Guild, the place where seekers of the realm minerals wealth gathered. With pickaxe and sledgehammer, we miners work rock and earth that they may yield us ores, fossils, precious stones and more. If you have a mind to join our rank, you will be pleased to know that we're currently recruiting. Great riches await those with strong backs and keen eyes. Yes. A decision you will not regret. You've just taken your first step towards striking it rich. To look at the lands of Ulda, one would for one would be forgiven for thinking the region's barren of opportunity. But beneath the surface, the scene should not be more different. There lie veins of copper, silver, and gold beyond measure. For as long as they have dwelt in Fenelon, men have always availed of those vast deposits, giving rise to thriving mining trade, which forms the foundation of our nation's prosperity. Of course, the mining trade is a the mining trade as it is today owes much to the event which took place more centuries than a half ago, namely the Mad Mithril Rush. Never before had the Sultanate seen such an influence of migrants. Endless throngs from the land near and far, spurred on by the dream of discovering the Motherlode. Alas, a harsh reality awaited them. You see, the vast majority of these poor souls were miners in name alone. They possessed neither the proper equipment nor the training to realize their dreams. To make matters worse, the mining concerns, who in these days held the absolute power, did not structure to exploit them. Present with a glut of unskilled labor, they proceeded to fill every tunnel in the bursting and atrocious working conditions soon became the norm. Miners were paid a pittance for back-breaking labor and saw not of the richest they unearthed. Pushed to their breaking point, the workers banded together to form the Miners Guild, with the aim of proving con improving conditions while protecting the integrity of our trade. Since then, they have sought to educate folk in correct mining practices, both to prevent accidents and the curb and impact that our trade has upon the environment. I trust you now have a better understanding of what we do. All that is left is to commit your name to our role. When you're ready to do so, pray speak with me again. I should guide you to the enrollment procedure. So, are you ready to join the Miners Guild? Except Lynette wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the Miner's Guild. Music to my ears, I the kind of the kind made me made Music to my ears, I the kind made when one pickaxe strikes gold. You must introduce yourself to the guildmaster Aldoberta right away. Her approval is required if you are formally admitted to her ranks. In case you're unaware, Aldoberta is perhaps the most accomplished of those miners who still swing a pickaxe. Her understanding of her trade is unsurpassed and her Flair for prospecting uncanny. Her brain, in short, is a veritable gold mine of knowledge, much of the concerning the mining of gold. <laughs> Jesting apart, just stand to learn a great deal from her. We're ready to do so. Pray, pray present yourself to Aldeberta. You will find her down the steps over yonder, over by the bar. He's, that's the thing with these quests, though, they take forever. There's a lot of talk. Well met, adventurer. Aldeberta is my name, and I'm the master of this guild. I take you wish to become a miner? Well, the doors are open to all who aren't afraid to do work hard and get dirty. Thanks to the recent advances and recent techniques, it's now possible to melt even low pure quality ores. I mention this because it has allowed us to open a number of mines which were long thought ex exhausted, prompting trade to flourish. 
truth be told, with business as it is at the moment, we can take on enough new miners, and few folks make better miners than adventurers, you being a hardy lot. What's more, you were well traveled, which serves to expand our guild's sphere of activity. Oh, but I'm not suggesting you join solely for our benefit. For your part, you'll acquire skills that will prove to your profit. A mutually beneficial agreement. I trust you agree? Say what you say, you will join us, yes? Sure. Then I bid you welcome to the Miner's Guild. May your soul never get unrewarded. Now then, here's a pickaxe to get you started. It's not the newest, but it should serve a novice well enough. Go on, take it up, see how it feels in your hand. Speak to me again when you're ready, and I'll sign a little task to help you get into the swing of things. Not yet. Miner unlocked. Gathering log obtained. Right, next one. So you want to be a weaver? Hmm. Not really, but I'll lock it anyway. Here's the list of all the class. So we got Gladiator, Marauder, Dark Knight, and Gunbreaker. Those are tanks. For healers, you have Conjurer, Scholar, Astrologian, and Sage. For uh, melee DPS, you have Pugilist, Lancer, Rogue, Samurai, and Reaper. For physical range DPS, you have Archer, Machinist, and Dancer. For magical range DPS, you have a Thaumaturge, a Canist, a Red Mage, and a Blue Mage. A lot of these classes I've never played before. Like Marauder, yes. Dark Knight, yes. No, actually. Marauder, yes. Dark Knight, no. Gunbreaker, no. Pugilist, yes. Lancer, yes. Rogue, yes. Samurai, no. Reaper, no. Conjurer, yes. Scholar, no. Astrologian, no. Sage, no. Archer, yes. Machinist, nope. Dancer, nope. Thaumaturge, yes. Arcanist, Nope. Red Mage, nope. Blue Mage, nope. <laughs> so many classes. And then we already unlocked two here. The Miner for the Disciples of the Land and Disciples of the Hand. We got Goldsmith unlocked. In the end, we'll unlock all of them. Some of them require us to progress in the, in the game. Greetings, adventure. Welcome to the wellspring of Old Aunt's fashion. For humble threat, our peerless opticians wave wonders, dreams in fabric form. We are renowned as Eorzean's finest purveyor of quality textiles, and as our foremost arbiters of style. Needless to say, such renown was not won without effort. Ours is tremendously demanding the profession, you see, but also a highly rewarding one. It is little wonder that so many adventurers have set heart upon this joining us. Might you be one of them? Sure. As I thought as much, then I'm sure you're eager to learn more about our illustrious history. I'm sure you know, Fallon can be perilous peace. Its vast deserts being, being won't to perish the unprepared, while a menagerie of ferocious beasts stalked the sands. The greatest foe, of course, is the midday sun. And so, ever since the man set foot here since in this region has favored light, flowing fabrics that shield him from the sun's ray, while allowing his skin to breathe. Of course, old aunts have ever been a people of taste, and demand for more extravagant designs spurred innovations, resulting in textile goods who appeal to be extended far beyond our borders. Merchants had little trouble selling Ulan's fabric in foreign markets, so great was their reputation for beauty and quality. And when the traders from those same markets sought to peddle their lesser products in Fenelon, well, it gave us little cause for concern. Sun silk tapestries is synonymous with the textile trade in Ulda. See, those who came here hoping to peddle cheap wrecks swiftly learned the price of doing business in our territory. Wiser men and women, with an interest in our trade instead, to join the guild, which is the company generously operates from the basement of Old Land Society. We offer our members the tools and techniques needed to become successful, and should you prove themselves especially skilled, they may even be offered direct employment at the Sun Silk Weavers. Just imagine, adventurer, your designs could one day dictate the course of Old Land's fashion. If you desire such fame and influence, then you might be granted a place with us, provided that you are willing to embrace hard work. To ensure candidates can endure the rigors of our profession, our guildmaster has taken it upon himself to evaluate each one personally. We are ready to submit you yourself to this rigorous scrutiny, say the word. You do meet you are you ready to meet the guildmaster? First impressions are important, and you do not want to present yourself poorly. Sure. You will find the esteemed relevant Rose supervising guild operations over yonder. He is how should I put this? He is restless in his pursuit of excellence. As long as you demonstrate your sim similarity concerned or committed, he will treat you fairly and with respect. Okay, where are you? It's over there. What do we have here? Another adventure in search of thrills and excitement? Shall I dance your merry jig? No? Well, if he 
If this fails to please you, I suggest you run along. Perhaps a woman of Roby Road Exchange will be more to your liking. Oh, so you mean to become a weaver? And we have something to discuss after all. I shall be blunt. Weaving is an art. And like true artists, we must make sacrifices and suffer for our craft. So tell me, adventurer, are you prepared to suffer? Yes. So you say, but only time will tell. In any case, you need equipment to get started. This needle should suffice for now. I need not explain what a needle is, I trust. Good. Then hold it as you would with suing, and show me where you're ready to begin. Alright, that's our uh, next uh, thingy unlocked. Next class, Weaver. That's good enough for now. So that is uh, the Weaver. Here we go. The Disciples of the Hand. So there's no... Um, No guilds left here on this side of the map, but we still have a few more. One of them being the uh, Alchemist Guild. There we go. Which is on the top part of this area where we're in right now. And there is only one here, the Alchemist Guild itself. We also still have a few on the west side, like the Fond of Verge Guild, Pugilist Guild. Ah, an adventurer. One of my favorite kind of people. I find your unquenchable thirst for exploration neatly compliant complements the burning hunger for sagacity that marks our dedicated members. Welcome to the Alchemist Guild. Though I hesitate to define alchemy in such narrow terms, our main field of expertise is the concussions of various potions and elixirs. There are salves to treat all manner of afflictions, not to mention miraculously limitations and hence imbiber beyond its natural physical limits. As an adventurer, I'm sure you can appreciate the enmity practical applications of her work. What say you, sir? Care to take up the mortar and pastor and join our ranks? Sure. Wonderful, now then. Allow me to give you a brief history of our guilt before we tackle our official paperwork. Though alchemists are presently known as quintential brewers of potions, the profession itself arose from the desire to achieve an yet unrealized ambition. The original driving purpose behind our art is or perhaps still is, the discovery and process that can transform base metal into gold or silver, like the true alchemists. And the Philosopher's Stone, yeah, that's already there. The mystical medium thought necessary to affect such transformations is the Philosopher's Stone, which in itself is be have become the Pantheon properties and be capable of bestowing eternal life. Though success has yet eluded us, years of endless experimentation towards this golden goal had the initially unintentional consequences of unearthing a wealth of knowledge in the field of alchemy chemical medicine. Regrettably, alchemy potentials to enrich the life of the masses was first met with a wave of distrust, as if our ability to create helpful compounds was akin to dabbing in a back alley witchcraft. The profession even gained credibility in Ulda through its integration into traditional medicine by Frondel Frontistory, an institution known for producing respected physicians. Once the city shift, once the city shift in perception became known, budding alchemists wishing to study without fear of persecution joined, journey to Ulda from every corner of the realm. It was not long before the gatherer of the inquisitive minds banded together to form the alchemist guild. Thus, while our organization is intensely focused on perfecting and sharing the fruits of our research, it is also paramount importance that we uphold the reputation of the alchemist itself as a legitimate discipline. If you would revel in the secret arts. In the secrets of her arts, then you will be well prepared to shoulder the responsibility of the described. Take a moment to dwell on these words before you truly enter the world of alchemy. I'm just crafting something. Like, what's that sound? Have you arrived at a decision? Are you ready to exult in the arts of alchemy and commit to the responsibilities that your enrollment entails? Excellent. It allows you to direct you to your guild master. Gaining his approval is the last test you need before. Be, uh, last pa wow, the last test you must pass before becoming a full member of the guild. You will find the guild master Severian tendering to his experiments at his personal workbench. I must warn you, he's a rather intense individual. Pray choose your words with care. What is it this time? Ah, you must be the merchant, Flecky. Come to bring me the imp wings. Let's have them then. Okay, hide be the eyes, he's coming after you. Hmm, not a lucky. Inspiring alchemist, did you say? Speak up and pray that I heard you alright. 
Did the babbling fool Dedrick send you to me? I specifically requested that, be that I be disturbed for nothing less than the coming of the second calamity. To appear as kindly mentor to you, my research demands my absolute and undivided attention. I'll be gone before I'm forced to... Oh wait, mm, perhaps I can... Yes, yes, you must be the very assistant I require. I have the change of heart. Congratulations, I approve your application to the guild. It is with great pleasure that I welcome a fellow seeker of knowledge into the fold. We can dispense with the interminable, what? interminable initiation ceremony, yes? Here's your first alembic. Try not to drop it, for this is much more work to be done. Yes, much work. Alright, alchemist unlocked. That's another one down. And we'll leave it by that. We'll leave it at that for now. Next up, Fama First Guild. I think there's two more. Fama First and a Pudge List. Yeah, that's it. So now we got three on the uh, Disciples of the Hand and one on the land. Now we'll unlock some actual fighting classes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Welcome to the Flummerfurge Guild. It is fate that has guided your steps here, friend. Within these hallowed halls, the art of devastation are taught. Primeval magics, which, with which to bring our enemies to ruin. If you would join our ranks and wield the power of a Flummerfurge, I urge you to seize the moment and confine in me your arcane ambitions. Yes, there truly was no other answer, was there? Lean closer now, and I shall whisper you to speak to you. I will whisper to you of Flummerfurge's beginnings. The nation of Ulda inherited its traditions from the ancient Baladia city, founded by the descendants of the first mages. The secrets of these illustrious sorcerers were ultimately entrusted to the priests of the Order of the Thal, who had passed down, who had passed them down from generation to generation ever since. Focused and refined over court centuries of use in the Order's funeral rites, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually emerged the art we know now as Thumbthurgy. A freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse, a bolt of lightning to expel the sins of mortal life. The Dwayomers employed in the preparation of the dead are equally efficacious when applied to the living. Thus does our guild thrive in the depths of Arzamar's Orcerary, a sanctuary devoted to Fall, the divine arbiter of his afterlife. What say you then, adventurer? If you Plumb the abyssal depths of Falmafurge, you let our learned sages guide you to your descent. And yet, before you sleep into the darkness, you must prove to our guild master that you were possessed of spiritual fortitude necessary to look upon which was, which waits therein. When you are ready to submit the judgment of our most eminent mages, say the word. Well, adventurer, will you join our guild, or do you presume to ignore the urgence of my impatient destiny? Yayake wish you to reaffirm your desire to join the Falmafurge guild. A wise decision. To prepare for your invitation, you must head to your... You must... Oh, no, wait. I would have you study the volumes of fundamental pharmaceutical principle. All 108 of them. Or at least I would, I would if such requirements had need not been abolished. Too great a determined for fresh novels, as they said. I suppose you should just have to settle for calling upon the collective wisdom of our guild masters. We have five, you see. All brothers of the same house. Though they all wield supreme authority... It is the eldest who provides a singular voice for the guild. When one is required, Master Coco, Coco Bai, Coco Pico, I believe. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Coco, I assume. So we got Coco Bezi, Coco Boha, we got Coco Bani, Coco Bigo, and. Well, one, two, three, four. I don't know where the fifth one went. Kokobuki? That's him. Kokobuki is a real guildmaster then. He has the title guildmaster, the rest is just these little red hoots here. Okay, Kokobigo. Whoa, what? Oh, that doll's teeth, man. Did your mother never tell you not to startle a thumb alert? Look at the unexpected face, Kokobigo. This gentleman's obviously a new applicant for the guild seeking audience with our eldest brother. Ah, uh, prelate, yeah, yeah, okay. She can recite these 307 verses of the funeral rites of the virtuous fallen, but the simple task of keeping our names straight seems ever beyond her grasp. <laughs> well, I find one constant confusion. 
endlessly entertaining. My apologies, good sir. My merit was not meant to mock your mistake. It is our sibling Kokobuki with whom you should speak. That's him. What's this? What's this? Tom has led us into a new Esperant. Ah, Kokobuki. Were you here the entire time? Greetings, child. I'm Kokobuki, the eldest. I would venture to say the wisest of the five masters of the Thunder Verge Guild. It is my solemn duty to furnish our would-be initiates with a subsequent understanding of our beloved art. Thus I would have your full attention. To will from the virtues to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. The evil force of our spells far exceeds the destructive capabilities of any other form of arcane manipulation. Fire, lightning, blizzards, Solomons, the Thunderverge calls upon the expensive arsenal of the offensive incantations to incapitate and obliterate all manner of adversities. Open your mind to our sorcerer's teachings, and you too shall hold the unparalleled power of our dis discipline in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. Of course, such power has a price. You must be willing to plunge headfirst into the forbidding chasm of Thumbavirchi's secret. For advancement in this art comes with only the completion of deadly and terrible trials. I ask you now, Esperant, are you prepared to leap into the abyss in pursuit of power unrivaled? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. A confident response in your name, if you will. Very well, Vexus. Let us mark your initi initiation with three animately practical gifts. My first gift to you shall be an addition to your hunting log. The name of such enemies will prove suitable to your training as a Thunderthurge. The second and third gift are the scepter and shield, instruments you shall need to focus on destructive forces of your will. You believe the initiation over, my dear disciple, we have only just begun. Thanks. Take your new weapons in hand and I will set you forth upon your first trial. Alright. Now we got 400 XP. The question is, do we get that for a gladiator or do we get it for a Thaumaturge? We get that towards our current class, alright? And then there's just one left, the Pudulous Guild. And then we're finally done in Ulda. We can go uh, to Western Fenelon for both our main quests as well as some other quests that we have there, as well as reaching level 15, so we can go back inside Ulda and get our second or third class quest. Luckily this is a one time only to unlock those classes. Here you can see we've just unlocked the Thunderthurge. Now we're gonna unlock the Pudulist, and then we have all six. One, two, three. All seven classes unlocked in Ula. Gargaruna. Greetings and welcome to the Pugilist Guild. We Pugilists are specialists in hand to hand combat. Through rigorous training, we forge devastating weapons in their, of our feet and fists, which we employ to great effect in battle. There's no better place in all the realm to train in our discipline than here. If you walk the path of the Pugilist, I highly recommend you add your name to our role. What say you, my friend? So this is basically the monk monk class. Additions you will not regret. Before we proceed to the paperwork, it is essential that you know something of our guild's story past. Since time immemorial, men has used whatever it has been at its disposal to settle disputes. In the beginning, they meant fighting with fists. Such hand-to-hand -hand combat existed in various forms throughout the Orsia, each evolving independently of one another. The origins of pugilism as we know it, however, can be tracked back to the starting of barehanded bouts at the Colosseum. These contestants attracted fighters from far and wide, bringing their myriad styles clashing together on the blood sands. Amidst the chaos intermingling of styles, there rose a pugilist of singular strength and skill. The, women, the woman made it her life's mission to master every form she encountered, that she might refine her art. Among her many songs were worthy of exploits. We Pugilists remember our participation in the Gladiators tournament most fondly. Back when barehanded fights were still seen as pastime for peasants, she took a fully armed, armored gladiator and effortlessly bested a lot of them. Word of her feet spread across the realm like wildfire, of course, and Ulda swiftly transformed to the center of Pugilism, with people flocking from all over the, to train under his masters among masters. The woman's name was Cornelia, it is, her, it is to her that the Pugilist Guild owes her existence. 
The art perfectest here is based on her ill and composing style, and this training hall is modeled upon one which she has once built. There it is, a brief history of her guild. I told her a thousand times, but God, she never fails to fan the flames of my fighting spirit. Now then, before we can proceed with your enrollment, you must first obtain the guild master's approval. Let me know when you're ready to meet him. So are you ready to present yourself to the guild master's inspection? Yes, I am. You will find him overseeing his charges yonder. Go now and show him that the fighting spirit that burns within you. It's the old guy, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Heh heh, Bass, you get your arms back here? Well, what did the dancer have to say about my proposition? Wrong dude. Huh? You're not my errand boy. There's no dancer. There never was. I'm not doing anything indecent, I swear to gods. Master Roshi right there. What? You're here to enroll. Ho oh, oh. ho! Why didn't you tell so sooner? My capacity as a guildmaster, I would be glad to give you a primer as the art of the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Doubtless you already know this, but we pugilists fight with our fists and feet. But he don't deal as much damage as a blade. It hardly matters when he can land several blows for each swing of the sword. What we like in destructive force, we make more up for speed and cunning. Under my guidance, not only will you master striking techniques, you also learn to string them together to deliver an endless flurry of blows. Only through such fierce combination can a pugilist realize his potential. Yeah. He is pretty quick, though, for an old dude. Ah, whee, whee. Crikey, spend all my time talking. You ought to speak more, son. Give me a chance to catch my breath. But there was. Well, where was I? Alright, joining the guild. Before you do so, I must warn you that the path of the Pachelis is long and arduous. Do you believe you got what it takes to go the distance? Be honest with yourself now. Sure. Yes, you have a fighting spirit. I can see it in your eyes. I can see no reason to deny you a little place in these halls. Welcome to the guild, son. To help me on your way, I'll add some names of you to your hunting leg log. Opponents that you might hone your skills against. And so as to make a bubbling pugilist of you, here's your very own pair of Hora. They're a tad old and rusted, but they'll serve to make you look meaner, I reckon. Now, I have a mind to assign your first lesson. Arm yourself with your weapons and let me know when you're ready to begin. Uh, we'll do those once we actually start those. Right now, I just want to stay gladiator. But like I said, at least unlocking them. Pugilist unlocked. We have another one for our list. Watch a list. All right, now that's that. Now that that is finally done, let's go west. So normally that doesn't take that long to get all those class quests because I just go skip, 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 skip all the conversations. This is the first time I've actually read all of them. Since I'm doing a stream, you know, might as well to give you the best immersion into this game, I suppose. Quite a few quests over here. Let's start with this one here, the 80 Sins. Scorpion Crossing, I mean. The 80 Sins is this area. And then we'll go west towards the Silver Bazaar. Once we've done that, we'll go north towards the Horizon Edge. Horizon. Just Horizon, it seems. Look at all the quests here. Alright, let's start with Guantrum. Trader Guntrum is ferociously ransacking the cargo at Scor Scorpion's Crossing, looking for... A all the world like a man who has misplaced something. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. There's no time to send for more and... No. You there. Please, you must help me. Go kill as many cactuars as you must gather. Four bottles of their blood. I don't care if you have to hunt the little green bastards to extinction. Please, there's no time to explain. Just know that my very life hangs in the balance for the love of God's hurry, man. Show up, man. Oswald. Oswald needs you to help locate a misplaced shipment. You have time to spare, don't you? Make yourself useful and help me find my missing crates. The manifest clearly states that three crates bound for the East Eldenar Trading Company were included in the latest shipment from Vesper Bay, but I can't seem to find the bloody things. They ought to be around here somewhere, but I can't waste any more time looking. If you find the crates, bring them to me. We got her, Emma. Tickled off. Emma of the Scorpion Crossing is worried about the condition of her chocobo. You there. 
Yes, you. An adventurer, are you not? You travel about the origin of slaying beasts and finding treasures. The sort of thing? I need of help. I must travel to the horizon while my cargo waits. But my chocobo slugger won't move an ill. I tried to have a closer look, but I saw a vowel of antenna protruding from her feathers and lost my nerve. I love slugger with all my heart, but bucks? Bucks I cannot do. <coughs> Pardon. I fear then we may have a parasite ladybug that's gorging itself on its blood. Check him for me, would you? And if you find a ladybug duck in there somewhere, kill the damn thing. Sure, but... I want your other quest as well, maybe. I've heard about news about a goblet. All that quality land so desperately coveted to be auctioned off to bidders regardless of their origins. Even adventurers have the right to participate. Just imagine the entire area could end up owned by a wealthy firm. I beg your pardon, sir. It's, it is... It isn't that I like distrust adventurers, far from it. But when you consider that Ulda is still struggling to accommodate countless refugees, the idea that this land is being sold for profit? Not surprising, whoever come to think of it. Still, the least they could do is give prefer pre preferential treatment to hardworking Ulans like me. We're saving for years, just waiting for an opportunity like this to come along. Say, you wouldn't happen to be curious as well, would you? About the gullet? My hands are full here, but if you had a moment to head that way and look into this auction business on my behalf, I'd be ever so grateful. There's bound to be an immortal flames representative by the gates of, or in the goblet, who can explain what's going on. This wouldn't have happened without General Robin's approval. Of that, I'm such sure. Okay, so we'll, under, we'll investigate Slugger. Quack, quack. There's the ladybug. Mm, yeah. Is there more? Quack, quack, quack. He's, he's cured. Slugger says thank you, and you've met any things as well. I was sure it's sun up. I was a, it was a parasite ladybug. Must have latched itself somewhere along the road. But how the bloody thing managed to stay concealed at that size is a complete mastery. In fact, I'm not even going to question it. I'd just like to move on and put this all behind me. If you don't keep your chocobos healthy, Cargo won't be able to move over the land. We owe these birds a great depth. I wish more folk would see that. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta find those misplaced shipments that are around here somewhere. There's one. There's two. East Eldenar Trading Company cargo crate. And the third one is up there. <clears throat> There's the Cacturers we need to slay. Most of these side quests are kind of easy. All swell. Did you find my crates? I did find your crates. Great job, friend. This will make the next wagon. Thank you. Shipments never stop coming, day in and day out. Just keeping track of everything is enough to give men migraines. Business is good, true. But what uses money if you haven't time to spend it? I haven't downed a pint with friends in weeks. Got a new quest. Oswell's holding a letter addressed to someone at the Silver Bazaar. <clears throat> Boxes, crates, barrels, lifting, moving, stacking. There's no end to it. I'm tired. So very tired. See a friend, do a heartworking stranger in kindness, would you? See this letter saved to Kikipu at the Silver Bazaar? I'd call on her myself at a hand that time, and I doubt these weary legs would carry me there even if I did. I'd like to send her something nice along with it. Could I trouble you to scrounge up, say, five hammer beak filled tail feathers? God knows she can find the beast around here easily enough. Kikipu's old dear friend. She's called the Silver Bazaar home for, well, far too long. There's been ill rumors of the place of late. I'd like just like to make sure she's well, is all. Yeah, we'll help her out. Let's get these Kekchor, uh, these, uh, yeah, Kekchors first. Oh, these giant tortoises are only level 12. Maybe we were supposed to hunt those for a hunting log instead. Have you brought the Cacturer blood? All four bottles, show me. Here it is. Actually, this clear liquid is far closer to water than its blood. Except that it is. For the Cacturer it's taken from... Uh, for the Cacturer it is taken from. For him, it's almost definitely blood. <clears throat> if 
Phew, you saved my height, friend. Just stopped to give me a cargo check on the way to Uldan and saw all the bottles of Ratsican skin tonic were as empty as Garlean promised. Looks as though the lid shook off in transit and the whole load spilled right out, but I refused to have it set. The Guntrum failed to make a good on delivery. Kekshore blood is supposed to help keep skin supple. It's just as... I'll just use what you have brought to me to fill the empty bottles and all those lovely Uldan ladies will be none the wiser. Oh, don't worry about getting found out. Redstone skin tonic is still a rare find. All the more so this far south. Adventure none in Ulda would even know the ampoule of their own piss. Okay. If you say so. Wait, we need to go to the goblet. So this is where you can buy houses. I want to buy a house in this game in the future, but it's you need a lot of gold. Like, right now we have 2,800 gold. I think a house is like 100 million in this game. Momoraji, well, welcome. Heard about the auctions, have you? Not the first to approach me this eve. Aye, it's true. It's an effort to encourage immigration to our great nation. All lands within the goblin are set to be set aside for adventurers like yourself. Tragic, some might say. The only adventurers will be permitted to settle within its ward, but such decisions were made by wiser men than I. Beautiful place to goblet, a man-made oasis, built atop a towering butte. Ah, but why bother explaining when you can see it for yourself? Just head through, through these gates and follow the road. If you wish to know more about the goblet, speak with the recruit station just past the entrance. He will be happy to assist you. To proceed with the quest where the heart is the goblet, you must visit any residential ward within the goblet. Alright, let's go in. Go to specified ward, doesn't really matter, right? So, there's like 30 wards. Oh wait, there are still houses for sale. Here we go. That's interesting. Normally there's not. Hardly any. So you got small, large, and a, a small, medium, and large plot. A large plot is nine, uh, well, 42 million. A lot. Okay, can I just select? Just go anywhere, it doesn't matter. 42 and a half million. I mean, that's, that is a lot, but... Let's have a look-see. I'm happy. I'm okay with a small house, though. If it's just me and my girlfriend playing, just two of us in a guild. Small house is all you need. I wonder if we buy the city. I wonder if we'll get Olden House though, because Olden House is more like industrial looking. I prefer something quiet like the forest. Maybe in. Uh, what is it called? The Black Shroud. Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to the Goblet. Beg your pardon? An old old woman asked you to learn about the auctions. Oh dear. She must have heard these plots are reserved exclusively for adventurers. She's your friend is an olden citizen. She's a negligible participant. Shoot yourself. Had a mind to purchase a plot? Pray speak with the resident caretaker. He can guide you through the process. Yeah, not for now. So the yellow houses are taken. The blue ones are... What is that? How does that work? I don't know how that works. I'm leaving. <laughs> don't have the money for it anyway, so. Actually, we can check again. There's blue and there's yellow. What does red mean and what does green mean? This game doesn't tell you anything. Still some plots here and there. So the small one is only like three, only like four million. That's very doable. The big ones, though, that's a different story.
I, do, I have to check in how to make a free company. Do I still need like several people to sign the waiver before I can start one? Ime. You return. Tell me, what have you learned of the auctions? What do you mean it's reserved exclusively for adventurers? I mean, sure, times are tough. Every nation is scrambling to attract formidable fighters. What about my needs? What about my 40 acres in the Chocobo? Bah, it's just not fair. Sorry, lady. It's not my decision. I'm just here to give you the information. You can now teleport to the residential district. Goblet Ethernet now accessible. Alright, that's another one done. So what do we have here? Bombs and Horizon's Edge, Horizon's Edge. That's over there. Gotta kill the hammer beaks for the quest. <clears throat> so now we got 50 extra percent experience from being rested. So rested is 50. And our equipment is 50 as well. And then you get 3 for this one. So we should get 103 bonus now. Let's see. Fifty-three. Okay, my my rest status just ended. So close to leveling up, though. Just a hundred experience away. There's a few quests here as well. That's not a quest, but I'm just going to click on him just to get that exclamation mark away anyway. There we go. Then let's talk to Kiki Poo. Well, what is it? Come and try and scare me and poor folks off our lands again. Go on, do your worst. I'll not budge one step from this spot. Now here's the letter and some feathers. Hammer a big tail feathers and a letter. Dear gods, it's from Oswell. Have you seen him? Is he well? Dearest Kiki Poo, it's been too long since I wrote you last. How have you fared since? As ever, I'm a slave to trade, and sadly, it hasn't seemed fit to take me through the Silver Bazaar in some years. I heard it. I have heard it told the scum of Ulda have set their sights on your Silver Bazaar. Seems beyond saving, really. How long do you mean to linger at horrid hovel? Remember, some birds just aren't meant to be caged. Spread your wings and soar once more, Kiki Poo. Spread my wings and soar? By the gods, this, this is by far the most ridiculous letter I've ever read. Hammer beak of tail feathers? The doll does not realize he'd sent the feathers of a flightless bird, doesn't he? Well, Oswald can go bugger off himself. I've no intention of stepping one ilm from this hovel, much less soaring from it. It's my hovel and I love it. Level up. Alright, we got provoked now. Kikipo of the Silver Bazaar is having a hard time handling the couple of troublesome laborers. You're a warm face of an outsider, not like those other curs loitering about the bazaar. Surely you've seen the hammers to the east, or at the very least, them. I've heard them. Well, a few of their works have decided to drop in on us for a little rest and, extra relax well, rest and relaxation. But they're no workers. They're nothing but hired muscles sent to threaten the people in the bazaar and harass their shops. It is not the first time. And they say a formidable lad such as yourself might be able to scare them off with some strongly worded doubts, would that say? Got Fafafono? Fafafono? has the look of a Lalafell dying to be asked if he has any work to offer. Hey there, friend. I'm sure it's some easy gill if you're interested. I won't even require you to break a sweat. Well, not much one. All you need to do is slay enough rusty couplings to gather four bottles of coupling grease and then deliver them to a ewer by the name of Adelard at the Hammerers. Once he has the grease, he can use it to keep the Hammers running. Can't be more, couldn't be more simple. I'm surrounded by fools. The disaster the Hammers and the nay way of life they symbolize. They only care for the success of the part, but it blinds them to the opportunity of the present. Change is coming, friend. It's already here. I call the Silver Bazaar home now, but a no linger affection for the place. I go whatever the gills to be gotten. Well, at least he's honest, right? So I got these riled workers, so we click on them, and then we do slash doubt. I 
sure if it... Yeah, okay, it matters that it's capital. Your ears working? I said pit off. I said piss off. Enough already. I'm leaving, but I tell bloody Kikaput is the end of nothing, you hear? Nothing. Don't make me come chase you. Okay, there's no one here. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Uh, there's oh, there's two of them. Persistent little bastard, ain't she? Fine, I'm on my way, but tell that Kikaput this ain't over. You as well, sir. What are you doing there? Bah, I was just about to leave anyway, so don't go thinking he had any part in it. Alright, at least one more. I think he's up here. There he is, this guy. Let's get him off the docks first. He's not really rowled, right? He's just sleeping. You silver, uh, you silver bizarre folk are annoying as hells. I'll give you that. Bugger this job. I'm off to find some peace and quiet. Then we got Danielle over here. Danielle of the Silver Bazaar requires some very specific materials to fix his father's broken compass. Please, you must help me. It's my father. Well, he isn't dying or anything. He's a fisherman by trade, you see? But he broke his only compass. He hasn't been able to put out to sea in weeks. The compass is very special. It was crafted by the goldsmith of S. Times Leperies. Repairing it will require many chunks of magnetite. Such stone can be found on the near, near the lighthouse, but the search is not without its danger. The area is rife with earth sprites drawn to the magnetism. I'm a lowly fisherman's son. I have no arm for fighting, nor the stomach. Three chunks of magnetite would serve them to met the compass. Once you find them, please take them from my father, Gilfridius. No doubt he'll be dawdling about the bazaar as always. We'll help you, father. Reasonable doubt. Let's do that first. Are they gone then? All of them? Well, that's a relief. Serves them right trying to scare the folks from their homes so they own the masters can buy them. The hammers were built to pound the ground into a solid foundation. The plan is to turn these tracts into manors and mansions for felons wealthy. The same fate awaits the silver bazaar since the value of the land is set to rise. Small wonder some opportunities is striving to drive us all off so he can have it all to himself. The silver bazaar may not be what she used to. Aye, many people leave now, they come, and aye, more shops closed than open. But it's my home, and I don't mean to be chased off by some bloody gillionaire craven who sends common fox to do his dirty work. Alright, so there's two quests we need to do here. Chunks of magnetite and goblin grease. That's all the goblin grease that we need. Do we still need to pick it up? Yes, I do.
Right, that's all the magnetite, but let's turn this quest in as well, the grease one. That's a hunt, isn't it? Hunt are like special creatures at a super high level. That one is way too big to be a normal. Or it could be a... No, oh, that's a hunt. Electrion. Yeah, that is it. It was either that or it was a... What do you call these? Fates. You do a other lord. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy to, trying to clean the sand clocks from these hammers? Gotta kill a few bottles of goblin grease right now. Well... Here you go. Goblin Grease, Fafano must have sent you. Thanks to God for both of you. Before long, these tracks will be covered up by the estates of Old and Elite. The ground is still too loose to build upon them. The hammerers are pounding to make a solid foundation. Once that's done, you'll see the structures start to rise. The building was planned to stretch even further, to the heart of the Silver Bazaar, even. But it seems the powers there... But it seems that powers that are... Uh, that be? But it seems the powers that be are be... Wait... But it seems the powers that be are being with some local resistance. Powers that be are being met with some local resistance. I guess that's how you read it. There are some last named Kikipools who writes the bulk of the land there. Stomach to a fold that one. A bloody thorn in the side. I don't blame her though. It's her home. Those are f just for decorations. I don't know what they are. Oh, it's a lighthouse, I suppose. There's a lot of buildings here that you will never be able to enter. Always wondering what's inside those doors, you know? I like the sky. It has a lot of stars, though, that's for sure. Holy moly. Hey, Galfridas, I got your compass. Don't waste your time, mate. Me bloody compass done broke on me. I, I'll not be fishing this day, nor the next, more than like. Oh, your son told me to give you this. Magnetite? Then he asked you the, that of you, did he? So that's to fix up his old compass and go back to sea, is he? Catch a nice haul of that fish, fish, hmm? I have a vessel that's barely seaworthy and scarce big enough for me alone. I have no crew, no hands to help with the haul. All bloody day at the sea, bustling me arms, getting me a few gill at best. Gods, days ain't what they were. This would... Time would... No, time was you could scarce count the ships. What used to make birth here? There were no empty coin purses or stomachs in all the bazaar. Small ships ain't got no place on sea no more. Everywhere I go, I'm in the shadow or make some monstrous trawler or signer. The old ways are done. The little fisherman done less to our way. Ain't no fisherman no more. No much of a father, I suppose. Just a broken man with a broken compass and broken dreams. Should I slap some sense into you then? <coughs> Galfridas of the Silver Bazaar wishes to reclaim the fishing lures from the goblin muggers who took them. Appreciate what you did, friend. Bring me the magnetite gave it some more thought. I did. Put it out the back to sea and all, but even with the compass fixed, still ain't got me lucky copper lures. Was well, way late by some goblin muggers a few weeks back, and just north of east of here, there's a thieving bastard made off with all the lures. Dozens all told. Must be... Must be you felt some earth sprites to get them in the magnetite chunks, am I right? So if I reckon you could put down a few goblins and bring me back the lures. Suppose I could make it worth more than just two of them. A couple of copper ones should serve for now. You're helping put our broken lives back together. <clears throat> and there's uh, Fufufano. Something has Fafafono, oh, if I can pronounce his name, Fafafono of the Silver Bazaar in a very agitated state. Those goddamn haulers. Who do you think they are? A big good coin. There you are. One of those task seeking adventurer types, are you not? Somewhere as I ordered from Ulder One merchant arrived, but those bloody worthless haulers just dropped them off outside the gate and left. Ain't obliged to bring them no further, the lazy bastard set. Gate to the bazaar, still the bazaar. Order ain't set nothing about no home delivery. The gal. <sighs> There are tree paces and all. Would you please go and bring them back to me? Sure. <clears throat> Fafafano's baggage. It's one. These are all side quests. We don't need to do these, but... 
There we go. Might as well get the copper lures out as well. It's even questionable if this is worth my time, the little experience they give, but I'm gonna try and complete all the side quests anyway. There we go. Problem solved. <clears throat> so these level quests, what, I mean, what level are these quests? Level eight. Yeah, so I'm almost double that level. Gloves are better though. What about the legs? The legs aren't, so I'll get gold for the legs and gloves for the, uh, for the gloves reward. Gods, those oaths better not have damaged my bags. Well, have you found them yet? I did. Let's see. Yes. Yes. And yes. Excellent. Everything is accounted for. Those bags contain garments from silk tapestries, though each is flawed in some way. In Ulda, even a minor mistread is enough to turn the most luxurious gown into fodder for the furnaces. Not here, though. As long as the garments bear famous name, the souls of Silver Bazaar have no qualms with colony. Time you choose to be better. We were never driven to such lows, but gills hard to come by, and with, and so with me, and so with each passing day, all that's left in this bazaar is overly proud souls with unduly developed tastes. Everyone clings to glories of the golden past, yet none make efforts to reshape the dismantled present. I pray the damnable bazaar sometime, someday sinks beneath the seas that strangle it. The sooner the better. Gelfridus? It ain't an easy task, but I'm asking all the same. Friend, two copper lures to get me back in the sea and put me Danielle's heart at ease. There you go. I'll be damned. The old copper lures. Never thought I'd see those beauties again. Bloody hells, them goblins sure saw them banging them up. Well, ain't gonna be catching no fish with these. Well, that's that. Must be Nald himself telling me to give up on the sea legs. Might as well. There's a new life waiting out there somewhere, hmm? Maybe Scumpass will lead me to it. Born Brad here it was. Ain't never called no place else home. Times are changing, though. Suppose I could sell off my land to the bloody buzzer prosperities and see what else is out there? That's exactly what they want. Alright, Kikipoo. Level 9 quest. Is searching for someone to help her with the land prospectors have had to set their sights on the Silver Bazaar. It's terrible, Vex. It's something terrible. Please, you must help me. You've already done so much, I know, but we're in grave danger. Those fiends have drawn up a fake contract of sale and are trying to use it to drive us from the Bazaar. Do you smell that, Kikipoo? That's the smell of inevitability. You knew this day would come. You s Simply choose to fill the interim with resistance rather than acceptance. Brave but foolish. Back for more, Kenrick? How many times must I say before it seeps into that fixed skull of yours? I'll die before I seal ill with this land fall into your hands. Easily arranged, I assure you. Come, Kikipu, listen to reason. You know who we are, you know our deeds. You've no hope in this. Look at this miserable place, a stain on the map. You resist now, but I swear I will lay waste to those shabby tents and broken buildings, and when I'm finished, I'll guarantee you will thank me for it. You stupid foolish man, you couldn't be more wrong. 
We may longer boast of visitors of guilt the days past, but this home's to me and many more. Our memories here are a year's worth. A year's worth of them. Decades. We sweated together when we ducked as well. We laughed and drank together in every festival. And we mourned together with each life of the desert took from us. That is the Silver Bazaar. That is home. Those memories are what makes this place. And I swear to the Twelve above, I'll feed you and whatever masters you serve your own manhood. <laughs> Damn. I'll serve your own manhood before I let you destroy it. Stubborn girl. No matter. The sale's all but concluded. Look about you. Risks of seizure have already been posted. I think not to take them down where I were you. End this futile fight, Kikibu. There are more of us. And you're truly willing to die in this place? We're more than willing to oblige you. Feeding them their own manhood. Jeez. Vexus, please. The risks of seizure. You must tear them down and chase Kenrick from here once and for all. As you will. Hello? Was a high level player. There we go. Rip that rid of seizure down. Put rid of seizure on the Chocobo stables. How dare you? There's not a lot of buildings left. There's only four. Well, three in the stables, I suppose, but. Actually, there's something down by the dock. But we don't have to remove those, it seems. Hey, Kenrick, I got something for you. I thought you might be along. Pity, you're too late. Demolitionists are already on their way. Every building bearing rid of seizure will be rubble within an hour. That's fine. Here they are. The Ritz! What, what have you done? But that means, my man. No, that's impossible. The day may be yours, but we'll be back soon. A far more fearsome company. You made an enemy for life, you fool. I won't be content simply to see the bazaar struck from this map. No, I will not rest until the name is wiped out from every history book in Eorzea. What is his problem? Hello, Kiki Poo. So Kenrick is gone for now, is he? That's certainly the brightest news I've had in a while. Though I can't help but wonder about a more fearsome company he threatens to bring. Ah, uh, I've never had a wait with words. Bloody paltry things, but I, uh... I would like to thank you, Vexus. You are not just saved the Silver Bazaar, you saved me. You saved who I am. Don't cry. Is she laughing or crying? I see now, I'll have to maintain a constant vigilance to keep my home from harm. But if it's a vigil, I welcome. I stand up to any threat that comes to through that gate. And we'll stand with you. Favafano. Uh, what do you... Say what you did for us, having Vexus here chase off Kenrick and it... And all. It's true, there ain't much worth fighting for, but it's home, goddammit. And for own one, I ain't ready to give it up just yet. Aye, this is home. And even if there's nothing left but sand and cracked stone, then I say we built something right here together. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. And most of all, thank you, Vexus. There are no more fine garments or gold spun brocade here. No more bustling ports with ships full of cargo and fish. But the better days live on in our hearts. We are the Silver Bazaar, and it is us. Our memories, our past, our history. That is what makes this place. So long as we remain, so too does hope. You taught us what it is to defend home we love, and from now on we'll do no less for ourselves than you've done for us. I have a final favor to ask of you. This letter. I wonder if you would deliver it to Momidi for me when we next visit Ulda. 
She and I have been friends for many years. Let her read my words and she'll be able to give you the reward I cannot. Right, that's perfect, because uh, we need to go back anyway. Because we have our gladiator quest to pick up at level 15, which we were uh, a while ago. rubbish at the moment. <laughs> it's the best I could get at this point, so... I'm gonna try talking to the smith in a bit. What's all this, Dan? You got something for me? I, as a matter of fact, do. Hmm, a letter. Now who would think to... Kikipu? Haven't heard a word from her in an old gal in ages. How's the deer doing? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's Kikipu, all right. Last time I was used to call in at Silver Bazaar quite often. This was back when it was still the busiest hop in Fenelon, mind you. Old Kikipu and I used to stay up till dawn talking about, well, whatever girls do. Kikipu's the very heart and soul of that place. Hells, even the most folk here in the city still remember her name. Makes me bloody hard to hear that her, that them good folk were nearly forced from their land. Dirty business, that. But I'm not at the point of worrying just yet. I'd wager guild to gobble poop that the Silver Bazaar be rallying back to its former glory for long. In any case, I thank the Twelve for you helping them out. Here, for your, for you, on behalf of Kikipu and the Bazaar. So we get 17 water shards, and we can pick one of these. The question is, do we need one of those? Uh, yeah, I guess it's better than what we have, so we'll go with a copper ring. There we go. Okay, that was that. How about the smith? Can we already do those battles or not yet? Greetings. I'm one of the smiths, a stroker of fire f f and forgers of futures. As a delicate member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. Well, well, the mantle of adventurers is not draped so awkwardly from your shoulders as it once did. But while questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some dark dungeons. Stalwart crumbits at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all that manner of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and they are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. As such advice holds true for many a formidable foe would that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus we did construct the Hall of the Novice, where they endeavor to prepare for these adventures. The Hall can be found just north of Ilport in the western land of Skea. Within its walls we offer budgeting heroes a bevy of training exercises Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you need to for tomorrow. Hall of the Fame Novice, yep. Now have access to the Hall of the Novice. Register for training exercises by speaking one of the smiths, or select Hall of the Novice located in the duty finder in the main menu. Uh, not yet. I want to go to... Otapa Potapa. Retire to an inn room. Gonna empty my bags with all these vanity items that we have. Uh, toy chest, armor. There we go. Store an item. Inventory? No. No. There we go. The onion helm. The moogle cap. The goblin cap. That chocobo hat. Helm of light. Yeah, I don't need that because I got the feather on my head. Wild rose bandana. Wild rose gyrus. Well, Rose Arm Guards, Burn and Circlet, Strive Vest, Strive Gloves, Leonhard Gloves, Dentalus Vest, Dentalus Cuffs, Well, Rose Breeches, Well, Rose Boots, Strive Bags, Strive Boots. Leonard Bottoms, Tantalus Breaches, Leonard Boots, Tantalus Boots, Baron Earrings. Yeah, I guess we don't need those. What else? Chest, wrists, and rings? Nope. 
How about equipped? Those, but I'd like to keep those. That empties my bags a little bit. Glamour dresser. Toy chest. Crystal bell won't do anything, I think. Nope. Comfy feather bed. Orchestrion. Don't think we have any. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Alright, um, let's do the Hall of the Novice. Begin. Commence. So these are basically some small tutorials to let you get to know the game better. Listen up, Novice. For this exercise, you'll be learning avoidance. An enemy often tips his hand before a big strike, so save yourself some hurt and step clear of the impact. <clears throat> Show you have learned to get out of the way in your pass. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. This gives some good, uh, good gear though, so it's definitely worth doing it. Watch your opponent carefully. We need an attack coming. Move out of its striking zone. You'll be facing me first. I won't hold back. So be quick on your feet. That's the way. Do I have to actually beat you? I'm not sure. I think I just have to dodge. Time I switch to a new technique. Better change your dance. That's what I can just go like this, actually. Now it's my turn. I'll teach you not to ignore a ranged opponent. Both foes at the same time. Home gang. Got a run in time. There we go. <clears throat> and this concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. So the thing is, is that as long as the red area shows, if you are in it when it ends, you get hit. The animation doesn't matter. You can like uh, before if you get out before the red ends and then just walk in during the animation, it won't hit you. Outstanding. Learning to avoid the ob ob uh, obvious attacks is a skill all adventurers need. Those who insist on standing still won't survive long. And speaking of survival perfection, each of me lessons will earn you a piece of armor to help you in your chosen role. You can also repeat the same lessons with other masters and be rewarded with equipment which works best for the students of their combat style. Here's a bonus for completing the exercise. Remember, this training on the field of battle. So we get a bunch of experience and we get brand new gauntlets which are really strong for this point of the game. And maybe also a small bonus is the garish that looks decent. I mean, look at that. So this one is plus one strength and one dex and this one is plus two strength, two vitality, two crit, two dirt and one direct hit. Plus it has 14 extra armor. So I'd say that's quite a big upgrade. Right, let's try the next challenge. According to my records, you have yet to fully complete your training. Uh, of course, but there's much to gain and not to be lost in an attempt. Let's go. Execute a combo to increase enmity. Alright, so now we're going to deal with enmity. Listen up, novice. When it comes to your place in the party, you're the wall of steel with the takes the enemy hits. 
But yeah, the tank. Soaking up the pain and keeping your mates safe, that is what you need to focus on most during battle. Enmity is a measure of how badly a foe wants to kill you, and it's your job to be at the top of any, every enemy list. <laughs> it's a cool way to describe a tank, to be honest. So for this exercise, you'll be learning about enmity and how to build it. Yeah, aggro or threat. Remember to bolster yourself with iron will before every battle, then I'll get your foes to notice you nice and early. Thanks for letting me know, I forgot about that. It keeps turning off. The best way to establish yourself a threat is string some nasty combinations. In your case, let's start out with a fast blade and follow it up with a riot blade. One, two. It says there as well, combo action, fast blade. Show me a solid series of blows, now consider your lesson learned. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. Hurry up, man. Proceed to start then, are ya? Or prepared to start then? Yes. This training exercise is now underway. Hit that wooden warrior with your combination. Fast blade first, riot blade second. Don't try nothing fancy. Get the order wrong more than four times and we start over. One. Two. That's the way, lad. One. Two. I mean, it also has auto attacks, but it doesn't care about that. One. Two. Keep to the order I told you. The combination won't sting the same if you're mixing some other techniques. Well done, lad. Keep it up, lad. You're almost at the end of it. Duty complete. And this completes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Use that combination in battle and you'll build up the energy you need. When faced with a single foe, it's simply methods that are often the most effective. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember that this training in the field of battle. So we only get experience in gold here. No item this time. Right, I guess we go with the third one. Tank training, exercise three. Execute a combo in battle. I think there's like seven of them or something, seven or eight, quite a few actually. Listen up, novice. Do you recall how you built your enmity in the last exercise? This time you'll be testing the combination on a proper opponent. I said this before, lad, but bears repeating. Your job is to soak up the pain and keep your mates safe. And you do that by directing the foe's enmity onto yourself. If your ally is still standing at the end of the fight, I'll count it as a win. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. This training exercise is now underway. We protect the mage from this warrior, right? Fight your opponent with your combination. Don't let your ally get hit. Alright, come back here. Well, that's getting slower. Grab the frozen attention onto yourself. Easy mode. Alright, that concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Alright, you've seen the combinations are a fine way of building enmity. When the party is relying on you to take the hits, you need to rely on a method for grabbing the enemy's attention. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. Nice, so we get our boots. Look at that, plus 13 and everything. And there's like 7 status on it. I think our current boots have like 2 or 3 status at most. And again, it matches the rest of my armor that we'll be getting. Right now we have the gloves and the boots. Alright, next one. Number four. Accrue enemy multiple targets. Uh, 
that's this attack. So listen up, novice. For this exercise, you'll learn how to build enmity with multiple foes. Have you ever tried using the total eclipse technique? I'll let you aggravate an entire group of enemies. It's that one. Deliver an attack with a potency of 100 to all nearby enemies. Total Eclipse hits every bugger with you around the circle. Make sure you're positioned so you don't miss anyone. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. I'm ready. Hurry up. Let's go. I'm gonna hit all of them. Feel to carry out the instruction five times. Should be starting the exercise over. There we go. That's one. It's two. That's also done. Duty complete. Ah, this concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. That was easy. When facing, when facing multiple foes, it's all about positioning. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. Okay, no gear this time. We do get a bit of experience and gold as well. Alright, training five. Engage multiple targets. I mean, I played tank since vanilla World of Warcraft. I know how to tank in MMOs, don't worry. I did a lot of end content in World of Warcraft. Like, hardcore end game. It's raiding like six times a week. Use Total Eclipse to gain amnesty with a group, just like you've practiced. But that's the, anim the enemy. I'm not sure that's the only. Wait. I'm sure the enemy's enemy. Can't even talk properly anymore. Defeat every enemy on the field and I'll consider your lesson learned. Basically he wants me to tank all the dudes. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Prepare to start then, are ya? I tanked in Swator, I tanked in World of Warcraft, I tanked in Rift. Uh, what else did I play? Rift, Swator, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 11, Final Fantasy 14. I think those are the only five MMOs I've played. I might be wrong, though. You always go with the healer slash caster first. They're the highest source of DPS. Next up, you'll attack the uh, well, other DPS, I suppose, and lastly, the tank. Now he's using an axe, so you might think, oh, he's not—he's not a tank. He's a DPS. No, warriors in this game use two-handed weapons to tank. They're kind of like a druid in back in World of Warcraft. Two-handed, plus a lot of HP. Or would the Death Knight be more intra More, I think Death Knight would be more accurate. No, I think Druid would be, because they have they have more health than Paladins do. You see how a fighting group called for different techniques. If you want to be at your most effective, you need to switch your tactics to meet the situation. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. Alright, we get our brand new trousers. Again, a massive increase. Opposed to what we're well, uh, wielding right now. can't really see it because of the halberd that we're, we're using right now. That's also pretty... Yeah, so it's kind of like a skirt, this one. It's not so much as a skirt in the, in the male version, but the female version is obviously a skirt. This one is not so much. Alright. Got another one. The following class... 
quests must be completed. The old familiar feeling. Available for Millie and Gladiator's Guild in the Steps of Fall. Okay, so we need to complete our class quest first. Because I know we need... I think we get Shield Lob from this one. And I reckon that's what we need in order to progress. That's fine. At least we got three new pieces here. Hands, legs, and feet. Leaving our body and head. I'm not sure if we get weapons from them, actually. Gladiator's Guild, where is it? There we go. Yeah, shield lob, I knew it. First sort, Mila, we still assign you another task. Hail, Vexus. 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 You come at a good time. I have another task I would assign you. The immortal blades and the brass blades have... The immortal flames and the brass blades have both requested the guild's assistance in maintaining security in Camp Tribone. A vital outpost... Vital outpost along the Royal Elegant Sunway. The mods have been raiding caravans with reckless abandon, creating a significant disruption in trade. Ulda has a long, troubled history with the Amalja, so raids are not unheard of. However, this recent escalation must be addressed. Go to Camp Drybone and search for those raiders, Vexus. I've already dispatched other gladiators to patrol the region, so I suggest you speak with them one more for information. Um, that's a bit of a distance, Drybone. Yeah, so we go with this one. Sultana Gate, was it? This one. All our steps of Nold. Gotta do a little bit of walking here. Well, not a little bit, actually quite a bit. Increases the damage taken by 20%. Reduces damage taken by 20%. Furthermore, grants a bonus to maximum HP based on your vitality attributes and bonus to damage dealt based on your strength attribute. Performer group pose, repeating last executed mode or action on loop. Camera position, lightning, and color filling. <laughs> Forgot about that. Alarm. Let's go through some of these menus while we're walking towards our destination. Oh, this is new. We'll have to uh, do that in the future. That's also something new. Currencies, but well, we only got gold at the moment. Armory chest, inventory, chocobo saddlebag. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Your chocobos can carry items now, that's awesome. Companion, mount guide, fashion, fashion accessories, blue magic spellbook, PvP, achievements. <clears throat> Last five. Recommendations. We got zero in the moment. No, wait, that's not the recommendations I was referring to. Key items. Zero. Journal. So we got three quests. I want the novice. <clears throat> well, we might as well do the Tuco Tucos, because I know where they are. Same with Miyoga's Billies. Should I, actually? I don't know. I'll get the Tuko Tukos, because they're right here when I enter the new area. 
The rest are a bit further. Maybe the Miura, maybe Miotragus Billies. I might take those down as well, because they're nearby. The other ones are a bit further, and I know we'll get there. There we go, another achievement. Eastern Fenelon. So here's the Tuko Tukos right there. Which will give us another level, because we're really close to leveling up. How many do I need to kill? Three. Okay, that's all of them. I will also attune myself to the ether, so we can just teleport here next time. Just right there. Doesn't look like it's much, but wait till we actually zoom in on it. It's quite a large ether, right? Yep. It's quite a nice one as well, if you ask me. One of the better looking ones. I don't know, I like its design, with the hole in the middle, etc. Wait till I get my chocobo. It's gonna make traveling a lot quicker, that's for sure. Yeah, there's the billies. I knew they were here. How many do I need? Three. I believe that's a billy, yeah the brown ones with the horns. The other ones are nannies. Female. Usually there's high level players killing these for their heights. It can be a bit of an annoyance sometimes. If they kill them in one hit and you're trying to kill them for your hunt. There we go. Level 52. Talking about high levels trying to kill these. That's probably one of them. Level me up. How much experience do I get from it? It's 5,700. No, it won't level me up, but it will give me a good portion of my experience that I need. Where's the rest? And Venomous Imps. Try bone. I believe they're over here. Pretty sure they're here. What about the rest. Running nobles up there. This is western. Eastern, eastern, western, 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 western. That's all western. Maybe we'll. Maybe I'll give them a visit right now. Get down, they're still here.
Don't worry, brother, I'll be fine. Don't maybe not when the first sworn is done with me, eh? Go tell her that the homage are dead. Leave the merchant to me. Alright. Now, I will go out of my way a little bit. Let's go here, because I know that's where the enemies are that I need. And I know I will be returning there, but I might as well get a little bit of XP boost now. The condition is still 100. I wonder when the condition lowers. Normally, when you're fighting, the condition should lower. Maybe that's not until a certain point of the level, like they're trying to make it easy on you so you don't lose durability. Or maybe they change that only to when you're dying right now. Like I said, I haven't played the game in a while, so things do change. Right, how many imps do we need? Three. Once we kill three of them, we will level up. It doesn't matter really if you do this one early, because in the end you'll need to do them anyway to complete your log. The only downside to being a tank is that you don't do a lot of damage. Yes, you don't receive a lot of damage, but you don't do a whole lot of damage either. Now, if I make my chocobo a healer, I'll be near indestructible. Like, anything they throw at me, anything they throw at me which is not supposed to be multiplayer, I'll be able to deal without any problem. There we go, level up. That was hunting lock 19. Now we're gonna do hunting lock 20, but we won't be able to complete it, as that's a two part. But I know they're here. Don't aggro me. How many do I need? Three of them. Here I am, pressing one, two, three, one, two, three, but I don't need a three yet. He just waited for his body to die before he aggroed me. Did, did I? I said I would, but I still messed up. Oh. No, I did. I did get Kevin Dry Bone, apparently. doing that, but I know this one has Ethernet as well. There we go. It's not a better sword. The sword is quite a bit better than what we have right now. The gear, you might think the chest is better. Yes, it is, but we'll get a, bigger, a better chest from the smith soon, so... Take the gold, I suppose. I knew I was right to send you vexes. You've done us proud. Seven hells, this place reeks of sweat. How do you expect a man to concentrate on his swordplay like this? Uh, Aldis! You remember me. How goes it, brother? Still waving your sword around like a feather duster? <laughs> it's a 
It's like nothing happened. Y you Good to see you too, Myla, my dear. You're more beautiful than I remember. You're alive. Where have you been all these years? Answer me. Me? Well, if you must know, I'm on a spiritual journey of self-discovery. Damn it, Eldest. This is serious. We all thought you were dead. For you to walk in here as though nothing ever happened. Have you forgotten how you dishonored us? I should cut you down where you stand. Oh, ho, that's Mila, I remember. All the fire and brimstone. I knew that pretty face could still contort in itself into some terrifying shapes. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't pout, girl. I'm just having fun. But as you wish, I'll go. Vexus, was it? Why don't you join me at the quicksand? I could use some company, and I doubt anyone else here would be so kind. Alright. Back to Momidi. The Adventurer's Guild, the quicksand. Uh, d d d d there we go. Really saving us some time. Here we go, Eldest. Level sync is in effect. If you're okay, level nineteen. Oh, we're level seventeen, so we don't have to be synced. Oh, you came. Sorry you had to witness that little reunion between me and Myla. The Sword of Null, back from the dead. You'd think it'd be greeted by throngs of adoring fans. No, no threats of violence. Listen, Vexus, you're good with a sword. That's plain to see. But more than that, you've got purpose. There's a fire burning within you. As a former man of conviction, I can recognize a kindred spirit. Geralt named her Frenzy. She's one of the magnificent pairs of swords that the drunken prodigy forced from the Colosseum champions. The man who wielded her twin had eyes that burnt like yours. Vexus, I... The hells? Eldest, Sword of Nald, we've come for your head. If you do that, then how the hells am I supposed to enjoy my ale? Arrogant fool, prepare to meet your maker. Click, 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 click. Empty. <laughs> well, ain't you a bunch of impatient, humorless fellas. Humorless fellas. Up for a bit of fun, Vexus. I'll lead, you follow. Yes, sir. He's way stronger than I am, so by all means, just do what he wants. Watch closely, Vexus. I'll show you how come the Seam Champion fights. Like I do about 49, he does about 234. Or 235. Look at that. 300, 200. This guy's a beast. There's no point in trying to take the aggro from him. Weakly, <laughs> those weaklings are all yours, Vexus. Just telling me to attack the weak guys because I'm weak as well. Aye, that's the sort of support I crave.
Watch their eyes, Vexus, not their hands. Just standing still anyway. Duty complete. That wasn't so hard. Didn't think he'd go as far as to send a gang of cell swords into the quicksand in broad daylight. Sorry, Moby D. <laughs> Every time we're fighting here. Why is it never a bevy of beauties? Yeah, I think that would be better for Moby D as well. Let's continue this another time, shall we? I need to find a new place to drink with one more attractive company than this sorry lot. He just slaughtered an entire battalion of soldiers. Like, at least 20. Poor Momidi has to clean up this mess again. <laughs> Where's that your job, Papa Sue? Back to the uh, Gladiator's Guild. Though we could walk there, it's not that far, but this is easier. Potentially quicker as well. My apologies, Vexus. I meant to teach you a new technique earlier, but when that idiot arrived, I completely forgot. It's just so infuriating. Mm hmm. The shield lock technique will allow you to attack from afar without the need for ranged weaponry. Since we gladiators are primarily close range fighters, the ability to draw attention of distant enemies is a valuable asset. May it serve you well in the field, Vexus. Right, we'll take the sword, we'll take that, and then we'll take the gold. And then we won't be back here until level 20. Oh, shield lock learned. That's useful. So we're pulling in distant enemies. So you don't have to walk all the way to them. So we had a bit of meat. And we had a bit of goat horn from the uh, billies. From the, the goats. So that's a big upgrade. Plus 8. I'll take that. And then... Didn't get a new shield, did we? No, we got shield lock, not the shield itself. That's fine. Uh, dun, 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 back to the Adventurer's Guild. Actually, yeah, let's just do it. I don't think we need. Don't think we need to go physically to the guild. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Got that new technique that's here. there for now that's also a gladiator isn't it yeah let's talk to the smith we can finally can what is this repairs we don't need repairs thanks execute a range attack to increase enmity there we go Fair, stroll into the pack of foes if you're asking to get swarmed. In your shield lock technique, it'll be the tool for the job. Well, that or taunt. I already noticed that works. Rather than blunder them up and nasties, you're better off pulling a few from side to side from a distance. Defeat our enemy onto the field and I consider your lesson learned. But well, he doesn't tell me to pull them up one by one, he said just defeat all of them. That's the mission. Sometimes that's better, you know, we're like, oh, you have to pull them one by one. No, just pull them all in. You can, you can take it. Do, 
There's a lot. I'm not sure if I can. But he wants me to pull in. I mean, he doesn't want me to fight them all at once. Break a chunk away from the group and grab the full attention with Total Eclipse once they reach you. I mean, I even got a healer, so I probably could just take all of them. I mean, I'm not sure if he's gonna heal me though, but he is. So I could definitely take all of them. But I'm afraid it might uh, fill the quest if I do. Because see, they're telling me to pull them apart. <clears throat> Duty complete. Now that it completes the exercise, come see me for your reward. What do I get? You see how easy it is to split up that big nasty mob? The situation doesn't allow it, but often there's a better strategy than in charge. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. Golden experience. Well, we'll take that. Alright, next one. Smith. Number seven. Engage in enemy reinforcements. That's what the suit lob is useful for. Listen up, novice. For this exercise, you'll learn to deal with reinforcements. Sometimes the latecomers for battle, so you gotta stay alert. If I notice a new foe arrive, don't give up to panic. Keep calm and pick the enemy up with your usual tools. Are they too far away for a combination? Then real man with a shield lock. Once you get everyone nice and close, you can switch the total eclipse to keep the enemy flowing. The enmity flowing. Feed every enemy on the field and consider your lesson learned. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. Prepare to start, are you? Yep. Let's go. The training exercise is now underway. Priorities taking down the reinforcements. Yeah, hurry up, man. I just used my cool on our end. There we go. Easy mode. I mean, he can take a few, punch, uh, a few punches. That excludes the exercise. Well, do I get something new now? We got the chest piece. There we go. Brand new Gyrus. Really good. Look at that. It's three, three, threes. Nine is 11 status and 18 extra armor. That's a big upgrade.
There we go, our gear is finally starting to look like something. Final ex- wait. According to my records, you have yet fully to complete your training. You are under no obligation to finish the final exercise, of course, but there's much to gain and not to be lost in this attempt. Alright, final exercise, there we go. Wonder if I get a helmet. I don't need a helmet, though, because I got the feather, which is pretty strong. Status-wise, it's really bad, but the experience it gives is worth it. By the time I'm 25, I'll probably have a better helmet than this guy can offer anyway. This is it. The final exercise. As a combination of your training and the skills you've learned, I'll be... I'll be put to the test. Breathe deep, remember your lessons, and you'll do fine. Let me know when you're ready to begin. And then there's the one where I have a little party. Prepare to start, Arden, are you? Yep. Yeah, see, this is my partner. The strain exercise is now underway. Defeat the tame dodo, alright? Right, let's start with the basics. Keep the foe away from your allies and watch your position. always got to tank them with them back towards the party. Not only do they get back attack bonus, I'm not sure if that's a thing in Final Fantasy, but it used to be in World of Warcraft, etc. Because attacking from the back, he can't uh, block. He can still dodge, but he can't block. And uh, the fact is that his AoE attacks will probably focus forward. Of course, there's... Uh, how would I put it? There's exceptions to that rule, because some enemies have like a back AoE, so you have to put them like sideways like that. Or sometimes you even have to just put him forward, since he has a cleave attack that you need to uh, dis distribute the damage among. You can't take it alone as a tank. Alright, we got a few enemies. Defeat Tame Jekylls 2, defeat Tame Pooks 3. Normally I turn around and run, but I know it can take these just by walking forward and backwards. Walking like a noob. <laughs> like instead of to go like this, back and forward with the arrows, you turn around and just run, it's better. That's that's the basics like for tanks. You don't just use your arrows to walk or for any class really. Here you can see, I got out of that little red triangle, so the attack won't hit me. So the animation is a little bit false, like here for example. So now, and now I go in. So on screen it hit me, but it didn't. His auto attack hit me. Watch. No way, get in the way. No damage. Because it's not a hit, as long as you're outside the AoE range when it hits. I still ran because I wasn't sure if my stun was going to hit. Duty complete. And that concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Hi, Master of Shields. Congratulations on completing me course. Lad, here's a little something to mark the occasion. Oh yeah, I forgot about that ring. Increases XP earned by 30% when level 30 or below. So that's another experience item. Nice, let's go. So I don't get a helmet, I don't get a sword, I don't get a shield. You get four pieces of armor, that's fine. How about this guy? Ah, splendid. I see you mastered the lesson of Hull. Henceforth you are novice no longer. Believe me, friend, there's no greater thrill than striving alongside like-minded companions to overcome the deadliest of challenges. May the wisdom you gain in the Hall of Novice serve you well in your adventures.
Alright. She's got wings. How is she still that... She still has that little tree above her, but she's 51 now. Alright. Uh, anyway. I got a new ring. Right, so now our bonus experience is 80. Wow, that's a lot, man. Alright, go to Horizon, Horizon, Horizon. Well, we don't have a teleport towards Horizon yet. Unattuned, nope. <coughs> we have several hunts over there, though. We got bombs. Horizon's Edge bombs. Copper goblins, thick shells, scaphites, and bloated bogies. We can do all of them. Correction, we will do all of them. How much bonus XP for the log itself? 10k. So I have to kill one enemy just to see how much bonus XP we get. I guess they don't give experience at this level. Because we gotta kill something else. They got a piece of meat though. Does a level 3 give me any ex XP? Nope. That's the bridge we need to cross. But we might also have to go down. Fix shells, where is that? Footfalls, that's further on. Goblins and bombs, horizon edge. That's there. Copper bell mines. So both the bombs and the copper goblins are here, yeah. I wonder if the fixed shells are further, that's further, and that's even further. Alright. So two of them are here, some of them are here, some of them are here. Bonus XP should be... It's more than 80 now. I think we got rested bonus. No, we don't. We do? 96. I'm not sure at this point. <clears throat> yeah, we did. Alright. So we had 16% rested bonus. We now have a stable bonus experience boost to 80% extra. That's a lot. But I think the first one that's going to run out is this one. 25. Then the second one that's going to run out is this one. 30. And then that last one is the necklace. That was 2300 gladiator experience, I'll take that. Got a walled city over here. Is it a city or an outpost? I wouldn't be able to tell. It's quite a big one. Right, uh, let's go Chocobo Keep first. 
Next up, we got Dedanen. Dedanen. I don't know how to pronounce that. Nexus, I presume? Aye, well, me set to expect you, since so I have. Welcome to Horizon. Ours is a trading settlement that sees good in from Vesper Bay to the west, and trade we do. Every day goes by that the Horizon isn't bustling with some manner of merchants and officials. They keep us running about busy, they do. Enough so that I wish I had chocobo legs in place of my own. And that's why I asked Momedia to send me any souls looking for work. Twelve, no, there's plenty of it to be done around here. Speak to me again when you're ready to make yourself a use of some... Someone? I don't know. Couldn't read that one properly. Skipped it too quickly. I'll get the two bronze pieces. The Dandon would like you to deliver a message to the Copper Bell Mines. It so happens that I have a situation that must be resolved post-haste, and I do mean post-haste. I'm plumb of premium products and my last order has yet to arrive. If I keep my customers waiting any longer, this, should could, this could irrevocably damage my reputation. What's worse, I paid my man in advance for his service. Despite his assurance that it would be a simple affair, I've heard nothing since the departure for Copper Bell Mine days ago. Find Drunken Stag and give him his notice, I cannot afford any further delay. How about you, Zuzu Yaru? For the rise only. Zuzu Tyro has a profitable proposition for you. Greetings, adventurer. If you have a moment to spare, I have a proposition that's guaranteed profitable and legitimate both. Tell me, do you know what a Peisty is? It's a skill skin that looks like a snake, except it gets around on four legs. The creature The creatures are wont to petrify their prey with their deadly gaze before moving in for the kill. I want to get my hands on their eyes. Eyes of the serpent, they're called. I need someone to knows how to handle deadly wildlife to do the procuring for me. If you could slay some of the beasts and bring me four of their eyes, I'll see that you're well rewarded. Are you sure, we'll take it. Fuvalupu. Fuvalupa. Requires your aid in apprehending a thief. Most... Most dire of happenings are afoot. A most grave and treacherous trespass. Some unprincipled knave has been fetching supplies from the storeroom. In order to apprehend this morally challenged Repscallion, I have procured four iron leg traps. To be completely honest, I'm not entirely certain how these things work. Would you be so kind as to set them up for me? Once you're done, please report to me my fellow breast, Chesson. You'll want to know his traps are being put to proper use. I remember this part. Let's attune to this in case I forget. There we go. Here's the question about the leather maids that we had a long time. Fine evening to you, adventurer. My, ma my name is Toto Noah. I'm in charge of assigning local leather maids here at Horizon. You've come at the behest of Estas, are you? Excellent. Allow me to set you in for the first task. It'll be a simple one, mind you. Before I can permit you to undertake official duties, it is essential that you prove yourself in a sound body and mind. Take a moment to review the task outline in the guild leather. Do you believe within your capabilities? Sure. Speak to Totonoa at Horizon. We did that. So the guild levy is over there. Gonna place some traps in front of the gates. Iron leg trap. Those are bear traps, aren't they? Yeah, quite large ones of that. A deadly trigger advice. Deadly trigger activated device that Fufalupa wishes used to use to catch the bandits. Cheshon. Cheshon. You set up the trash for Fupulupa, have you? Excellent. Perhaps now we'll see who... Tall's balls in a knapsack. Are those my leg traps in front of the gate? A traitor's chocobo could step right in into that and lose a foot. I better disarm these things before someone important is hor horrifically injured. Yes, I know you were just following orders. It's Fufalupa, you see. It certainly means well, but disaster follows the man like a behemoth chasing a butterfly. <laughs> Poor Fufalupa. Necklace, what do we have? We got that one's better. So let's just get the gold. Traps are already gone. He's pretty quick though, he was just behind me. For their eyes only. Let's go kill some uh, pasties.
<laughs> my cat is just being a derp right now. He's laying next to me on the floor. There's a... Uh, what do you call this? There's a, there's a chair right next to me he could lay on. He usually does, but for some reason he's just laying on a cold floor right now. It's not even that warm. He usually does that when it's warm. Right now he's just chillaxing right next to me on the floor. I'm gonna make sure I don't move my chair. Drunken stag. What do you want? Hmm? The tenant's products? Yeah, here's your letter. You can't send all the notices you like, but it won't change a thing. The concern is close to mine due to an incident in the depths. It's a goddamn shame, too. Lost a decent hole just over yonder during all the chaos. Oh, that's got the gold. Torrid Whisper. Torrid Whisper at Copperbell Mine has lost his mining tools. Venture, please, a moment if you would. Do you mind going to the mines? I fled my life for when the goblins came and only realized that I left my tools behind. Please, you must retrieve them for me. My sharpened pickaxe, my old war, uh, old hammer, <laughs> war hammer, an old and heavy sledgehammer. Without them, my life is as good as over. How about drunken stag? Drunken stag needs someone to retrieve the raw netherite he dropped outside the mines. The product you heard Denon going on about is a valuable gemstone known as raw netherite. I managed to dig up the goodly amount just before the mines were closed, actually. Packed it up and hauled it over, but then the twelve damn goblins came along. Not like any co goblins I've seen before, and hungry only for the good rocks. They had eyes for my gemstones, so I had no choice but to oblige. The stone torches had their hands full, evacuating the mines, so they ignored the beasts. Even now they're only concerned with keeping people out. Please, friend, if you're willing to face the goblins, would you bring me my nash site? Sure. It's a main quest, so we don't really have an option. That guy's flying around on a little dragon. I attacked the wrong person. I think these guys are doing the quest. 27 is too high, but 25 is a little bit on the high side, but not impossible. He might be doing the dungeon. I mean, I'm 18. The dungeons are level 15, and it's quite a while before we reach the dungeon, so... Who knows what level we'll be when we do the first dungeon. Please fight my sharpened pickaxe, old warhammer, and heavy sledgehammer. They mean more to me than my life itself. God bless you, you found them. Oh my beauties, I thought I lost you forever. Mining's all I've ever done, it's all I know. With the copper bell, my ammo it is now, time to move on elsewhere. But without my tools, I just couldn't. I can't thank you enough, friend. You've done more than you could ever know. How about you, drunken stag? How did you fare, friend? Did you find the royal nature site? Yeah, they were inside some goblins. Beautiful, isn't it? Rarer than many stones and more expensive than most. They say the green is the same as the eyes of Nadnasha of Ulsha. No, the Nasha Ul Nasha, who once ruled us the Sultana. This should save the Dendon from his troubles. There's nothing enough left 
if there is enough left. There's far less than where what I found. I reckon those goblins made a metal of the stuff. Bloody waste. So the helmet is kind of nice, but we'll be using the feather for a while longer. Drunken Stag wishes you to repay your kindness for some useful information. You'd, you'd like a chance to make some money, right? Then I know just how you can repay your, for your kindness. Swarms of sun midges have been arresting travelers along the road connecting the horizon to here. It's gotten so bad that the brass blades have started paying folk to keep the roads clear. If you find it hard to, if you find it hard to believe that swarms of tiny midges could be so troublesome, they have never seen a chocobo driven into frenzy by one. There have already been some terrible accidents. Do your part and slay a few swarms after that. Let Fufulupa know. He'll reward you for your trouble. Maybe even offer you some more work. It's the main quest still or not? Yeah, the perfect swarm, it's main quest. there. Yeah, my durability still isn't being lowered. Brass Bastard Sword. Gladiator's Arm. There's four ice serpents I want. Slay as many paces as it takes to procure them. Yep, I got them. The yeah, eyes, my fangs, adventurer. Hmm. What do I mean to do with these things, you ask? Why well, sell them, of course. They may not look like much at first, but if you dip them into alchem alchemical concoction, they transform into beautiful red gemstones. These gemstones happen to fetch a handsome price in Grisania. Bases aren't found in the Black Trap, you see. As a merchant, it's my job to know such things. Alright, so... We don't want wraiths, do we? No, we don't. Just take the gold. We got Fufulupa here. Greetings and salutations, adventurer. To what do I owe this? What? You've slain how many swarms of sandwiches? You have my sincerest thanks. The breastplates have been strong enough to keep them in check, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. We'll be staying here horizon long. If so, there's much and more you can do to help us here. Take the gold again. Fufulupa wants you to bring down and track down a missing courier. Pray, allow me to enlist your aid, brave adventurer. I would have you ascertain the whereabouts of a missive I sent to the Lost Hope the other day. Captain Leofric is stationed there. Ever since he was transferred, we've exchanged letters. Never before has it taken this long to receive a reply. And so I fear that the courier may have met with some misfortune en route. She must have made it to Central Fenelon, her breastplates to Pertol. She must have made it to Central Fenelon, where her brass blades that patrol the roads between here and Scorpion Crossing would have been seen something. But she's made it as far as Blackbrush Station, she would have surely delivered the letter by now. Lost Hope is practically on its doorstep. I suggest you focus your search on the road to Blackbrush Station in Central Fenelon. Well then, you will find her quickly.
Cheshire Shen, a breastplate in Horizon, has a task for unoccupied adventurer. Look, for a task to fill your morning adventure, I may have just a thing I can yet feeling squimish. Here's the job. I need you to draw four bottles worth of blood from the mongrels that roam the south of here. Once you have enough, take the foul fluid to a breastplate by the name of Nononzo. You should find him somewhere along the road to the horizon. Bemoaning his terrible fortune, no doubt. Happy hunting. He said, right? Yeah, mongrels. They're near the pasties here. Sweet. All right, let's uh, let's do this levy. No, actually, let's go here first, here, then here, and then do this. We'll teleport back here, then we'll walk here. I got my plan set up. Doing as much as in little time as possible. We we're already level 19. Then again, we have been streaming for a while. How long has our time been? About 6 hours and 10 minutes, so yeah. I will enlist a break in a bit. It's just gonna chill out for a little bit. I might continue streaming later on tonight. I have no idea what my uh, plan is for today. I really don't. Might do a little bit of cleaning the house. See what my girlfriend's up to. She's busy or not. If she is, then I'll be streaming. If she's not, I'll be doing something with her. I'll have to see whether, if I do stream, if I'll be playing Final Fantasy or Pokemon. So we need it. What do we need it? What did we need? What did we need it? Jeez, my English. Fix shells and scaphites. Well, scaphites are here and the fix shells are, I think, over there. really quickly soon. This one's worth a lot of experience. There we go. I need to find the fixed shells. I believe they were here. There we go. I see its name. Excuse me, got the hiccup here. Look back, speed bar, it's already halfway now. So we need about 10k, and we get 10k just for completing the log. We will also get another 6100 for that specific log. Some optional side quests we can pick up here, I guess. 
Let me level up first, just in case one of those side quests unlocks at level 20. So these are the ones with the uh, pluses on it, so they allow you to like dye your armor or glamour your armor or kind of, that kind of stuff. So this one actually leads to another area here, Cape West Wind, Imperial Outpost. We won't be going there for a while, or this entire area for that matter. But the enemies we need here. There's more than three, so we'll be able to level up here. go, level 20. And we uh, got our hunting log up. Let's see. Next one's upper, south. So you can see there's different areas. Thanalan now, Lanoskia. North Shroud. Southern Thanalan. Eastern Thanalan. Yeah, a lot of this stuff we won't be visiting anytime soon. Alright, so none of this is in Central. Because there's, well, there's hardly any area left anymore in this area. This is like the highest level area you can be. And I know they're not here. Maybe there's, later on, Hunting Lock here. Like, Hunting Lock 4 or 5. We got an achievement, didn't we? Yeah, sticking with the pointy end. Level 20 Gladiator. Yeah, Chief Gladiator level 20. So we can now get this one. Color your world. Sprigrin wants to show you a whole new world of colors. Sure. You there. Yes, you. The decisively unfashionable adventurer. Gods be good. Never in my life have I seen such unap unap so unapologetic focus on function and extreme cost of form. The mere sight of you makes my eyes bleed. The lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the realm in that sorry state. I believe your appearance can yet be salvaged through the use of color. I'll teach you how about dyeing your outfit, but first I make first I must have a drink. The heat has given me a vicious first, and I won't be able to talk for any length of time. Be a dear and buy me a bottle of orange juice at the stall by the northern gates, will ya? Once I have my motions by throat we shall see to the business of rem remedying your appearance. Well she doesn't dwindle any words around it. Okay, so she wants orange juice. There we go. Seven gil. I can take that. It's a whole bottle of orange juice of that for only seven gil. Pray tell, if you brought my orange juice, let's have you forgotten. The merchant who sells it can be found just inside the northern gates. Yeah, I do have it. Here you go, man. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Phew, that's a relief. Finally, I can teach you how to bring colors into your life. Listen well. There are handy items called colorants, which allow your folk to dye their outfits on a veritable ri rainbow of colors. These colorants are simple to use. Adventurers have no excuse to be fashionable unconscious. Let's you worry about the dyeing will affect your garment's precious properties. You may rest assured it will not. The practically you adventurers love so much will not suffer for the change of appearance. A change for the better. It should also gladden you know that the garments can be dyed repeatedly, so there's no fear of getting locked into one color. The garnish pink that seemed like the, such a wonderful idea after a dozen glazes of red can be undone. And that's all you need to know about dyeing gear. Now, what are you waiting for? Go out there and bring some color into your life. Quest complete. And we can now dye our gear. Though not this gear, I believe. Because this is a sort of special gear. And we also had glamour. Spurgrim wishes to impart to you our knowledge of glamours. Oh dear, dear, dear. This will never do. My sense of aesthetics simply won't allow it. How can you go out dressed like that? I mean, this gear looks pretty decent, though. 
My dear, if only you had a spare foot of stone con coordination. Hope your garbs hold up as scruffle. Because there's little else going for it. That's it. I made up my mind. From this day forth, I'll take it upon myself to save you from any any more fashionable disasters. Let me see. So much that needs to be addressed. Where is to even begin? My dear, and get me a drink. I'm feeling parched. This matter is best discussed over a glass of something cold. Just go to the pissed Piesty and ask Falkland. I'll have some blood orange juice and he'll make sure there's no pulp in it. Now off you go. Alright ma'am, a drink for teaching me how to glamour, that's fair. Falkland. Ah, Svergen sent you, did she? That woman. I've never known anyone else lazy. Would it cure her to get, to get it herself? Here you are. Shouldn't let her push her around, you know. Give her an ailment, she'll take a mile. Svergrin. Svergheim. Ah, how's the drink coming along? Ah, uh, pretty decent. Here you go. Ah, oh, delicious. Nothing better on a hot day. Some I have expensive taste, but life's too short to settle for second best. Of course, this extends to my choice of what robe, too. Now that I'm feeling refreshed, shall we get started? Do you know, dear, you'd look a little less drab if you knew how to apply glamours. What's a glamour, you ask? Well, a glamour is a prism as a catalyst to project the image of one unto another. It's just an illusion, mind you, but very convincing. That means the original object stays exactly the same. It just takes a new appearance, that's all. Remember, if you fancy a change, you don't have to stick with the same glamour. Just apply one on top, or use a glamour dispeller to return the object to normal. Why sacrifice style to such a humdrum trivials as durability or protection from bodily harm? Limitless possibilities for self-expression are just a couple of glamours away. Go ahead, give it a try. And do make it quick, dear. For my sake, I'm finding your uninspired attire more and more offensive with each passing moment. Wow. Well, we got a green beret. Glamour's now available. Yeah, I don't have to learn about that. I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now I got a green beret. Where's my green beret? Let's see how it looks. Yeah! I am the French. <laughs> no thanks. It doesn't look good on this armor. Could do something with that, but not in my current attire. Seeds of change? Yeah, there we go. Following a trying sea voyage, Tatafu could use an adventurer, a mop, and a bath, in that order. Well, this is pretty kill with fish. You'd think a Rugana would be too damn big to get seasick. Oh, adventurer. Yes, there you are. Looking for work, perchance? Name's Tatafu. I'm a merchant just back from Limsalominsa, and I'm in a spit of trouble. Hired a big luck to make deliveries, but what I get instead of a couple of chum pace badly in need of emptying. Can't let that stop me, though. Now I'll light a fisher out in Croissant Grove needs what I've got. Although if this up chucking good for nothing, it'll be up and about by tomorrow. Now I'll light is likely to stand the weight. Okay. We need to go here. Yeah, Croissant Bay was it? What do they call it? Croissant Grove. Cove. Stock to the Chocobo Keep. It's not a quest, but can't stand those markers. Gotta get rid of them all. There's a few red ones here which we won't be able to get. Either for uh, either we're too low level, or um, they're crafting quests. Crafting quests, which neither we have. Well, we do have crafting crafting classes. She's, but they're level one, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, he's already got his chocobo mount. I guess he joined a dungeon or something. Hey, none alike. Hmm. Isn't it here yet? Should be. Should be. But he isn't. Are you looking for a large sack and a small sack? Oh, you got my delivery. You got it. You got it. Hmm. This sack's got some theft to it. It sure does. And it should too, being full of soil. What will it do with the soil? Put it in the ground. That's what. The little bag you gave me is filled with seeds. It's time for some farming. Clemente's done made the fish stay away from these waters, so if we don't farm, we don't eat. Here I go running my mouth and near forgetting the business. Got the gill for Tatafu right here. Tell her I'm much obliged. And back we go again. Hmm. 
No, I already have a title. Gear set, glamour plates, facts of attack. Acquired titles. I got none. Great. At least the game is honest. You are too poor. You too, you suck too much. Do you don't have a title? Can't wait to use my mounts, man. Got the pen. Armed with an unexplainable ability to levitate and little else, this thousand-year-old creature, age unconfirmed, has descended to the ancient peaks of Orfardian Fang Croissant in search of a hero to help Doma wrench free from the iron clutches of the Garlean Empire. Spoilers. Tadafu. Swiftly done. Was the fisher satisfied with his bit of land? Sure was. Ah, the payment, is it? Guess he was satisfied. Thank you. Let's see here. Yen, ten, tether. That's everything. Can't rightly say I feel easy at mind about this. Fishers have always had enough gill as it would us have little enough gill as it is without squandering in it on a little scale on dirt. So what do I know, eh? Farmer and limbs I got it from said I'll give the cove thin soil the boost it needs. So hey, maybe they'll at least have a fighting chance. Gotta have hope, right? Here, there's some leftover seeds for you. If you come a bit land. If you come into a bit of land in one of those adventurous districts, go and set up a vegetable patch or two. Will do. Alright, so now we can do the levee. Beast skin blood is used for crafting. Uh, Everse is something I don't need in my current class, but I'll take it. Then we got dyes. I guess we can put the dyes with the potions for now. No? I don't know. Put the, put the dice here, I suppose. The cat is still going crazy. I don't know what he wants. I already gave him food and water. I guess he just wants attention. Because I'm the only one home right now. Currently playing one-handed. Giving the cat some attention. Get him a little. Uh, I'll get a cat cam in the future. Because he's always next to me. His name is Simba. Very original. <laughs> he had a sister called Nala. Though they were both chipped. She, was man she managed to run away. We never found her for more than three years now. So I hope she's just with a family t being taken good care of. But I don't know. Unfortunate. I always take good care of my animals, but yeah, this guy, this this cat ran away and we never saw her again. And what do you need? Soft skin pasty. Okay, just need to kill this big guy here. I want a treasure chest, though. There we go. So you can choose to return to the leather quest, which in this case is closer to our quest, so I'm taking it. Or you can just decline it. But there was a reason I did them in this order. Save me a bit of traveling. The bonus has been awarded based on difficulty and speed of completion. We got uh, bronze knuckles. Pridulist armor. Uh, weapons, I mean. Given your stellar performance, I see no reason to deny your official levy. An industrial individual like yourself could earn a great deal of coin here on Horizon. And complete this one as well. Simply the Hest. Totanawa believes you are ready to join a guild Hest. While I heartily encourage you to participate in my guild lavish, should you seek different sort of challenge, you might also consider joining a guild Hest. If you wish to know more, partly speak with Battle Warden Lost Rabbit. I will inform you of your success against the Pacey so that you are no doubts as your abilities. There he is. There she is. Is it he or she? She. You didn't say a word, adventurer. I could hear Totonawa quite well from there. Ah, uh, this would be your first time joining us? Allow us for a moment to explain in detail just what exactly is a guild has entails. More than simple levy quest, but not as quite as realm shaking as a grand company outing, Guildest will test your ability to work together with a small part of battle campaigns to overcome the not so small obstacles. The duty is taxing, but the coin is decent. You will be helping to maintain the safety of Eorzea and the well-beings of our citizens. 
If what I describe appeals to you, please pray speak to me again to join your guild test. Alright, let's take the potions. Guild test is unlocked. Duty finder unlocked as well, I suppose. Alright, so we don't need to talk to her, because we can now press U. That's fine. And, well, we only got one enemy party's joint. Probably instant Q, almost. Normally they're always in search for a tank, but I guess, well, it's 12 o'clock, so no. Surprised that didn't pop up immediately. Guess we'll deliver the mongrel blood now. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't popped up yet. What level is this guy? 51. Unknown Revenger. Alright. Passing true. There's Nononzo. Hey Nononzo, how are you doing buddy? What do you want with me then? Here's your mongrel blood. Is this mongrel blood? Thank the gods, now I can finally head back to our horizon. Mongrels are the natural enemies of most other predators, you see. Throw their thick blood into the fire and the resulting stench will send beast skin fleeing from realms around. Makes light work of our patrols. As long as we have a steady supply of the nasty stuff, and I'll wager you can guess what the brass blade pick the short straw to kill mongrels this time around. Well, thank you. I'm off to enjoy a hot meal on a tankard. May Fall's golden holes await you in the afterlife. Complete. Alright, we'll push through for the main quest. Which, I already forgot where it was. There we go. Last letter to lost hope. Search for Sassali in Central Fenelon. That's the main quest. Guess it's there, near the Chocobo. Yep. Huh? A letter? Aye, I got Fufalupa's missive right here. I won't be delivering it anytime soon, though. Gotta tend to my bird's injured leg first. Even the most minor of cuts can faster if ignored. Fufalupa sent you, right? If this is a precious matter, why don't you take it to the rest of the way? Lost Hope just passed Black Blush Station to the northeast. Look for the tents by the river. It's the one near the cave, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, we got a new quest here. Forging the Spirit. Might as well take that as well. Look at the Gurgan. Gurgan and, uh... What do you call this? Gurkin and... One second. Okay, there we go. Just my stream was hanging on my device. I'm like, is my stream bugged or is it just my computer? It's just my computer. Anyway, what I was gonna say, Gurgan and Goblins... Uh, they're kind of humanoid, and they have interactions with humans. They can be friendly as well. So far, we've only encountered enemies, pretty much. That's her again. Look, oh, but she's 28. She's pretty high. Lancer. Swim Bros. Yo, Swim Bros, what you up to? 
Swimbros wishes to disseminate the secrets of Materia creation. What would I told you if you Im inanimate objects can possess a soul? They can, believe it or not, although the soul in question is not their own, but that of their owner. Though faithful servers, the arms and armor that we use to hold up our spiritual energy, thus we perform a spirit bond with them. The spirit energy can be drawn out and coveted into Materia, a special kind of crystal that can be attached to gear to enhance its properties. I'm well versed in the ways of Materia extraction. If you wish to learn more about the process, it would be my pleasure to teach you. Sure. If you're ready to commence your learning, good. As you will have gathered by now, Materia has crystallized form of spiritual energy, and this energy is derived from an individual's phys phys psyche. A volatile beast in best of times, a degree of variance is to be expected in pro production. In practice, this means that you won't know until the exact properties of a stone until you cradle it in your hand. Now, Materia won't grant such much of anything on its own. Power must be tapped, see? This is achieved by melting it to gear. Know, though, that I take depths of hand of craftsmen to melt materia. You can always seek out others to attach materia on your behalf, but if you would sooner do it yourself, I recommend you speak with Phobos. Melding is your field of expertise. If you wish to remove materia from an item, highlight its icon and select retrieve materia. There's a chance that materia will be salvaged. There we go, extracting materia. And we don't have what it takes to for Phobos yet. That is a class quest, which we don't have. But we should be able to extract it at least now. That's taken care of. Let's go to the main quest. And wow, the guild has just taken a long time. Yo, Eternal Saber, welcome to the stream. Cross playing as Asmon Gold? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Why, does he have a character that looks like this? Does this character look like this? Uh, I, I got distracted. There we go. Where is he? Leofric. Just passing through. Or will you be staying a while? Uh, I'll be staying a while, I guess, because you guys need help. Fulupa sent you out to because of a late letter? Huh, the boy's still far too earnest. Despite my demotion, he continues to call me Captain. I suspect he has no idea what it means to be transferred to Lost Hope either. The brass blades don't give a quirkin's arse about this settlement. No one in Ulda does. All here have been forsaken adventurer, the refugees, the protectors, and you will be too if you're associating us if you're associating with us. Thanks for your letter. Now for your own good sake, leave. Oh, that's rude. I don't have to be so rude about it, sir. See? We got plenty of quests here, so I'm not going anywhere. Amol Burga needs you to help the end of the mesh machinations of vile bandits. Thank the god you're here, adventurer. You must help us. The other day, spied bandits from the Quiver and Mans selling gemstones and smugglers, and not just any stones, raw and ashishai. With the kind of wealth they could purchase finer arms than the Sultan's sworn. After that, they surely seek revenge of the people of Lost Hope for defying them in the past. They slaughter Leofric and other anyone else who fought back, and they have their way and with me and with the other woman. Sniffle, sob. Spare us the horrible fate adventure. I beg of you, steal the Nesha from the Quiver and Mans and bring it to me. Oh, there we go. It's about time. Like I said, normally you're supposed to pull in what pack by pack, but it's easier to just take them all. I 
Like I said, here he goes again. Like, try to just attack him one by one. Nope, no need. GG. So now you can hand out player recommendations. You gotta be quick though, because these guys are quick in handing them out as well. Uh, let's go with DPS. There we go. And then you turn them in. And I didn't get a single recommendation. Boo hoo. <laughs> That's fine. You can actually get items from that as well. So let's cancel this one. Let's go for the next one. Join. Alright, let's. Way too many. Life is of lost hope is worried of a friend fallen ill. You look as if you've put a few beasts down in your days. Would you mind putting it down a few more? A friend of mine has been taken ill and simply must have geek and toad secretions from the liver of toxic toad to treat him. Two files would suffice. You can find these nested creatures in their own holy lair. Do me this favor, I beg of you. Our friend will die without treatment, please. Then we got Leofric. Leofric has been requested for an adventure looking to do some good. I thought I told you to get out of here. What? You're looking for a chance to do some good? <sighs> I guess I can't force you to leave. Damn stubborn adventurers, a lot of you. Fine then. Listen well. A band of outlaws has taken up residence in the Quiver and Mans on the ridge to the south. The leader has styled himself for their Alea oh, I can't even pronounce that. Himself heir to Aeolande Quiveron, the syndicate member who died in the calamity. Phew. The Baron and his cronies are not but the pack of jackals. They prey on the people of lost hope, robbing them of what they have. I must I myself cannot act without endangering the refugees, as they know my face and I will retaliate against lost hope. You, however, are not known to the bandits of their allies. If you wish to help us, then deal with their baron. Oh, we got another one here. Hammond. Hammond is looking for someone to make a delivery. Don't suppose you'd be willing to do a favor of mine down us, uh, down for a miner on his luck, would you? Rumor has it a man named Beringard at Blackbrush Station is looking to take on the miners. I'd go see him myself, but my wife's been taken ill and needs tending to. You'd be too so kind to take my application to his Berlinger fellow. I'd be in your debt. Right, so there's nothing there. There's something there. They're all over the place. Need not apply in person. Let's do that one first. So we're just looking for a healer now for forming party. He's up there, isn't he? No, he's not. There we go. Beringer. Say your business quick like I'm busy. Here's a application. Another miner looking for work, let's see. Everything looks to be in order. Alright, I'll go ahead and add him to the list. Those refugees are a bloody 12 cent. They break their backs for the next nothing, and when they're washed up, there's always another to take their spot. Poor as fool. The poor fools dig up pebbles worth more than they'll see in their whole entire lifetime. Yours can be right cruel place at mines, but I ain't one to change, but I ain't broke. Give me the golds. Alright. So, like, this is Coffers and Coven, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. That's that one. Gotta go up here again. And we got those totes as well. Alternative medicine. Maybe we'll do those totes first. Uh, nah. Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's do them first. Why not? There's two of them. Toxic totes. Well, we have plenty of those in the chat lately. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved.
close to level 21 right now. I'm surprised with the guild levies though. Most MMOs, if you're a tank, you Q and bump it instant pops. That or sometimes you do need a healer, which is in our case it seems. So either those DPS left the Q or they threw me in another party. Because both my DPS has left. Well, I returned here now, but I'm a much higher level this time. DPS right now. There we go. We got that. So we can get out of here now. Always got to remember to pop the uh, this thingy. Iron will. Guys are going so quick, I can't even do anything about it. Hey, we got two combinations right there. <clears throat> they usually end up going to the tank or healer. So close to leveling up though. Let's go with the next one. Enemy strongholds. You get two every two uh, two every five levels. So we got 2 for 10, now we're doing the 15 one. We got level 20, so we have 4 more to go. <coughs> Truth be told, those things are great for accommodations. Uh, but for experience wise, you only want to do them like once. You get a little boost for completing them the first time. Quite a big boost, but, I and mean, you can do the, like the roulette, the daily roulette, but that's about all you want to do. Because they're not really worth it. Especially if you have queue times like this. I must have two files of Gaga Toad secretions from the liver of Toxic Toad. Please, my friend. My friend does not have much time. Oh, bless you. You're, mo you're not a moment too soon. After some light preparations, I'll be able to give this to my friend. He's always had a weak heart. Were he rich, he could have taken the meals and regions he needs. He would have no need for such foulness as a bowel of toads. Uh, hope all that's not lost here. Gil and good health are scarce as well. Necessary evil in a nation such as Ulda, I suppose. The few at the top feast and flourish, while the many at the bottom starve and suffer. Okay, we leveled up. I forgot about that. We were so close to leveling up. It was so unbearable having to watch from the shadows while the bandits stole their precious gemstones. Neshashat, excellent work, adventurer. You dealt the bandits a crippling blow. And finally, after being consigned to the shanty town for moons a chance to mm -hmm. a chance to improve the plight of people of course yes yes improve their plight I shall put the next side to good use worry not I can't even zoom out on the, I zoom in on the face that's not very good is it the bandana why does it take off all my gear there we go now I'll take a gold Leofric. So it's done. Good. I hope that Reich died screaming. All that's most 
Prosperous than ever, some say. They may be true folk for the syndicate, but none of that wealth has trickled down to the small folk. It's all murmurous farce. One day, I refused to play my part, and so was made to leave the stage. Aye, my time has passed. The breastplates of the rose must look the other way for guidance. Cash. So, okay, there's no new, no new quest, right? Yeah, just the main quest. Leofric. Leofric would like to deliver an item to Horizon. As you may have noticed, I'm in no shape to leave Lost Hope right now, so in my stead, I'd like you to return to Horizon and give this dagger to Fufalupa. Though it's just an old ornamental dagger, it belongs with the breastplates of the rose. Aye, I should have given the boy before I came here. I should have given it to the boy before I came here. Matt, you, you want to go all the way back there, don't you? You know what? Yeah, that's not happening. I'm just going to teleport there. Uh, do we want to use a ticket? Sure. It's 195, so I'll save that bit of money. Right now we're at almost 9k gold. We've seen what it costs to take a house, so... I'm gonna save money where I can. Ah, Vexus. I remember receiving word from Captain Lofric the other day. Thank you for delivering the letter from you. Here's an antique dagger. Why do you have that dagger? Only Captain of the Breast Blades of the Rose is permitted to possess it. Captain Lofric says I'm to have it? There must be some mistake. You couldn't possibly mean to tell me that. No, of course not. I'm not worthy to wield it. Nevertheless, I shall respect the Captain wishes and take the dagger into safekeeping until he comes to reclaim it. Fufulupa needs you to assist his fellow Breastplates. We're finally getting a shield. I'll take that. Breastplates have a rose. Have need of your uh, assistance once more, Vexus. Fomagerges from the Osiri are pres presently serving the footfalls of ancient relics. An area is rife with wild beasts. The Horizon garrison has been charged with the security. But Captain Baldwin sent only a handful of Breastplates. Despite his assurance to the country, such a small unit cannot possibly be sufficient to protect our patrons. What have you offer your assistance to my comrades? Pray travel to the footfalls and speak with Totaruna. Totaruna. Oh, there's some extra side quest opened up here. At the Crescent Shores, was it? Yeah, Crescent. Oh, Crescent Cove. Man, I keep. First was Crescent Bay, then I said Shore, but it's Cove. The duty finder's taking forever again. Totaruna. Hey, bleeding an adventurer come to help? Ain't heard nothing from Captain Baldwin about this. He said trusted men only. Hey, Rope, we got this under control, and besides, the operation ain't got nothing to do with Fivalupa. Boy's got a stick up his arse, the size of a sabotender. It's no wonder the captain told him to stay at Horizon. Yeah, we kind of do want the shield, it's better. But it's six bronze pieces. Let me take this instead. Don't need the shield. Good enough as it is. And it's 600 gold. That has to be safe for the house. It's pocket change at this point, but hey. Gold is gold and I'll take it. To the room, I would like you to call Oberon in the footfalls. Since you're here, might as well make yourself useful. With Oberon swimming around the side and dis are disrupting the Fomaferd's work, which means we gotta slaughter a lot of them. You can help us out by calling six of the beasts. Let me know when you're finished. Okay, how about you? Non... Non... Oh, I can't even pronounce these names, man. How do you pronounce all of this? Nunu Zufu. <laughs> Why don't you deliver the message to Crescent Cove? Hey, adventurer. Mind running a message to Crescent Cove for us? Captain Bolowin's plans some festives for the Thumb of Urges, see? He wants us to treat it the finest food and drinks. Nothing but the best of our distinguished guests, eh? Head west and south to the village and tell Raph he's deliver a bounty of fresh fish to the horizon for the feast. Alright, but first let's kill these Ourobons. Might as well just pull a few in, right? Hmm. 
Right, at least one. This guy. Watch your blade, Venturer. There's six fewer Oroban to pester our guests. Truth be told, the Vomiverge could have brought their own escort from the city, but seeing as they wanted to take a gander at runes to this close to Horizon, the officer reckoned would be responsible for incidents regardless, so here we are. Ain't much work, but we still got to stay on the road. It's Oroban, so much as nibbles on one of their toes, we're liability to lose all of ours. We're liable to lose all of ours. <clears throat> Alright, so we got one quest left. Storms over storms on the horizon. And there's a few quests here we can pick up. More than one, it seems. We got Adelaine here. Adelaine of Crescent Cove seeks to help removing debris caught in their nets. Have you some time to spare an old fishwife, friend? I have nets what needs tending, and as you can probably tell. Those nets see hanging here are just used for hauling fish. Problem is, in the doing, they dredge up all manner of junk from the sea bottom. I'd be grateful if you pick any debris from them you might find. You can't do that yourself, really. So what is this? A bottle? What is this? Something else. Can't even tell what it is. And that. Whatever that is. A paddle? A pestle? Osman, how are you doing? Osman at Crescent Cove is vexed by litter in the area. Ah, what a bully pain in the airs. What do these low minions think they are anyway? So look at all this, would you? A merchant from Linz La Minza dumped his junk when he shipped out. He claimed it was fit for selling, so he just up and left. Barbarians, what passes for etiquette across the Strait of Malfor? Don't suppose I could ask you to clean it up for me, please? I picked so much junk already, the mere sight of it makes me gag. These guys are lazy. Decaying vegetables, that's useless. Splintered crate, that's no good. A bottomless toolbox, that's because there's probably no bottom in there. Oh, there's more junk. Great. These people are just lazy. Wrath. Fresh for Captain Baldwin? Of course, of course. We'll do our best, sir. Unfortunately, we had a poor catch in the, in the recent days of the amount of rough seas. More boats should be returning soon, but I cannot promise their catch will be fine. Please don't worry, sir. The captain will have our fish. I swear it. Okay. Sore is now good, so we'll take the gold. Thank you, dear. There's only less sure what seats need doing. I tell you, there's no easy thing being a fishwife. But not mending nets and patching sills and praying to Limlion for still waters and a hearty hull. Still, I would trade all that hard work for anything. Take the gold. Still have two quests up here. The main quest from Marilda. And we need to clear up more of the junk. Rilda may have stumbled upon a secret. You're an adventurer, are you not? I know this is sudden, but I have no else to return to. Last night, a gang of bandits from Kribra and Mons were in their cups, and I overheard them discussing their plans. It seems they come to collect gemstones from the Copper Bell Mines. Neshashite, I think I heard one say. They are to meet at the co-conspirators soon at the footfalls. What did you say? Hills of exchanges and shadowy dealings, their breastplate cannot abide such Malfians. Uh, I can't even pronounce that word. Forgive my eavesdropping, Vexus. I came to Crescent Grove merely to thank you in person. I never imagined to uncover a criminal conspiracy right outside Horizon's gates. We must act quickly if we're to comprehend the thieves. I'll notify Captain Baldwin at once. No, wait, you mustn't. Oh, gods. You must stop him before it's too late. Captain Baldwin himself was working with the bandits. Gotta save him. Wait up, little buddy. Duty finder's not triggered yet either. So we got empty decanters. Well, we could use that for something, I guess. We got a holy cup. There's a cup with a hole in it. Don't need that. Unless you're playing raft. You just put some duct tape on it. Unsold pot. Now this could 
go in a house, I suppose. Moth-eaten sack. Well, that's no good. More decaying vegetables. Most of it is trash. Some might have some use. Hello, Osmond. We got your trash sorted out. Thank you, friends. Sending this... Seeing this place clean again does my spirit good. Though I suppose some other Lemins and Merchant will be by before long and leave more filth behind. I hate my life. I don't care. As long as you give me your money, I'll be fine. See ya. Oh, Captain, my Captain. We've been in the queue for 13 minutes. Wait a minute. Western Fenelon, the footfalls. That's there. I guess we could go and see. We we're on par with the hunts. Say there's 50 hunts, as you can see here, there's 5, 5 times 10. So say for every level, you can do a hunt. That would place this one at level 23. 22, excuse me. We are level 21, so we're more than capable of taking them down. That's kind of how you can consider the levels of what you need to hunt. If you're thinking are you strong enough, we'll just try counting them. I know they're here. Here. Apparently this is still considered footfalls. There we go. It's about time that thing popped. And there it is. There's our hunts. The blood uh, lat goblins. Should have checked that when I finished this one. This was the last one I needed. Here's the one with the bunnies, yep. Spriggans, I forgot their names, I just call them bunnies. Water nose has to achieve an unlock. Sweet.
Level up. Bam. And we got one commendation. I'll take it. <clears throat> I like that. I like that title. Heroes, Heroes on a Half Shell. That's a reference to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I figured I was able to kill him before he did that shutter attack. able to pull the shutter off. Thought I interrupted him. Reprisal. What did that do again? Reduces damage dealt by nearby enemies. So it's kind of like shootable, isn't it? Reduces damage dealt by nearby enemies. So that's kind of the same as Rampart. Unless I'm misreading that. We got here. 20% damage they can reduce. Duration 20 seconds. Recost not good. What is it has a lower cooldown. So let's swap them around. How long does that last? Instant. 10 seconds. That didn't look like 10 seconds to me. Oh, wait. Now I'm reading it. It reduces dare damage by 10%. Reduces damage dealt by enemies. Yeah, so the first, the second, Rampart is protecting me for 20% extra. The reprisal lowers dare attack by 10%. I misread that. I won't be able to, yeah, that's what I figured. I won't be able to join that one. Well, withdraw then. We'll come back later. Yep. You can't join those instances when you're queued, because you won't be able to join that instance. And that's why they're perf uh, that's why they're blocking you from entering, I suppose. Captain Bellwin, sir, I've discovered something shocking, something horrible. Someone has been stealing gemstones from Copper Bell Mines and... Wait, those gauntlets, those boots. Why, you're one of Quiveron's men. Sir, that man is a thief and a scoundrel. And, what of it? His coin is good and that's what counts. What? Captain Bellwin, are you working with these men? It cannot be. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fuvalupa. It didn't have to be like this. They get their Nasha shite, I get my gill, and none would be the wiser. But sir, what if your crimes are uncovered? What if Lord Rorito finds out? You goddamn fool, don't you see? I'm acting under the authority of Lord Rorito himself. No, no, that can't be true. Why do you think people join the brass blades, Fufalupa? To serve and protect? <laughs> We're not the bloody flames here. We do this for the coin. You there, adventurer. Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I am Sir Baron from Escoron Ford, Esquire. You killed my brother, and I'm going to return a favor. Oh, yeah? Let's go, then. Well, that settles it. It's clearly everyone's best interest that both of you die. Puts a debuff on them. Let's 
see you, Baldwin. Where is Spear Vexes? Uh, why? Is it gonna come alive? That's enough, Baldwin. Your partner is dead and your plans are undone. You have no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, Leofric. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will you show you, I wonder? You, who have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering about? Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knew about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Criveron's men couldn't keep their mouth shut. Imagine Lord Lillerito's surprise when he learned that a rank-and-file breastplate was using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows. Seven hells. But I'm a captain. He wouldn't. I was once a captain too, remember? We both know what happened that to me. Well fought, boy. You've done the brass blades on the Rose Proud. Captain Leofric. Captain Baldwin. He said that He said that Lord Lodorito. Lord, Lord Lodorito wouldn't waste his time in small-scale smuggling operations. This is all Baldwin's doing. What else did he say? That our brethren are no better and that each and every one of them not cares not but coin? Ha! Mere excuses to justify his schemes. Aye, we've got no shortage on greedy sots. Some would probably sell their own mother into slavery if the price was right. But there are men like you, Fufulupa, man good and true, whom the small folk respect. Which is why I gave you this dagger. The breastplates of the rose need a leader without honor. Uh, with honor, I mean. <laughs> You're the most honorable man I know. Oh, Captain! Thank you all for your help, Vexus. The Captain and I will escort Captain Baldwin back to Horizon. Pray visit me in town when next you return. Alright, give me a small second. I will join the duty. I need to get my charger because my phone is about to uh, on the life himself. So be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So I got my charger. Also grabbed myself a drink while I was at it. Um, let's see. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Speak with Fuvalupa at the horizon. That's what we're doing, I suppose. I think on my next pay grade, I'll uh, order myself a webcam and I'll start streaming with my camera on. This will be the. Uh, th this is actually my first stream of Final Fantasy XIV, starting this character. So we started from scratch. You've even seen the character customization, or the yeah character customization, I suppose. So I'm gonna whenever I play this character, I'll be sure to be online. Alright, so here we go, got Fufalupa. Welcome back, Vexus. So much has happened. 
Captain, um, Baldwin has been arrested and stripped of rank, which means the breast blades of the rose no longer have a captain. Until a new one is designated, I've been ordered to serve as a cap acting captain of the Horizon Garrison. Though doubtless there's only a temporary arrangement, I will do my utmost best to represent my brethren and protect the people of Horizon. Thank you, Vexus, for your service to the Sultana. You are a true hero. Let's go. He's going to follow up quest for Fulupa. Fulupa wants you to entrust a matter of grave import. I salute you, honored friend. As acting captain, I should be much more obliged if you want to grant me my personal request. In our efforts to ascertain the full extent of our former captain's corruption, we have been poring over his personal correspondence. Our search unearthed this sealed letter addressed to a man named Owen. But he is one of the Sultan's sworn elite. I can think of no reason why he should have any dealings with Baldwin. We now know that the former captain was consorting with a coalition of criminals. Could it be Owen as well? The letter may as well serve as evidence of their collusion, and I'd s so I dare not tamper with it myself. But given the events of recent days, I knew not whom to trust with this information until now. I've chosen you, Vextus. Pray bear to letter Mistress. M Pray bear the letter to Mistress Momidi of the Quicksand, and re relate the circumstances of its discovery. Not only is she a stauncher supporter of the Sultana, but she is well acquainted with the Sultan's sworn. She will know how to best proceed. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, we could also get our next quest, I think, from the Gladiator's Guild, because the last one we had was 15, if I'm not mistaken. Keep making that same mistake. How much gold are we looking at right now? 11k, nice. 11.7k. First sworn, first sort, Myla has an urgent task for you. You got a new shield as well. Vexus, I'm glad you're here. One of our members has been attacked and gravely wounded, and they need you to go and help him. I suspect this is the work of mere bounty hunters. It may even be a trap to lure more of us into open. Nevertheless, we cannot ignore our comrade's plight. When well, Leslie contacted us by Link Pearl, he said he tried to seek shelter at Coffer and Coffin. Take this position and search for him there. Take this position or take this potion? What did he say? Potion, I guess. I guess we'll do our class quest first. Having said that, we have to go to the Nold, Steps of Nold, the Gate of Nold. This one. Right, time to drink. There we go. Ox Nolz Nolz. Nice name. Some of these names, I swear. This name is the one my uh, <clears throat> my girlfriend made a character, and she named a few characters, or she named a few names, Jaeger being my last name, but the first name being uh, something she came up with, and there were three of them in the list. My other character that I'll be playing when I'm alive with her is also called Jaeger, but a different name, Galthus. So I choose this name as this character, just in case anyone's wondering why I'm called Velxus. Vexis. Even I have to get used to pronouncing that name. Vexis. Vexis. Here we got injured gladiator. Help me, help me. I can't feel my... I can't feel your what? Thank you, brother. It happened so fast. Over by the tracks to the north. I don't know who attacked me, nor where they left me alive. But I dare say the answer is out there. Surely someone saw something. Alright, let's interrogate some people. This guy is probably the one upstairs. No, he's also in here. Roundulf. Fellow outside, I. I saw him stumble in when he left the bar to take a piss. 
Was I alone, recall? You see, he's wounded. I thought he was just drunk. Did I just saw fly by? <laughs> Is that a moon or a banana? Suspicious characters. Well, now that you mention it, I did see a strange fellow wearing a garnished purple rope at first. I thought he was talking to himself, but then I realized he had a link pearl. I heard him say something about the wrong man in the Silver Bazaar. Does that help? Don't tell me I have to go back to the Silver Bazaar. It's all the way over here. So we are now in Central, Felonin. Is there anything here we need at Central? Nothing. Well, heroes on the half shell popped. Let's do it. Took us long enough. I saw the, the Dragoon was running away, but I just stunned the boss instead. This is one I've done so many times, I can dream this one. Let's give it to the Black Mage. No recommendations? Thought it did pretty good there. <laughs> oh well. Um, heroes on the half shell, take that out. Pulling, pulling potion pussies. Join. Cough, cough, purple rope. Hmm, it sounds familiar. Aye, it was him. I swear it. Did you find something else? This one? A scorpion ring. Picked up this by the tracks, eh? Might have belonged to the bastard. Can't say I've seen this like before. Might be women could... Maybe... Might be as women could tell you more, you know? You know him, don't you? He's the respectable bloke who always lounges around Emerald Avenue in the city. Of course, being the businessman that he is, he'll probably ask you to compensate in exchange. Show that ring to women, he's sure to know something about it. Yeah, that's the guy that first approaches you as you enter the city. Uh, we'll just walk there, I suppose. Let's see as well. Duty, duty finder. We can now do the roulette. We got, oh, adventurers in need DPS. Oh, that's a surprise. I don't think I've ever seen that in the Final Fantasy. We can do the roulette once it's in need of, uh... Tanks, I suppose. Surprise, it needs DPS. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like I said, no one does the guild tests, really. They do them once, and that's about it. 
because you get, look, you can see here, you get the reward. So this one's 50 gold, 80 gold. And this one has a little bonus, completion bonus. You only get that the first time. That's worth it. This is not. Especially if you have queue times like this. I don't think they ever... It's like this. the guild tests are there for you to learn the game. But I don't think they've gone any further after level 40. Even after all this time. It makes me wonder as well with... Uh, once you join a free company. Or a guild company. What is it called? Free company I believe. I usually join these guys. To, the flames. It makes me wonder if they already increased that rank. Last time I played you could still only go to like lieutenant or something. And that was for a very long time. Even after, like, the second expansion, you could still only go to Lieutenant. Well now, if it ain't Vexus, everybody's favorite adventurer. Are you true you're lotting with the gladiators? A questionable decision, given the events of recent days? But each to his own. To what do I owe this pleasure? He knows this, all right. Oi, put that away. Someone sees it. Where in the seven hells did you get one of those rings? Wait, don't you recognize the sigil? God stand fool. If you go stumbling around in the brush, you ought to at least know what kind of venomous bastards be lurking within. Been a long time since Ulda's seen criminal organization rise from obscurity to notoriety as quickly as the ass al alacrin. Word is they got connections to the brass plates, the syndicate, and God knows who else. But you didn't hear it from me. What no part of whatever mess your mates have gotten yourselves into, understood? Alright, fair and clear. Uh, uh, clear as daylight. Where do we go now? Myth... Milia. Mil Myla. I was gonna say Minfilia, but that's a different character. Not gonna tell you who that is. I guess we gotta go to Eve, right? I was thinking there was a small crystal there somewhere. Ethernet. We want the uh, Gladiators Guild. Cosmin Pop. Some of these names, I swear. And Poyamim. Ah, Vexus. I was wondering when you might return. What news do you bring of our injured comrade? He was attacked by a member of the Alacron. His attacker may be headed by this... Uh, this one. The Alacron? I find it hard to believe, but no matter. One of our comrades returned from the Stone Shore moments ago. A gang of bandits is set to be headed to the Silver Bazaar. They're after a man with an enormous bounty on his hat. That might be Eldest, wasn't it? The people living there are in danger. If they're in their frenzy to fight the quarry, the bandits won't scrub to destroy property that harm civilians. The few brass blades stationed there would be powerless to stop them. We must stop them, Vexus. We'll protect the Silver Bazaar and avenge our injured guildmate, all in one fell swoop. A bit melodramatic, if you ask me. Aldis, I told you to never come here again. I couldn't sit by and idly wait while you charge into battle against an enemy you know nothing about, Myla. A responsible guildmaster would never risk the life of her in charge of this, like this. Who are you to lecture me about responsibility? Myla, listen to me. This is the Alacrin you're dealing with. So, whatever notoriety they may have achieved means nothing to me. We'll cut them down like the common bandits they are. It is not that simple. More importantly, it is not your fight. What are you saying? They want me, Myla. I've been fending off assassination attempts ever since returning to Thalonim. Just stay here and let me handle this. It will be over soon, I promise. Just stay where you are and go off your own. Is that it? I've been seven years since I last let you leave, Eldis. Seven years. Do you have any idea? Any idea at all what you put me through? Myla... I don't want to hear it, you selfish bastard. Do you even care about the people who suffered because of you? Just... just get out. We don't need your help. We'll settle this ourselves. Myla, wait. There's something you want to know. Enough. Get out. Get out. 
All right, all right. Save some for the Elecrim, but try not to let your try not to let Vexus has to come harm all your near it. While you are at it, jeez. All right, so where do we go now? We'll rendezvous with Mylat the Silver Bazaar. That's the steps of Nulls. That one. Sultana. Hopefully this uh, duty finder pops up soon, because I realize we probably won't be able to do this quest while we're uh, in the duty finder. We're at seven and a half hours stream. I'm not even feeling tired, so we can go for a while. But I will have to uh, pop something in the oven soon. It's one o'clock right now. I haven't eaten yet. Getting a little hungry. Or appetite, not really hunger. That's what my grandma always used to say, you don't know what hunger means. What you know is appetite. Well, that's kind of true, to be honest. We say hunger, but I don't think we know hunger over where I am. I mean, that's not true, there's people that are hungry, but... I don't think I've ever felt hungry hungry. This thing is, this duty finder is so, so slow. Now we gotta choose. Well, I guess I could just throw the food in the oven right now, since I have to wait for the duty finder anyway. So, give me a few seconds while I uh, go to the oven, heat that thing up. I'll be right back. I'll take my phone with me so I'll know to read the chat, as well as when the, uh, the queue pops up. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Still waiting on the queue. I could just decide to cancel it for now, and we'll just do it as we progress with the rest of the story. But I'll wait at least till 12 minutes. If 12 minutes have elapsed and the queue hasn't popped up yet, then we'll just cancel it. And we'll just do this mission instead, because I don't want to spend too much time waiting. Okay, I completely read the name wrong. Ek the Tuck. I'm not gonna tell you what I read. Could that be swearing? <laughs> there we go. See? I knew it was right not to cancel it.
I was gonna say, at least get out of the potion, man. Jeez, everything's getting potioned up here. Hey, three combinations, let's go. Alright, uh, I was gonna join the next one, but we might as well do this one first. There you are, Vexus. Everyone is already in position. Are you prepared? Yep. Defeat the Alacrant Henchman. There's a lot of these boys out here. Nice, leveled up. Apparently I was pretty close to leveling up. I think this guy's the boss. Finished him off before they can cast again, they're already dead. There we go, duty complete. Victory! Rejoice, gladiators! For the day is ours! Yay! Not shouting. Guess we're in silence. There we go. We know who that is. Or you guys don't know yet, but I do. Hmm. Why would you be? Leave them to us, first sword. No, stop! Hello, kitty cat. Such brittle blades, so easily broken. Perhaps the first sword is made of stronger steel. Leave her, Zana. Our business here is over.
Yep, that sword. What have you done, Leovold? First sword, we must withdraw. The wounded need tending. Let us take them back to the guild. And I made sure to get none of them wounded, only to end up having two wounded units. Poor guys. Alright, uh, back to the guilds. Let's see. First up, duty finder. Sting back, let's get that one. Secondly, let's return. Kind of wonder if we still need DPS for the guild hests. No, this time it's a tank. Though I don't have all the guild has in luck yet at this point. Give him a moment, Vexus. I need to think. I wanted to spare you this, Myla. I begged you not to go. You knew, Aldis, that, that Leovold had... Leovold and I once fought side by side in the Colosseum. The twin swords of Nafal, the they called us. Never lost a match, honored by the bull of El Amigo himself. But that was then, and this is now. When I learned Leovold single-handedly transformed the Alacrim from a gang of common thieves into the most feared criminal organization in Fenland, I knew I had to return. It seems like a lifetime ago that the three of us used to train together in this hall. That Leovold I knew would never stoop so low. He was a good man, strong and true. What would drive him to this? When I find him, I'd be sure to ask. Unfortunately, he seems determined to kill me for my curiosity. Why are... what aren't you telling me all this? I'm not clever enough to keep secrets, my dear. I'm a simple man, only capable of dealing with what is right in front of me. If that's so, I'll find him, Myla. I promise. Bye. <laughs> Just like that, eh? She's gonna let him go. So we get this Mithril, or no, Carnage Sword, and an Iron Lantern Shield. As for my gear, all of this is the same. This is level 20 gear. I'll get the gold. Level 25, I might take the helmet because I'll have to replace my uh, my feathers because they'll only last till 25. Um, let's see. Did we get a new technique? No, we did not. But we did end up with a better gear. So the Carnage Sword and the Iron Lantern. At least this one match matches my uh, armor a little bit. Carnage sword looks pretty good. It's a nice dark purple hue. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's go to Mumidi. Roll wait roll waiting list number two. So there's one tank in front of me. Is that how it is? I guess. They need a tank, so that's why I joined this tank. Let's see what a gift I forgot. And then once we've done that, we can go back to uh, pulling stingers, or whatever it's called. Stinging back, that one. We are now level 23, so in two levels we'll unlock two more. Because this is the last one we can do for now. That's the only thing we have at this point, guild tests and the duty finder. Because we don't have any raids, we don't have any trials, we don't have any dungeons.
Hello, Momidi. Ah, Vexus, it's been too long. Dadanan tells me you've been keeping busy in Horizon. I want you to know I'm grateful for everything you've done for the people of Hulda. Even though you've seen the settler side of our city, you continue to help your fellow men. Believe me, the folk around here love you for it. Hmm, what is it? Look, I got something to say. Yeah, I got this letter to Owen. So that's what this is all about. Fufulupa thinking Owen might have been in league with Baldwin. That's his letter could be proof of something shady. Well, he needn't worry. Owen is as loyal as a soul and sworn as I've ever known. I haven't the foggiest what this says, but... Wait a minute. Wasn't Owen the one who... Oh, hells. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Listen, Vexus. I think I know what this is all about, but I need you to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of this business, I wouldn't hold it against you. But if you're determined to see it through, then to the bitter end, say the word and I'll explain. Alright, let's find out. What is all this all about? Can I count on your discretion, Vexus? If so, then listen closely. Mumidi wishes to enlist the aid of a trusted friend in all that. gonna talk or the outside world believes Ulda has the Sultanate ruled by Sultana Nanamo Ulnamo. Truth is though, it's the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway, the syndicate. Be that it is made, the Sultana still got the support of the people. But she might struggle to keep even that if a certain incident becomes publicly knowledge. It pains me to say it, but her grace crown, the symbol of the royal dynasty had been stolen. And Owen, Owen's the Sultan's sword and was charged with guarding it that night. I bet anything this letter was written by the bastard who made off with the crown. It can't be coincidence that a man who had known to be fraternizing with thieves had let a, let a letter for Owen of all people, of all this time. I couldn't even pronounce that properly. You need to take this to the man himself, Faxus. Tell him Omidi sent you, and that it concerns the lost heirloom. It looks as though you follow needs. if the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of a fair city may depend on it. All right. To the hustling strip. Where do we go here? Alchemist Guild. I'm, the, I'm now the number one roll waiting list, so potentially it should trigger any moment. Let's go to the Alchemist Guild. Bonus XP and kill will be awarded to compensate for discrepancy between characters and duty levels. A fair percentage will then be added based on the character level. The amount of bonus company seals awarded determined by the class and job level. The standard award for this duty related category or all related bonuses are available once per day. Joining this duty as a party meeting minimum size requirements will notify any adventure or need bonus. Only light parties guild tests will be selected when joining this duty as a group of four. There are no role restrictions with a light within a, when in a light party. Roll an item, okay. The heart of the sworn lies beyond. State your business. Pardon? Give me one second, guys. Well, there it goes. Join the queue, obviously.
All right. Um, <clears throat> I guess that was not really worth it. Joining us, the one that was required. The bonus seemed very minimal. But it's gone now. The adventure I need at least. So we'll just join Stinging back. Join. And then we'll join this guy. I heard of the sworn lies beyond. State your business. Pardon? Did I say lost her loom? Uh hmm. Proceed. Here's Alwain. Well met, adventurer. What business brings you here this day? A letter? Very well. Let's see it. Have you read this adventure? Yes. I did. Mobidi told me about it. I didn't read it, I guess. I see. But well, you have some inkling as to its contents, I think. Mistress Momidi has doubtlessly explained to you the significance of the crown and what it lost could mean for the hair grace the Sultana. <sighs> this theft shames the Sultan's sworn, and me most of all. The blame is mine, you see. I grew lax in my duties, and in a moment of carelessness... No, I will not do it good to recount a tale now. Since the hour of the theft, we searched frantically for any signs and whispers as to the whereabouts of this crown. We have found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives seemed fated to remain a mystery until you arrived bearing this ransom note. In that criminal state, the price for the return of her grace crown. And though it pains me to say it, I fear I have no choice but to acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake and to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes her grace birthright and identifies her as the custodian of the old legacy. It must be recovered. I will travel to the unholy air and pay them their ransom. Though I am not foolish enough to meet those men alone as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of comrades left, lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consider to be present for the exchange? Mrs. Momidi has always spoken of you in the most glowing terms, and I have not yet had any reason to question her judgment. On behalf of those still loyal to the Sultana, I beseech you, help us in our hour of need. Very well, we shall do just that. Let's exit. Where do we need to go to the Unholy Air? That's Eastern Fenelon, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, it's Central. Central Fenelon. It's where those f giant totes are, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we go to the gates of Nolt, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alright, um, over here. So, there's an, a thing called mount speed here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, mount speed. So, this and this. This is, I don't know. Two speeds, I guess. But even in this area, you can probably fly later on. I don't know when that is unlocked, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's not unlocked until, uh, like, uh, much later. I don't think it unlocks. I don't think you unlock flying the moment you can just normal mount. That was not the case before, but who knows? Things have changed. Okay, this time, I'm not gonna wait. Withdraw. We'll get that later.
Level sync? 18. Yeah, we're, nine, we're, we're way level. So it could be very well be. Remember that level 25 we saw? When he was going to the dungeon? We might be around that level as well, I suppose. I've come to a... I've come as agreed. Now show me the crown. Aye, you've had your... You'll have your precious crown, once you've been fully dully compensated. Do you think me a fool? What assurance have I that you will not honor your part of that agreement? Now, now, Owain, you're the least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown stolen on your watch, but it also looks to me as if you violated the terms of our exchange. Did we not say you were to come alone? And given that you're not alone, we guarantee... What guarantee do we have that there isn't a company of archers surrounding us even as we speak? Ready to fetter me and my men at the moment the glimpse of the crown. You've made a mock of our trust. The deal's off. Wait, here's your payment as promised. Sniff, sniff. Aye, it's the real thing. <laughs> a thousand fine thanks to you, boy. You succeeded where scores of feasts have failed. And now at long last we have it. Power to create an army of the undying soldiers. Their traitor spurn. No, it can't be. What what have I done? Surely you must have been wondering what it was you were handing over? When it was what it was that seemed so valuable to use as a crown seemed to you? Or did you assume we were feeling charitable? Ah, but you must feel terrible, knowing that you've brought us the doom of silly. Worry not, boy. We'll grant you a quick death and spare you further incogniminy. It's your duty to serve the Sultana, lad, and you'll bring it, doing it for a good while yet. Da -da -da, Papa Sean. Sultan Swarm put these thieves to the sword and secured a crown. Papa Sean was a Sultan Swarm all along. Sultan Swarm? Ha! No matter. Kill them all! You got some archers, you got some pugilists. A bunch of wreck techs is what they are. Me Vexus. All right, let's take care of these guys first. Five against one. Blanga. This guy's hardly worth the effort as well. There we go. Blanga's get. And so is Garibald of Fangor. Duty complete. Master Poppershawn, but why? How? The general saw you sneak into the vaults, Owen. He suspected something was afoot and ordered us to keep an eye on you. 
Flame General, you ordered you to look after me? Master Papershawn, more of them, to the north. After them, Sultan Sworn, they had the crown. The lot sought only to delay us. Let's go. Let us speak again back in the city. Well, I'm going with you. Or not. I don't know. Ah, we got a mage. Hello, Mr. Mage. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not, sir, fell you may not fare so well this day. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send on me to the creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. I forgot what were these guys called. Oh we got this guy. Another gargoyle looking creature. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Let's go then. <clears throat> Defeat the masked mage. Well, I first gotta take care of his uh, overgrown lizard here. Springs his supernatural might. He knows wrong. I mean, he knows what's going on. More so than I do, actually, at this point. You certainly have a knack for getting into trouble. Hey, Fencrit, welcome back. An unwelcome guest. No matter. I shall. F All shall fall before me. There we go. Just to kick the living daylight out of him. No mortal should possess such strength. Keep at it, Vexus. We almost have him. Down he goes. That's why we couldn't chase after the Sultan Sworn, because we were occupied with his masked mage. The wisdom of the peregrine should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons, this is indeed a disturbing revelation. We had long suspected the involvements of the bringers of chaos, Asians, to give them their true name. Take off his mask. We cannot be sure they were responsible for the recent disturbances until now. As if the Sultan had needed more enemies. Hmm. Have we Charlayans crossed path with the Essians before? Well, we certainly... Wait, I don't recall tell you, telling you about my homeland. Oh yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know this marks the third time I've found you in the middle of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a lodestone for it. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. Who knows what a grand conspiracy you'll stumble upon next. I just, I just. Had I truly been watching your every move, I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in your latest alter altercation. But all's well that ends well, eh? Our masked friend is no more, and while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us a little, at least some respite. And on that note, I must away. Until the next time, Vexus. Huh? There's a crystal. Poof. And the crystal's gone. Alright, now that's taken care of. Speak with Papa Sean at the Heart of the Swarm. Um, 
I guess we could try and join the duty finder. I doubt we'll be able to before we go into the next, uh, whatever you call it, instance. Got a nice ring here. Hold on, ring. It's not really good compared to what we have already. I probably should have gone to the Alchemist Guild. Yeah. This guy. Everyone is waiting for your adventure. I thought this was an instance. So I guess it's not. Hello, Papa Shaw. Complete. 5k. Does it surprise you to see me dressed so, Vexus? I once lit. I, I was once a Sultan Sworn, you know. Though it's been 15 years since I put down my sword and took up the role of Station Master. Let me lower that notification sound for a second, guys. I just realized it is quite loud. There we go, that should be better. It is a capacity in which I'm no less proud to serve, lest you doubt. Whenever her grace ventures outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never had I before seen so despondent as what news of the crown theft reached her ears. But thanks to your valiant effort, she has returned to her former vibrant self. You have the gratitude of every sultan sworn vexes. of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Unamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raoban? Your Grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. As you command, Your Grace. If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. And one of my favorite characters in Final Fantasy XIV, Rauban. He's pretty cool. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. He's like the, uh... He's the general of the flames, of the immortal flames, so he's the le he's their leader. <clears throat> um, he also he oversees the, uh, the Sultan Sworn. He is a uh, personal bodyguard of uh, Nanamo Ulnamo here, right beside him. And he used to be a gladiator, rising up to the ranks of a gladiator, and he made his way all the way to general of the uh, immortal flames. This guy's pretty beast. We'll see him a few times in the stories. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. An honor Huzzah! indeed. Come, hero. Until then. 
For the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultan, may you walk in the light of the crystal. So in case you didn't know yet, that is actually the little lady, uh, L L Lily Ra, that we saved at the start of the game. That was the Sultan, Sultan, Sultan? I guess she's still a Sultan, even if a female. How would you call a female Sultan? Sultan, right? I don't know, actually. Oh, we would like you to speak with you regarding the Sult Sultana, maybe. I guess that might be it, Sultana. By the 12 thanks for an adventurer to receive a personal invitation from her grace is unprecedented. Seats at the banquets are offered only to the most distinguished individuals. You will be dining with the, some of the most influential people in all that. There are, of course, certain protocols that must be served, but I have no authority on them. Fear not, however, Mistress Momidi has been long been responsible for familiarizing foreign guests with her customs. Pray return to the quicksand and speak with her. She will tell you all you need to know. And we're still waiting on the duty finder, which is fine because it didn't pop because we were watching the story there. Alright, let's see. Uh... Quick scent. Adventurer's Guild. There we go. Just thinking where to go for a second. Right, let me get my food from the oven, because it's done. And then I'll wait for this queue to pop up quickly. Right, just waiting for the trigger now. Got my food from the fry uh, from the uh, oven. We're past the average waiting time, so I think this should pop up any moment. Welcome back, Fexus, and congratulations. Yo, JP Gaming. So tiny? What is so tiny? How are you doing, buddy? Welcome back, Fexus, and congratulations on your invite to the big soiree. To be honest, I never imagined explaining these procedures to you. Why so tiny? Tiny what? To be honest, I never imagined explaining these procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignities when... who to get to hear my prattle on about royal traditions. And he wrote, I know you're a busy man, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient customs, all guests to this banquet are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings made specially, made sp specially for the convocation. They're meant to symbolize, actually. Forget about that. It's meant to be a short version. Mm -hmm. Being a design of unique to the occasion, the earrings, 
serve as a security measure. The Sultan Sworn won't let you near the hole without them. You should set... You should... Your set should be ready and waiting for you at the Goldsmith's Guild. Mistress Serendipity is expecting you, so you want to head down there now. Once you got them, bring them back to me and we'll continue. How are you doing, JP? Still not sure what you're on about. <laughs> So we're looking at um, collected earrings from Serendipity. Guilds, goldsmith, right? Yeah. I've been awake early this day. If you check how long I've been streaming so far, and then count back at what time it was. Greetings, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I'm here for my earrings. Ah, Vexus, your earrings are right here. I crafted it myself, I have you know. I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mistress Momidi didn't warn you, the box is locked and I'm not permitted to give you the key. It is a final safeguard to see only designated individuals are authorized to distribute the earrings to guests. In this instance, the person in question is no other than Miss Momidi. So you will need to ask her to open the box on your behalf. Part of the inconvenience, but the Sultan Sworn takes her grace's safety very seriously. That's fair. I wonder how they do the earrings for the rest of them, though. Like, all these rich people, they're not gonna go walk back and forth. They probably just have their servants pick it up or something. So, JP Gaming went, said three words, and left again. <laughs> oh, glad you joined, buddy. Picked up all your earrings yet, Vexus? I do. Let me just... Well, now. Looks like the Guildmaster outdid herself with this pair. You best take care of these earrings. If they fell into the wrong hands, God only knows what might happen. Now then, I hope you're s feeling sociable, Vexus. Because you're about to hop up with the old-ass elite. Let me know when you're ready to head down to the banquet. Well, Duty Finder's not doing anything at this point. So we'll just go and see what happens. Well, me, I want you to see off to the banquet. This is it, Vexus. Your big debut in old ass high society. The banquet is being held in the fragrance chamber. Head over to the Royal Promenade, and Barfamella will show you in. Ah, be sure to put on your earrings first, or it'll send you packing. Right, well, I reckon that's everything. Try not to tell that all the pomp and ceremony get to you. Let's just be yourself, and you'll be fine. I wouldn't know about that, to be honest. The Royal Promenade, right? That's what he's that's what she said. this queue, honestly. Because I know we get a massive cutscene here. So, oh well. A banquet hosted by Your Grace the Sultana is due to begin shortly. Attendance is invitation only. Please make your way for arriving guests. We are honored to receive you, my lord. Please proceed in sight. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. to Papa Sean here. 
doesn't have his earrings. All hail the Sultana. Your Grace. Raoban? Ah, uh, that girl. The Royal House of Ul, I, Nanamo, 17th of my line, have summoned you here. She's the uh, ruler of this city. Yeah. So, if I do this, then what? I have to restart this little cutscene, I suppose. That's fine. It only just started, so not too worried. bunch of them together. Yeah, that's the uh, <clears throat> little girl you talked to back on the cutscene. That is the uh, the Sultan, the leader of the city. Nanamo Ulnamo, that's her name. It's kind of nice. She's super small and has a squeaky voice, but then the uh, counterpart of her, Raubon, is like the exact opposite. He's a massive dude with a stern voice. He wrecks everyone. There we go, got two combinations in, I'll take that. We we'll have to restart the cutscene, but that's fine. We only just started, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so this one we can't do that because we need to be level 25, and we're now currently level 24. All right, so let's try that again. of a hero to Uldar, and dear friend to the crown. Honored guests, I give you our champion! And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast. I mean, she's not a child. It's a Lalafell. Lalafells are supposed to be tiny. Even as a Lalafell, I think she might be a child, actually. Not to spoil your appetite, but Ulda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets. Nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the Syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. 
Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Uldar. But there is so much more to do. That light, what is it? So bright, almost like by the Twelve. Tell me true, have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether? Yes, you are like they were. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the Primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Garlean Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three grand companies. And they stood with us at Cartano, that fateful day five years ago. The day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them and of what you might achieve. You must protect that crystal at all costs. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, mother of all, and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position though it costs them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched.
Raging Bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communication. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our late cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions.
How are you feeling, Vexus? I've been asleep for a while, it seems. They said they fainted in the middle of one of General's stories. That you had carried back to the hourglass. I reckon you made quite an impression on your fellow guests. They're probably not the sort you intended. You sure you're getting enough rest, Vexus? The life of an adventurer can be pretty taxing. Any anyway, road, I'm glad to see you're back to normal. No offense, but looking after you was quite getting a bit tiresome. Oh, before I forget, the general left a message for you. Said that when you're feeling up to it, you should come and see him at the Hall of Flames. Probably wants to finish the story he was telling you when you fell asleep. Just took a little nap, it seems. Alright, heavy open door. been waiting for you, Vexus. I trust you are fully recovered? Good, because there's much work to be done. Work that I would have you do. Alright. Lazy as always. Listen well, Vexus. This will take some time to explain. Robon means to entrust you with a task of utmost import. Alright. I repaired these letters for my counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. Five years ago, we looked on powerlessness as our brothers and sisters were taken from Cardano, first by the Garleans and then by the thrice damned primal called forth from their, by their treachery. Not a day goes by that I do not think of my fallen comrades, and of the warriors of light of whom no trace remained. The tragedies of the Calamity are not so easily forgotten, nor should they be. Remembering all we've lost, we're reminded of what we still have. And it seems to mark the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartano with a memorial service honoring the fallen. It is my hope that my counterparts in the Alliance will agree to do the same. And I would have you bear my words to them as my personal envoy. Why you? Because she deep marks you out as the nearest thing I've had to a warrior of light. I can think none of more worthy of that role. The question is, will you accept it? No. 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 I don't want to be your envoy. Then it is agreed. You will journey to Gridania and Limsa Lominsa as my official representative. Now that's a great many... My, well, uh, <clears throat> now that's a great many moms to travel, but I've never... I've neither the time nor the patience to raid around while you do it on foot. I hereby grant you permission to use the airship routes connecting the three city-states. This pass serves as a proof of your privilege. Gone are the days when airship travel was available to all. The ever-present threat to Imperial techs has forced us to impose drastic restrictions out of the concern for public safety. These passes are only granted when circumstances demand it, as is in the case. Though there were others who insisted you be granted one regardless. Aye, Vexus. I'm not alone in seeing it. Your potential is plain. But I have said enough. In the name of the Sultana, I bid you go forth. See for yourself the wonders of the realm of which the warriors of light risk all. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. And should you ever be barred by a man or beast, strike fast and true, for victory belongs to the bold. Now go, Vexus, and heed the crystal's guidance should you ever lose your, lo should you ever lose your way. Alright, quest accepted, thanks. Got more stuff to take care of now. What about this? Oh man, I forgot about those. Ugh. Dance quests. They're back. Back with a vengeance. Lord of Dance. Help me, Lord of the Dance. I 
Hey, Pomomen. When Pomomen approaches, beware, for the impetuous Mikwote always leads to a merry dance. Psst. You there. Yes, darling, you. You say you're the fellow to fellow. The name's Pomomen. I earn my keep as a dancing girl in these markets. Aye, it's a living and a good one. But it's not exactly what I set out to be when I bid farewell to the mudflats. I know, I know. Isn't that the way to tell girls? Still, I should like to be the one. To, I should like to be the one of those dancer Dexter. You know, the sort they engage for grand balls. Hmm. To be a dancer of craft. No more wiles and keep company in high society. Of course, I had to learn proper sort of dancing. Less shimmy, more stately, and that's what you call. That's where you come in, darling. Because I've got a quarry for you to track down. They say a dancing master named Gillianox is in town, and the high-born ladies are all a flutter, wanting to take lessons with him. He's the best, that's the word. This is my chance to be something finer than a mini de minx. Go to the steps of fall and ask around about him, won't you? Well, I guess Ralbon will just have to wait. This is more important, right? Not really, but... <laughs> Too bad for Ralbon. I'd like to complete my side quest the moment I can. Willowy woman. Master Gillanox, oh, he's a lovely what he teaches, but straight as the gate. My good sir, he's very choosy about whom he teaches. You must dance for him and show him some innate quality. Why, he wouldn't even accept Master Gekaruju's diamond crusted crumpet, and she was quite a dancer already. Diamond crusted crumpet? Sosada. Oh, of course you know what Sir Gillianux is. Don't you see the roses on my cheeks and ever so light, slight droop in my supple carriage? I just come from practice. You can stop wondering what the bell of the ball is next to the moon. With what Master Gillianux taught me, I've no doubt that I'll dazzle the masses. What can you find him? I ought not say, but oh, why not? You should find him in the hustling strip. He said he was headed to the airship landing. That's where I just came from. Chamber of Rule. Luscious lady. Ah, yeah, another one of Master Gillenuk's camp followers. So cute. You know him from Kawerfus, don't you? Travel the world teaching the art of the dance? They say he was the youngest dancing master ever to leap the lace, the lance. That he had large estate, a fine stable, and a coat of crown stable. Sable. Why anyone would leave all of that is beyond me. When I think about it, it gives me shivers, you know. Why, if he weren't leaving all that today, I'd consider permitting him to pleasure of my person. So don't look so shocked. May I when he returns. Alright, so where is he? There. There he is. Gilly on Ox. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try. Gilly. Yo, Gilly, what's up? Master Gilly? I am he. You are an adventurer as a parent, but what business brings an adventurer to a dancing master, I wonder? What's up? You will not answer what the question has been asked. It's like the feet that must persuade, not the tongue. Now dance for me. Right, let's do this awkward dance. Here you go. Have an awkward dance. <laughs> the vessel is rude, but the wine within may be yet fine. Unfortunately, there's so much coal in my time, and I'm bound by for another land. I'll make a denture of you when I next return to the sea. There you are. Heard anything good? Hope you're not wasting time with that looker here. That's Master Gilly. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, oh, Master Gilly. I am Pamolmin, the Dan, Dan Sos, and I would speak with you. It's my greatest desire to become a dancer Dexter and perform at a grand ball. Please, my lord, won't you teach me? So it's not an adventurer who wishes to reap the parquet, but this stammering maiden. Child, I sift people to find dancers, don't you understand? Then let us see what you can master these steps. Ballroom etiquette.
Gotta wonder who makes these dents in these games. Go. Oh, that's how they do in high society, huh? I can be the last with a class. Just watch. Maybe change your outfit first. Hideous, grotesque, your dancing stands alongside the calamities in its horror. Well, well those words might call your highborn ladies, Master Gillinux, but where I come from, we take our lumps and keep on our twirling. Now, what exactly didn't you like? <laughs> Child, you're a light overly march on appearance. You go from post to post, pleasing to pleasing. That is not a dance, but crude fascination. Adventurer, look sharp and take your turn over on the floor. Wait, what? Me? I don't want to do that silly dance. Yes, you. Okay. I can't take my eyes off you. I mean, you're not exactly good. You'd be picking rotten oranges piffs out of your eyebrows if you did that at the market, but... it It's a story, isn't it? A dance is a story, and I have nothing to say. Because I haven't lived, just made a living. Yeah. <laughs> These dances. Hi, child. All glazed eyes are easy to please, and you have squandered these years striking your poses when you could have learned a craft. Still, you have courage. I warrant that. I'm rarely teaching so many who may have lived, but in a way too alike. I wonder if you have the courage enough. Do you dare start anew to be a dancing girl no longer to learn a true craft? I, I, I dare. I will learn the craft of adventuring. Do as you adventure for fun or gain? Do you have to be very good with weapons? These moves you make with your arms, is that some sort of fighting thingy? I want what you got, darling. The way to grant balls through guests and dungeons? I'll learn to slug. I'll learn to slug and learn to dance. He's just being ignored. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. I'm off to an adventurous guild. You taught me so much and I'll never forget the dance you showed me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did she choose a mere adventurer over me? Master among masters? You betcha. My airship departs this strange city soon. Dance your root yet pleasant dance, adventurer. Mayhap you will affect more aspirants as she did Pramolin. Ha, huh. and mayhaps I shall hang up my dancing shoes and start anew. Complete. Now we can do this not so cool dance. You've learned the ball dance. Alright, off to Mamidi. Ah, back from your meeting with Raubon, are you? What did the big man have to say? Told me to be an envoy. Is that a fact? Why are you clapping? I don't want to be an envoy. I want to be a warrior of light. Personal envy of the Flame General himself? So you've been bearing great man's word to the leaders of the Alliance, will you? And an airship. Bugger me, that's an honor and a half, that is. But I can't think of anyone more deserving. I'm proud of you, Vexus. I truly am. Now... Dare say, Robin told you this, but not many people get to go on an airship these days. In fact, most folks go to their graves, having never seen a Yorzian from above. Poor buggers shuffle off to meet fall, never knowing the blues of Limsa Lominsa's shimmering seas, or the merit greens of the Livy Gridania. But not you, Vexus. You see the sights and more. And everywhere you go, you'll find fascinating folk with fascinating tales to tell. The people you meet, the places you go, savor these experiences. For they are priceless. All. Saying that, it'd be a remiss if it didn't remind you to be careful out there. Hold well, on, ain't the only place beset by troubles, and you'll discover when you visit Limsa and Gravedania. Truth be told, they might be well expecting what the General wants you to do, realize. I think he knows what kind of man you are, Vexus. 
And what kind is that, you ask? Why the kind that can't resist sticking his nose in other people's business, of course. And don't you ever go changing. Safe travels, Vexus. I'll see that when you get back. Speak with Eleonora and the airship landing. That's right here, I believe. Well, we're mi finally moving out of Gridania, or uh, Ulda. Greetings, sir. This is a reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsalo Minsa. If I'm not mistaken, you're a Flame General's envoy. Vexus, Jaeger, yes? The uh, Highwind Skyways is at your service. Will you be flying with us today? Yes, I will. That's the idea. So these people are 48, 48. 44. Okay, they're busy with a different quest, it seems. To the gangplank. Port the airship? Yes. Alright, be right back. This is a little cutscene anyway. Or not yet. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Limsala Minsa is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. <laughs> Big smile. I think we, we will be good now. I guess they had more to say. When we first met beneath the Silton tree, I sensed there was something unusual about him. Wonder if they'll feel the same. Godspeed, Vextus. Godspeed. If I'm right, they'll be singing your praise from here to the Farage before long. May you always walk in the light of the crystal. I like that saying.
taste of defeat lingers still. Fifteen years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till it lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the dread serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, What hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western Lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek.
So we just got our first glimpse at the Garlean Empire. And some of the high uh, hot shots there. We have finally arrived at... Limsa? Or is it Gridania? I would say Limsa, yeah, judging from the music. Well, I'd like to get out of here. Ah, you must be the envoy of Ula. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa, sir. Admiral Bluffswin awaits your arrival. Well, it's a new city, so there's a few more guilds that we can now uh, join. You're an old envoy. Welcome to Limsa La Minsa. The Admiral's been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. I will take you to the Borwalk Hall. Once there, pray speak with Zenville. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Since we're here, let's get all the quests that we can find here, and there are a few. Let's get them out of the way. We also need to get all the crystals. There's a lot of work every time we visit a new city. We already did Ulda, but now we need to loot Limsa. Generate seeks help with growing problem in Linsa Lominsa. An alarming number of citizens have gone missing of late, though I suspect you've already heard rumors. It's essential that we search on their safety. To this end, I've prepared a list based on the reports to our citizens. Would you be so kind as to deliver to my colleague in the Bulwark Hall? Nadilica is her name. My thanks in advance, friend. Ho there, adventurer. Curious about the Marauder's Guild, aren't you? An axe, wor an axe worth wielding needs two hands. On the haft? Wait. One on the haft has a blade that can chop clean through a galley's mast. That's kind of weapon our members train to use with deceptive swiftness as a brutal force. If you're a mind to make a marauder's art life's work, then our guild welcomes you with open arms. What do you say, lad? Keen to join the ranks? Sure. Well then, there's a bit of guild history so you know what you're getting into. It all starts with a ship, you see. What ships got to do with axes, you ask? Well, building them would be pretty bloody difficult without a sturdy tool to lop down the trees for timber. And since only the navigator herself knows when the ships run afoul of a storm or worse, it makes sense that a crew's carpenter to carry an axe on board. But any tool on the ship can become a weapon. An axe is a perfect hooking. It's perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, letting loose into a whirl of steel, generally laying waste to all about you. As more seafarers took up the axe as their weapon of choice, so did the bloody art of a marauder beginning to take shape, specifically among pirates or strength and skill decided to your place in the world. With an eye to assembling crews of battle-ready raiders, the pirates uh, started teaching the proper way to wield a chopping blade to cut their new recruits. And that's how the Marauder's Guild first came to be. After the Galadian Accord was signed, though, Marauder's Guild was never the same. It was taken over, restructured and purged of its pirate elements. It had been reborn into an institution dedicated to not but the teaching of axe fighting. The members of this new marauder guild were no greed driven cutthroats neither. They were warriors who sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. Skill keen are you? Think it over then let me know if you decide to join our ranks. Lafay I wish you to reaffirm your desire to join the marauders guild. You decided then? You ready to join the marauders guild? Alright then, all you need to do is now speak to the axe master himself. Sound simple? I've seen folks sink into the sink out of the door rather than put themselves in the path of the unnerving glare. That's the bloke right there in the middle of the room. Wernzen's his name. Put his steel in your spine and take him straight in the eye when you talk to him, lad. Good fortune to you. <clears throat> He's pretty big, that's what he is. He 
Yes, I'm Wernzen. Axe Master, they call me. Not the most imaginative of titles, I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome you to your interest in your guild. The art of the Marauders used to rend, to cleave, and to destroy. It is not our way to simply outfight our adversaries. We seek to overwhelm them. Marauder must be most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield. We must account for the enemies. For most enemies defeated, our role in combat is that of steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blythia, but once more I shall challenge you to commitment. Are you prepared for this bloody carnage that awaits in the initiate of the Marauder's Guild? Sure. Very well. Your name? Tempt me well then, Vexus. Hold fast to the moments of dedication. The path of the Marauder is jacked and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oftentimes be your own. I present to you this X as a symbol of your commitment. Your first legend shall now be to hold it. Now grab the haft with both hands and set yourself on a solid stance. There we go. And that's another uh, class unlocked, the Marauder. Again, that's all we'll do for now. That's this one. Next up, Morden. Morden would like you to make a complete legal proposition. You want for, you want for coin venture, or did you fancy your work? Working for the Kraken's Arm, one of the greatest pirate and crew in Limsa. If you're interested, take yourself up their steps on the balcony above and talk to Carvalain, our captain. Do right by him, and I'll do right by you. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a purple dude. There we go. Carvalain. Greetings, friend, and welcome to the Seventh Sage, purveyors of the finest spices from East. All of our products are guaranteed obtained through completely legal means. Ah, do you need to spices with employment? Well then, let us speak of how you might be of servants to our organization. Our mystery returned from our latest voyage bearing exotic spices never be seen before and seen in Eorzea. I prepared two samples, each of which I would have you deliver to certain individuals. The first is Janaid, whom you will find in the Coral Tower. The second is Master Lynx, Lynxef, the head chef of Bismarck. And do make your certain right person get the right set. Go now and return here once you have accomplished the task. Aid. Welcome to the headquarters of the Yellow Jackets, the Keeper of the Peace in Limslow Minsa. Is there all I can assist you with? Yes, Seventh Sage supplier. A sample of spice courtesy of the Seventh Sage, you say? Hmm, there's no mistake. This is fire sand, and the kind used to be Garleans besides. Quite intriguing. Very well, will you consider placing an order? Ah, you thought yeah, you brought me spices. I see you're not familiar with Cavillians. For the sake of convenience, he used the word spice to refer to literal anything that he has procured on the high seas. Let's you worry, the man isn't engaged in any activity considered piracy. Far from it. Think of him as a traitor, a heavily armed one, whom represents Lominson's interest in the eastern lands. So I really thought I was trading spices there for a second, but... door doesn't open, does it? No. We got this uh, Ethernet shard here. <clears throat> there we go. We got Lingseth, Guildmaster. A new sample from the seventh stage? Alright, let's have a whiff of it then. Hmm. Ain't smelled loving like before. The note as came when it says is root but grows unauthored. Last I heard, offered was under imperial rule. How does someone else like a valley and manage to get all of this? And he wrote, I reckon I could cook up something fresh and new with it. Thanks for your delivery, friend. Got another quest over here. Hloha I can't even pronounce that. Holano. Holano? Lahano. Holano needs a replenishing the Bismarck's slaughters. Beg your pardon, good sir, but you're an adventurer, are you not? I realize this is sudden, but we urgently need help restocking our larders. We're in the midst of preparing a full course meal for soon arriving guests. 
but I fear we are short on fresh lamb for the main course. We would be grateful if you could procure four slices for us. I dare say it would be quickest to obtain these directly from the source. Mild lamps. In case you're unfamiliar with the creatures, I suspect, I suspect you speak with Elbelfair, a sentry stationed at Bulwark Hall, just below the Drowning Ranch. We got uh, the guild receptionist for cooking, I guess. I beg your pardon, good sir, but this is a culinarian's guild. If you're here to dine at the Bismarck, one of our waiters will be long short to show you to your... Ah, you're not a patron, might I assume then that you wish to become a culinarian? If so, I wholeheartedly recommend to join the Culinarian's Guild, where one might learn the culinary arts and the finest chefs in all the realm. What say you? Yes. Wonderful. Then without further ado, I shall acquaint you with the history of our guild. As you are doubtless aware, Limsala Minsa has been long seen the gastronomic capital of Eorzea. The city's rich culture traditions is the product of unique combinations of factors. The first is our proximity to fertile lands and plentiful seas of Vilbrand which have ever yielded bounteous produce. The second is our standing in the realm's foremost training port, which grants us access not only to exotic ingredients brought from whatever shores, but also to foreign merchants vest versed in their use. We are, in short, the beneficiaries of culinary knowledge from every corner of the world. So recently, knowledge of this kind was passed on solely through word of mouth. There was uh, therefore susceptible to corruption and loss. But that all changed but one man made us his mission to catalog every recipe of note. His name was Admiral Goldskill Bellswenson. I can't even pronounce that, come on, what kind of name is that? Also known as the Mast Cleaver. The man love of his cuisine was such that at sea he would regularly spend as much time preparing meals in the galley as giving commands of the bridge. It was none other than he who founded the Culinarian's Guild and Cadoffled Cooking Methodology. Today, the guild carries on Baldwin's I'm just gonna call him Baldwin legacy though the scope of her endeavors have expanded significantly not content with the simple preserving existing recipes we labor tirelessly to diverse whole new culinary creations which more than delight to the senses to this end our doors are open to the folk from all walks of life including adventures such as your good self one may liken our guild to a great port of stew and each member to an ingredient in Parting a unique flavor. As with every dish, however, adding ingredients willy-nilly is certain to spoil the taste. Before you might take your place in the pot, you must first be deemed a worthwhile addition to the guildmaster's Langsif, a man whose passion cookery burns hotter than any oven. Before you're troubling him, I must warn you that ours is truly a sweltering kitchen as such. You would be well advised to ask your advice. Can I stand the heat? If you certainly believe you can, speak to me once more and I shall be glad to guide you through the enrollment process. That's a lot of text. A whole lot of text. So have you resolved to walk the path of the culinarian? Uh, sure. Wonderful. Then you must speak with the guildmaster Linksif at once. This will come as no surprise, but he is the finest chef in Limsa Lominsa. His skills are dedicated and second to none. You will find the guildmaster up the stairs yonder. Keep a watchful eye on his changes. Impress upon your desire to learn, and he will surely find a place for you in his stew, by which I mean the guild. Afisa needs someone to report a bickering patron. We spare no effort to ensure that all our patrons enjoy the finest food and hospitality. It's so doubtfully heartful when someone decides to leave without setting the bill. Nearly a bear ago, a first patron did just that. Rishumo is one of the is the one who lovingly prepared the man's meal. She is quite upset by the whole affair, and has taken it upon herself to draw the illustrious of the defender. Might I try you deliver it to the Yellow Jackets on our behalf? Rishuma should be down adding the finishing touches by now. Well met, Fenster. I take you out to join our guild. Let's have a good look at you then. Bah, what an unfurled whelp like you know about cooking. Judging by them scrawny arms of yours, you'd struggle to lift a spoon. Never mind a skillet. <laughs> I jest, I jest. <sighs> I don't take too much muscle to be a culinarian. I also don't even take talent. Feast not on his own. No, son, more than anything else, becoming a good cook, becoming a good cook boils down to passion. If you got that, there ain't nothing you can achieve. So tell me, have you got it? Yes. That's the spirit. Aye, your passion for the culinarian arts is plain as sea. And you'll be needing every bit of it if you want to become a master culinarian. Why? If mastery was 12 course dinner, I'd hardly have finished the soup. Make no mistake, our trade is as tough as an old mutton. 
and passion the only thing we want us to throw these gritly Brits. But enough talk. What do you call yourself? Well done, Vexus. Welcome to your guild. To mark the occasion... To mark the occasion and present your very own skillet. Ain't much to look at, but it will be more to serve a novice like yourself. Now then, let's see what you can tell us then, Switch. Aye, aye. I know it's you struggle to lift a spoon, but you never won me over. Now show me you can call it... Can? Old a skillet, if you can get your started on your first task. It's culinary and unlocked. There we go. That's another one. That's this one. Hello, Rashomo. I poured my heart and soul into the grilled dodo. If I ever get my hands on that scone roll, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Here it is, my rendition of the criminal. Please deliver it to Godabert at the Coral Tower. You will know what to do with it. Welcome back. It would seem both samples were rather well received. There's no small part due to the aff affable courier. This unfortunate but notoriously accumulated over the course of the years does not fade overnight. There are many still who have hesitated to do business with savage pirates. Yet the old days of piracy have passed. Given the way to new wave of opportunity, my crew and I have decided to embrace this wave. With Admiral's blessing, we are engaged in form of trade from the Garlean ships. In a form of trade with Garlean ships, for everything we do, you may have rest assured is within the law. So they're raiding, they're raiding, uh, Berlin ships, is that it? Did I get the Culinarian's Guild? I did. A biker at the Bismarck. I have an artist rendition of the man. And what in the seven hells is supposed to be this? It looks more like a prow of a ship than a man's face. Look, we would like nothing more than to bring the offenders to justice. It's our duty after all. However, we need a little bit more to go on this than a piece of art. It would be easiest for all involved if Rashuma were to come here and answer some questions. Please relay her as much. Shumo? Ah, so you've spoken with Goldabert. <laughs> Within the bell, the yellow jacks will stay of swindled scoundrel locked in the dungeon cell, and it'll take me fillet in knife and... Huh? Goldabert wants me to go to the Coral Tower for questioning. But what if the information does he want when the drawing doesn't already provide? Isn't the picture supposed to be paint of a thousand words? Well, if your skills didn't suck with drawing, probably would have. I think they're all down. Well, let's continue. A soothing, a soothing the savage siren. That's a culinarian's guild. Okay, let's get the crystal as well. There we go. Kokaya. Well, Kokaya has advice for adventurers headed to the missing member. If you're looking for a place to wet your whistles, crack, I'd advise you to turn tail and run. 
Captain Rashawan is no mood for entertaining customers in his eve. And even when she is, she isn't particularly good at it. Though maybe dealing with customers, the sort of shite who might shake him for doldrums. Wait, what? But if you mean to venture inside the missing member, you must remember to pay your proper respects to the captain. Lest you ain't, of, lest you ain't afraid of going missing, kneeling a form um, would be a good start. Oh, so he knows the place is good. Good. If only the Kraken sends some sense of prosperity bastard keeps seizing every Garlean ship before we can take a crack at him. A sorry state of affairs with your crews reduced to preying on the leavings of the mangy bunch of man boys. My younger self would be right disappointed to see how we're fallen. Typo again, crap. There we go. I typed that wrong four times, imagine that. I literally had to type it as it is here, disappointed. Hmm, so you do know something about my pain, but your sympathy ain't worth more a pint of piss. It's well good the Admiral's permission to capture Guardian ships, but what use if you keep getting on beating onto your prey? We build a reputation reefing right off the coast of Vilbrand, not sailing a dozen marms into a bleeding sea. A few imperial dogs found in Lominsen territory get snatched by krakens. Hunting in open water. Rallied me crew's spirits when I said they were reviving the old ways, but after our struggle they seem letter they seem resigned to letting those bastards have all the fun. What do we do? Rally? Huh? Trying to make light of my dilemma. Don't push your luck, Scrag, or I'll give you a hook. Like a regular pirate. Wait, that's it. We're pirates, goddammit. So we're to shingling. We're, so we should think like pirates. Bugger keeping all the mints on water safe. Or raid our ship supplies to the Guardian outpost along the coast of Aldenard. Haha, <laughs> it's bleeding simple. Don't know why I didn't think of this before. Thank you for uniting inspiration, Scrag. Thanks. To think I almost I had you fat to the sharks. Well, isn't that nice? I gather you meet him with a captain that went well. I could have heard crackling all the way out here. Well, whatever you did, thank you for doing it. The last thing we needed was going on on another rampage, ruining deck swaps and leaving us all with the last mate. It ain't pl easy pleasing, but the Admiral's rules... No, it ain't easy playing by the Admiral's rules, but if anyone can find a way, Captain Rosman can. Okay, so did we get the crystal? I don't know actually at this point. Let's double check. I did, all right. Let's go here. Want to be a blacksmith? There's two of them, armorer and blacksmith. All right, so right next to each other. We got another quest. Rats in the Wharf. <clears throat> right, let's talk to the guilt receptionist. Sound of the hammering bringing you in the street. Did it, lad. It's well that you could find Din invitation for the Armorous Guild is not a place for a quiet reverie. If the clangor of metals Striking metal as music to your ears, maybe that you have the spirit of a shipwright. If you don't mind to join our guild, take it from me, lad. There's no greater joy than working a shapeless lump of iron into shining breastplate with your own hands. What do you say then? Armor's guild, sure. Well said, that. Well said, lad. Now we should cover a bit of guild history before forging with our formalities. 
Armor's craft is an offshoot of blacksmithing. It was when my armors and smithies were one and the same. But as the years trickled by the technique for working sheet metal into armor, plates became a specialized trade. And the smithies who showed uncommon skill of passion for this trade earned themselves the title of armorer. Now, as you can probably imagine, the skill necessary for making armor are also necessary for shipbuilding. But building ships is a bit harder than knocking out simple helms which led those armorers who were good enough to work on boats to claim the title of shipwright. Of course, it was one thing calling armorers blacksmiths and shipwrights armorers, but it was quite another calling shipwrights blacksmiths, because building a ship and making a hatchet couldn't be more different. It seemed as though a line, though a line needed drawing as soon as how Limsa Lominsa was built on the strength of her navy. You can imagine what the armorers choose to cut the ties with the smithies and establish a guild on their own. As for the smithies, well, the whole nation of indulgent armor guilds never did well with them, and there's been a fair old rivalry between our factions ever since, always trying to outdo each other we are, which is why we ever look, which is why we ever on the lookout for new talents to help us keep smithy bastards in their place. All you need to do is impress the forge master and we can start you on your own training. Be warned, forge master Hansa Tong could strip the skills of a fish back as 40 paces. Saying that, you won't ever find a fairer mistress to this side of the sea of Marathor. Let me know when you've mustered the courage to speak with her, and we'll still see to the rest. Your mind is made up? Yet You're ready to throw in your lot with the armorers? Sure. Then it's time you made known the forge master. There's no empty title, by the way. Hanansa is renowned shipwright. One of the finest crofters in Limsa Lominsa. Head outside and you'll find her blistening to the skins of her newest initiates. Another aspiring armorer, are you? Welcome. I'm Anansa, forge master of this guild. I take it Guanaco has explained to you the history of her nature of her craft? Good. I have little to add in front of that. Save this, the life of an armorer is not an easy one. Day after day you will pit flesh and blood against iron and flame. Without a passion by the forge you will fail. But passion alone will not make an armorer of you. To truly master the craft you must be possessed of a will of unyielding as metals you work. Knowing what lies beyond you, have you the fortitude to preserve? Yes, I think I do. Ha, huh, I see you have no fear of hard work. This is well. Consider your request to join the guild approved. But if you ever give me aught less than your best, you will be out the door before you realize my boot has connected with your backside. Are we clear on that? Good. Now that we understand each other, let us begin with the basics. What is your name? Vexus? Very well, Vexus. This tool is called a doming hammer. Here, grip it firmly. Note its weight? Let me know when you feel comfortable with it in your hand. I'll tell you if you're holding it properly. Armor art unlocked. There we go. She's the one who had the quest. Nanza has a simple yet profitable task for an interested adventurer. Hmm, are you in need of some trilling? Trifling task to pass the time? Then I have a job for you. Bardaron is offering a reward to any adventurer who slays at least five wharf rats. There's no shortage of pests lurking around outside the Tempest Gate, so you should hurry and take advantage of this opportunity. Thank you very much. And then we have this one, the blacksmith, I guess. Unless you're blind and deaf, I presume you're wandering into our forge of your own accord, drawn by the siren song of the smithy's hammers, no doubt. In these hallowed halls, Limsa's finest pound metal into all manner of tools and weapons. What can I say? Limsa's? I mean the whole bloody realm, make no mistake, yeah. You need more than a big arm to join our ranks. But you've got iron in your veins and the builder's blessing, speak up. Yes, we do. Ha, huh. well, you're not short on confidence. But do you truly know what you're getting yourself into here, lad? Ours is a trade born of blood and brine. For as long as pirates have sealed Rotano, smithies have forged their weapons and fitted their ships from keel to cannon. Of course, still sea swallows all, ain't just the title. Ain't just idle saying. Brine will eat through every, even the tough, stroudest of iron given time, and their forebears long struggled to forge most rust-resistant alloys. Lucky for us, the smithies of old were determined to bunch. Clever too, 
So when they learned that Cobalt's new summing of advanced metallurgy, metal, metal, metallurgy, I can't even pronounce that, metallurgy, 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 metal, how do you pronounce that? Meta, metal, I can't. <laughs> Here's where my English starts to wonder. Metallur metal, metallurgy, metallurgy, metallurgy. Metallurgy? Is that it? Metallurgy? The Smitty set out to make it our own. Thanks to the Cobalt's wisdom, Winter generously gifted us with only the merest hint of parrotly prompting, though Minsa's smitting came on leaps and bounds. It was long before the Gridanians and Ulan started eyeing our knowledge like we did the Cobalt's, though, and so so some hundred and fifty odd years ago, two particularly forward thinking men named Fair Naldic and Bryce Vimely had the bright idea of establishing a respectable business. Being fair-minded fellows, they sell their wares to everyone who had the coin, pirates and foreigners included, and when the folks weren't inclined to pay them more, they made sure to remind them what they had completely forsaken our pirate ways. Times have, times have changed, and we're a wee bit more willing to share our wisdom these days. The company's been running the blacksmiths and armorers guild for years now, welcoming any souls and necessarily talent and we will work. And so whether you got enough of either, well, that's for the Forge Master to decide. Speak to me when you're ready to present yourself to him. Me metal, me met metallurgy, metallurgy. I don't know how to pronounce it, I still don't. So what it'll be? Reckon you've got what it takes to train with the best goddamn blacksmith in the realm? Sure. Ha, that's the spirit. If you're taking any longer to decide, I told you to bugger off with no, no matter what you said. Can't have an half assed half arsed adventurer wasting Fort Master's Brefail's precious time. See, he's got a lot of irons in the fire. That's why me and the other lads make a point of keeping idlers, imbeciles, and other unqualified from getting in his way. Hey Road, it's time you went to pay your respect to the man. He's the one over yonder making a face like he's carrying the weight of the roll on his shoulders. He's not doing anything though, he's just standing there, is he? Yeah. Raphael. Pout out, Randall sent a new recruit. Ah, it's been too long. Hmm. I'm Raphael, Forge Master of the Blacksmith's Guild. If you're aiming to become a smithy worthy of the name, it would be a great pleasure to educate you in your finer points of craft. And the rest of their sour-faced bastards will tell you hard, grueling work, fit only for the best and brightest. But I say put a hammer in the hand of a willing one and see what happens. What do you say then, lad? We swing the hammer for old Brithel. Raphael, sure. Ha, I knew it. I knew you'd like the moment I set eyes on your... Uh, what did you say your name was again? Vexus Jaeger. A name I fit... A name fit for a hero if I heard one. In fact, I reckon I did. Heard in a bird's... In a bard's song once. Or was that a poor sot cursing in his cup at the wench? Bah, no matter if it was saying... Saving the world or... Bending some mother's tis. Time to forge yourself a new reputation. Found out a new legend and you can trust old Brithel to help you do it. But there we go, putting the cart before the chocobo. Here let, take the cross pain hammer and smithy without a hammer is like me without a drink. Bloody useless. Well don't just stand there gulping. Take her in your hand, have a few practice swings whenever you fancy she all yours now. Ah, but I wouldn't give to be rude right now. Smithy never forgets his first hammer. <laughs> Man, these these guilds are a lot of text, a lot of text. Like Smith and Lars. Okay, so that's another one down. The the disciples of the um, disciples of the hand are coming along nicely. There's four left. I know the fishing guild is still here. What else is here? The rogue is here. 
No, Rogue is not here. Yeah, it is, but we can't do that one yet, I think. Right, where are we? This place is a mess. Let's see. Let's go south first. So we got Fisherman back in the water. So the Rogue is here, and it's already available. Arcanus? So there's three more, at least. Like I said, there's always a lot of stuff to do in this, in these uh, cities. There's not behind these covered doors for a worldly type like you, Gov. We're the distful sisters of the Idlewise, all pure and saintly like now. Bugger off. Hang about, ain't you the cove? Ain't you that cove, as goes by the name of Vexus? I knew it. You're all like a snitch, old Horizon Talent. From what I hear, your head and shoulders are above the rest. If you can handle yourself half as well as you say, you might as well be useful of us. Ah, forget all the sisters of Edelweiss bollocks. That's just a bit of fun to fob off curious calls. We're guild rogues, mate, and it's mainly our marks as to do this. It's just a praying. Me and my work in the shadows of Limsa, taking a keen edge to the rooks and... Cacklers would have earned themselves a millen. Why don't tout for members, but every now and again we might offer a promising young cove a place in the ranks. Wow, that, that's so hard to read. If you're interested in joining up, tip us your daddles and we'll put them hilt on each one. Just like the gods intended. So what does you say? Fancy learning a new trade? Sure. Good to see you're keen, but I should probably warn you a few points above before you dive in. Where most gates take pride in turning their members into the best bloodest candlesticks maker they can be, we only care about getting the job done. And the job ain't pretty. You become one of us and you'll soon be neck deep in scum and knife fights. So if you're looking to scamper across rooftops and a blink dandelions on their blur, yet best take with a different crew. Think of that, come back if you're still keen. Can you talk normal English so I can read it more properly? And then scary off then. Ben, that you told me you must you're the most meddlesome cough, so it's proved. You need to every ounce the metal soon enough. Now step inside and have a prattle with Jack. He's our upright man, the master of the guild. Uh, okay. You're looking to head inside? Yeah. Here's Jack. I am the only one I call Jack, though I'm surprised you've heard of me. Perhaps you'd be good enough to tell me your name, along with that oh kindly cough has told you mine. Ah, the famous Vexus. Oh. Old lonely left patchlet, Ian, did he? Hmm. You can throw a blade for shite, but that one I don't miss not. When it comes to sizing up a dimber colt for the Stalin. Just one thing, you ain't a pirate, are you? Nope. Not that I know of. Well then, it's time we stop to the rogue, pull on your beater cases, and I swear you myself when you're ready. Now I could fill your waddles with the stored, storied history of her guild, but that's just whining and whined. The most important thing, the only thing we care about, is getting the job done. Now, most folk, and I am assuming you're among them, know that no longer after Limsa found in, the city was overrun by a motley collection of pirates and thieves. But as a wild as that lot were, it soon became clear that they and clear that they'd all end up killing each other if they didn't lay down few rules. An unspoken code of conduct, as it were. One, you don't bite the purses of the fellow Lominsons. Two, you don't rook a crew out of their spoil, and three, you don't trade calls calls like they were a chattel. I'll admit the finer points of the code are a mini murky, but most agree on those three at least. Now you might be thinking none of the amounts of to a stack of Dilberries. Now the Admirals outlaw piracy, but in the back alleys and black markets where Merwebs grip ain't so tight, the code's still alive and well. And just for the law is enforced by the yellow decades, the code is regulated by us rogues. You go where the shadows are darkest, 
Hand out our justice to them as we break the code. Some rum-soaked cove steals goods from the wrong call and we steal them back. That's the job, my Nelly lad. Of course, if we don't hope to twig, the blade works called for neither. You'll see there's more of a dagger play than just sticking calls with the pointy end. We'll weaken our mark with our potion, fade away and strike in a dark man's. Whatever it takes to get the work done. Well, Vexus, what do you say? Got the guts to do a rogue's job. Sure. Alright, first off, we'll have to get your kit sorted out. Rogue needs to be light on his deal beaters and stay in the market's trail. The job might have you fighting across a deck or weaving through a mob, and the last thing you want is a bloody great battle axe with hooks itself on every rope and post. That's why we stick to daggers. They let you slip through the streets just as easily and as they slip through the rook's ribs. Here, take these stabbers and let's see how you look on you. Just don't get so excited with your new toys that you forget to dress for the roll. You'd be surprised how many colts come back in bloody small cloths. Yeah, I imagine. That's what happens when you equip a new weapon. If your current class doesn't allow you to equip those armors you're currently wearing, then they'll be removed. Rogue unlocked. Okay, I won't be going here anytime soon. So that's another one done. That's the rogue here. These are DLC, these two. These two are DLC. Uh, so we have a lancer left. We got archer. These two are DLC. I believe red mage and blue mage are DLC. Arcanus is in here. Sage and astrologian is and scholar is DLC. I believe so. Conjurer, lancer, archer, arcanist. Carpenter, leather worker, botanist, and fisher. So we got Fisher here and Arcanist, and the rest is over at the last city. Yo, Sissy Poo. Sissy Poo of the Fisherman's Guild wants to order a new fishing boat. Glamdy really knocked the wind out of my fishing industry. But Fisher folk are starting to return to the seas once more. It's best time I did the same. Before I can pull out to the sea again, I need to have a new boat built. Our guilds always commissioned Nordic and Vermelis for its craft, but they are busy bear these days. If you want to do something, mayhaps you can run over to the Armor's Guild and consult with Forgemaster Hansa in my stead? I would know how long we might expect to have to wait. Well, well. A wishing welcome to you, adventurer friend. You worked your way to the fisherman's bottom. When you fish for your first day, you'll call a culinarian, but we fishermen feast for life. I've set the bait. Think you're ready to bite? Sure. Hooray, hooray. Looks like we got a live one. Let me walk you through the life of a fisherman in Linsalo Minsa. Since we're surrounded by the seas, the fishing sites and the fisherman's delight. And you can't fish it here, you can't fish it anywhere. While some of us rope our fish in with rods and reels, others skim the seabed with their nets for creepy crawling critters. You might say we cast a white net. People prattle about our pullers just about everywhere in Limsa. There's so much I haven't mentioned yet. We're shepherds of the ships, presides even of the... Wait, what? We shepherds the ships, preside over the ports, manage the mongers, all while making sure not to leave any adventurers out to sea. I wager you prefer to work alone, so we'll start off with the rod and reel. Now, you may not necessarily net the numbers net fishing yields, but pole fishing positively pulls prettier prizes. And that's, long short, and that's the long and short of it. When you're ready for another bite of bait, I'll reel you in before the guildmaster. Date here, the change of hearts. You haven't, have you? Nope, we're still good. Spoke a truly like a true bespoke fisherman. Well then, it's time you met the guildmaster. But unfortunately, 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 and somewhat ironically, our nefarious netmaster is out fishing at the moment. This moment, and every moment that is. So Sisipu tends the task that require tending to. Such as deciding whether you'll sink or swim with it in our guild. Sisipu's residing over those pools. Whenever you decidedly decide to say hello, she might seem somewhat standoffish, but she's only keeping an eye out for sharks. Be yourself when you have nothing to worry about. I thought she was the guild master, but she's not, apparently. What does this do? What is this contraption? Yep, 
Yes, yes, save your breath. I heard every word between you and the Molokka. So, I know you should told me my role here. And she said, Well, Walgo's supposed to be the guild master, but apparently he has a bigger fish to fry, so all his work falls on me. That includes making sure our new fish aren't selfish idiots or potential anemones. You passed the first test by trying not to laugh at their awful joke. Now you only need to sit right... Now you only need the right answer to this question. Are you prepared to fish like you've never fished before? Yeah, but I'm not going to fish right now, but sure. Well, you're smarter than the majority of the bottom dwellers that find their way here. Welcome to your guild. Now, this wouldn't be much of a guild if we send you out to the sea with only a pole and a prayer, so I suppose I can spare you a few pearls of wisdom. Nevertheless, you're still going to need that pole and prayer, so I can at least provide you with the former. Here you go. Go out. One out of the two isn't bad. I'll even throw you in these lock worms. She's you not likely to get far without bait. Rods we bestow upon our new fish are priceless objects, which is to say that they don't cost anything. Once you know what you're doing, you'll probably want a proper one. But in the meantime, let's see if you can figure out how to hold a pole. Ready the one I gave you and let the lessons begin. Oh, another quest complete. And another a disciple of the land complete. Fisherman. Or fisher. Alright. Fishing log obtained. I'll take it as well. Right, slowly making our way north. So that's another quest. The uh, fisherman, disciples of the land. I know this can be a bit boring, but uh, it needs to be done. It's a lot of talking. A lot of talking. Luckily, we're almost done with the second city, and just one more city after this. This is a hectic flush of panic on the dozen's face as he looks wildly about Harker's round. Oh, my dear. Oh, dear. My cask of ale is gone and had to be one of the order by someone who doesn't brook tardiness. I wouldn't... I wouldn't bring the matter to the maelstrom or perhaps seek help from the jello jackets, but my client would likely frown an involvement any one official. An adventurer such as yourself, though, would be capable of doing little unofficial investigating. We find the stolen ale for me. It's right outside a fisherman's bottom. Someone surely saw something. What's that? We'd have the client's name. How none of that discretion create opportunities. Now go to the fisherman's bottom and make your inquiries before this cold of mine grows worse. <sighs> Bloody executioners. Cough, cough. This is a guild chest, isn't it? Yeah, I can't even open that. Um, isn't there someone here that does the link pearls? Guess not. There we go. You have attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Limsalo Minsa. The Sephir Gate, the Tempest Gate, and the Airship Landings are now accessible as the Ethernet destinations. I got all the shards, but I still need the big shard himself, the Ethernet. There's still a million quests out here, holy moly. Look at all the beastmen here. So we got a gherkin, we got a goblin, and we got a... Um, a vulture. Yeah. Duty calls. The tall fountain of Dolphin Gate needs to collecting duties on the important goods. Here at Malfin's Gate, we inspect all the goods in the import into Limsalo Minsa and collect duty as the law requires. Some merchants, however, seek to evade this obligation and we must chase them down. We'd be grateful if you could deliver these two ledgers, one to the man named Sundimal, whom you'll find in the Octrant, and the other one to a woman named Leticia, who works at Bismarck. If you're uncertain to our whereabouts of the Bismarck, as Suma Deal when you meet him, and he will point you in the right direction. Welcome to the Arcanist Guild. Is that what we research and develop the field of Arcanima? Arcanima is a science of employing arcane geometries. 
intracite patterns that map the unlocked mysteries of existence to draw forth and manipulate the body's etheric energies. Prefer an arcane art built on struggle, but to be precise reasoning that your discerning intellect may find a home here at our guild. Might you consider unstrolling yourself for an infinite and rolling. Aha, uh -huh, just as I predicted. Before we proceed any further, however, let us feed your appetite for knowledge with a morsel of guild history. The root of Arcanema can be traced back to the historic calculations practiced by the people of the sea, South Sea Islands. It was these islands' folk that the first discovered a method to express natural phenomena in, metaphorical mirror, in mathem mathematical terms. There we go. Built upon the process, the existing mathematical formula were further developed into arcane geometries, precise patterns that allowed a practitioner to weave ether into specific magical effects. The mage who invoked this new form of magic be known as the Arcanists, and the school of Arcanema was born. Many such mages, wishing to expand their understanding of the world, took the seas abroad trading vessels. Upon their arrival in Zalominsa, Arcanists found themselves welcomed in the acad academic elite and soon secured positions in the realm of governance and council. The knowledge of an Arcanist, however, passed on from the master to chosen disciples. As such, Admiral Murwhip, counting several wielders of Arcanema among her personal staff, became concerned that this exclusionary practice would lead to the eventual extinction of the art. So the Admiral expressed orders, as an official Arcanist guild was established, and the funding was provided for research and training. The complex and demanding nature of Arcanema, however, remains in the greatest threat to its own future. If you invite such cerebral challenges, then you have to reaffirm your commitment to joining our guild. Well, have you decided to enroll in our guild? Or are you now intimidated by the thoughts of excessive thinking? Nope. Your sound judgment is to be commanded. Now, standard practices dictates that I introduce you to your guild master that you might convey your intentions in person. Due to extraordinary circumstances, however, he is unreachable at present. Instead, you may speak with Mistress Turbrigan. She has shouldered full responsibility for the, shields, for the guild's leadership in, this in, uh, in the interim. You will find her just over there by the bookshelves. You needn't be shy, though her mind is just sharp and critical. Her manners are always most welcome. Tur Tur Turbergrim? I don't know how to pronounce that. These Limson names are hard, man. Yes, I'm Thurgorin. Greetings and welcome to the Arcanist Guild. As Murray has doubtfully explained, I'm serving as an acting guild master until our wayward leader decides to return. I assume our capable receptionist also spoke to your arts origins? Allow me then to renown to sound upon its nature, Arcanema taps into the living energies of ether. The evidence of this is represented most aptly, perhaps, by our ability to manifest the, arcana, the arcane entity carbuncle and the manner of magic which this empirical ally employs at our command. The core of our discipline, however, is to found the pursuit of divine solutions to any potential quandary, even in the field of battle. Nay, especially on the field of battle, this principle takes precedence. If one wishes to make certain the question of victory, then one must apply most effective strategy. Arcanus is measured by his ability to calmly analyze the situation from moment to moment and respond with the most appropriate spells at hand. The study of Arcanema will test your mental uh, faculties to the point of perplexity, and you are prepared to reason your way through the predicament after predicament. Sure. An ambitious response, the kind I most prefer. Let us now see if the clarity of our words is forged by the sharpness of your mind. Here, take this grimoire in hand, and we shall next judge your aptitude for our discipline. Not now, though. I'm just happy I got that unlocked. That was the last one in this city, thank god. So how many do we have left? One, two, three. Grudania, Grudania, Grudania. There's Arcanist. I'm like, what did I just unlock? So Scholar is potentially DLC as well. I don't remember actually. I think it is. So we got Conjurer, Lancer, Archer. That's three. And these three, six. I'm pretty sure Scholar is an uh, additional class. DLC. Look at all the quests we found here.
We've got Swiss Blade. Swiss Blade, the master merchant of Hawker's Ally, wants you to look into current market prices. You, sir, adventurer, I have work for you. I would have you post a cost. I would have you pose as a customer to survey the market's current prices. Surely they don't see a bulk at a simple task? All you need to do is strike up a conversation with the shop owners and glance over their wares. There are three, mer there's three merchants that interest me. Iron Thunder, Kyokyorun, and Sinehill. Write down all you see on the price list and hand it to Basin on the West Hawker's Alley. He shall sure reward you for your services. We got... Look, this place is busy. Jeez. Sweetnecks Rosy Cheeks. The goblin merchant Sweetnecks appears to be in some distress. Sweetnecks is beauty's gobbies and craftsman trademark. Sweetnecks makes busy deal with uplanders. Need to deliver a letter to Gate of Melvin. But Sweetnecks has shiver shakes. Uplander walks to Gate of Melvin for Sweetnecks. Uplander deliver a letter to Taxia Pachaya. Sure, whatever that is. This place is busy. Why have we got a golden frog over here? This place is buzzing. Hello, Janansim. Janansim of the Burgery Constance Consortium seeks the service of a conventionally unoccupied adventurer. Excuse me, sir, but might you have a moment or two to spare? I seem the type who enjoys being accosted for mental tasks, and I require someone to make a delivery to the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss. I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't heard of them. The sisters prefer not to advertise their presence here in Limsa Lominsa. They do, however, provide a rather unique service of which the Bruguer Consortium has recently been the beneficiary. I would have you to deliver this package to the doorman, Lonward, along with a profuse gratitude. Alright, now we've got so many quests here. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Duty calls. Ledger from Mullivan's Gate, you say? Here it is. Yet yeah, more outstanding duty payments. When will these merchants ever learn? Very well, I'll catch any offenders, so I shall drag them to the gate, kicking and screaming if needs be. One more ledger bound for the Bismarck, you say? Follow this path to the upper decks and you'll find the peace. And you'll find the peace? Look at all these quests. I got quests everywhere. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with this one, Nadelica. Welcome to Limsalo Minsa. Is there art you would like to know? Feel free to meet. Hmm, you got something for me, you say? A missing person list? I'm not sure I follow. Thanks for bringing the list. I'll be sure to memorize the names. If any of the missing persons reappear, you can count on me to spot them. Most of the folk enter the Fiat Zeffler Drift, which means they must pass through Bulwark Hall. That's why I'm on contact watch there, and uncover so as to keep an eye on out for any suspicious activity. I've been doing this for so long, I've become pretty good judge of character. If there are any shady characters skulking around, you can rest assured you can pick them out. <laughs> Alright. I should get a new quest. Natanimo. Natanimo needs help keeping the city bright and cheery place. Sounds like you're already in the Yellow Jacken's good graces. You truly are a model adventurer, a paragon among your fellows. Do you think you could do me a favor? Sure. If you could tend to the street lamps in my stead, I'll be eternally grateful. Oh, and when you're finished, please fetch some oil from Sissy Poo and the Fisherman's Guild. We're running low here, and she has a she has care of our stores. All right, so nothing here right now. Let's do this one first.
right, and then the final lump should be here. This guy's doing the same quest. Nail smiles. He's playing Harry Potter, it seems. Our first cask. Well, can't rightly say if it's your cask, but there was a big fella coming by recently carrying one. He asked me if he smoked mackles when he would go down nice with ill. Tain't only the thing I know. Neither was the louse were black, and you know what means the bloody executioners. Alright. Hi, Sissy Poop. You're doing what? What am I to do with that girl? She has the nerve to ask me for work, twalling triple about our savings, only to foist in the first adventurer that comes along. Being young and pretty does not give you the license to shirk responsibilities. Aye, she'll get her oil, alright? And a piece of my mind to boot. Alright, that's another one done. Preoccupied Porter. Looking for Dustin's cask of ale, eh? I'll help you. Dustin ain't a bad sort of swindling trader. There was a topper came asking here to cask. Wanted to know it was ill, the poxy fool. Oh there, Vexus, you looking to head in sight? Nope. Just came to deliver this. What's this? A parcel from Brugret Crisordium? Let's have a peek inside. Oh, walnut bread and ginger cookies. A few more of the Bismarck finger sandwiches too. And Consortium calls know the right way to show appreciation. Some of the sisters have unholy appetites, so it's best to save a few bites for myself before I take this in sight. Mm-hmm. You let Jessam know we're always here and should the boss have need of this again. Then I see someone walk up with a cask of hill. My shirt was during the afternoon offloading. Well, it didn't look like a thief, though. Hoisted the cack and walked right over to the Alistitia. Alistitia. I believe that's that boat right there. Yeah. So it doesn't show up, because we're tracking already five quests, and it only shows five. What are you looking at? This is a dance to 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 a dance tool. Most importantly, than anything you've got, much much more. You may be able to scamper up the rigging to the crow's nest, but can you get down? Not for a siren's threat, you great claw hopper. Begging pardon, Captain, but there ain't no me quota of life heavier on your feet than a great gluten regatin such as yourself. Haha, <laughs> well said, Captain. And where was sorted, your bloody sun seeker? Or was you a moon keeper? What on the other lads you got? Uh, who even cares, am I right? Where are you anyway? There was a whole passel of all of you before, now there's only one. That's a miss or trick, is it? Ah, uh, nope, nothing worse than a misser. The horseman who was a marginal uh, admiral, uh, what was his name? He didn't look like no drinking or dancing. Bet for uh, hey, corals. Corals can't be right. Corals, of course you're right. Laddie, should never doubt it myself. Anyway, this madrigal, and called him the macroval pinch fist past the grease like there were farts. He decreed no dancing with a hand rich of spirits. But no miracle smarter for saving them, man. We just, just stop reaching with our hands all together. <laughs> we invented step dancing. We showed madrigal pinch fist and his corals. Aye, that's the right fella. Got me all fired up too. Makes you think like, oh, 
and no one to dance all this time. Just ought you must be sure. I can't even read that, man. No, 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 no. He's shit faced. No, no, no. I insist. Dance first, talk later. That's the way of it. All right, I'll do your silly dance. Everyone, let's go. Yatta. We learned another silly dance. Why you can't you see Fox dance like a sailing fog, you do? <laughs> Could swear there was three of you, or was just... Never mind. He's practically a brother now. He asked me anything. A cask of dozens and ill, carried from a fisherman, bought him my very own self, I did. That's... To matter of effect, we already drunk all we had aboard. Cause that isn't getting paid for it someday. Don't make me different she if it frets a night or two. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> Why you're appropriate horse on? That's that's the tail of the task you lugged in? Blackguard, you dare call yourself a bloody executioner, all hugger mugger about what belongs to who? Dodison has the gods not to mew about the colors we wear? And you play them for a fool? I'm sorry, Captain. Wasn't thinking straight, I thought. Got to fix that, I do. It's, uh, what they call coral failing? Adventure, I beg my pardon, my man. I swear Lemillion mistook her for an oyster and gave him a grit for his brain when she made him. Since you're already here, how about you square our account with Dodderson? Take this payment to him. We're much obliged. You dance with us too, so I'm trusting the guild won't inspire any moral failings in you. Then some long queue on the Astolica, if you take my meaning. Look at these guys. <laughs> We're all running away. You can only jump off things if there's ground underneath you. So that little piece right there. If you jump at the right part, you can just jump off instead of having to climb back all the way. Hi, Dodazan. We fixed your problem. There you are. Not a moment too soon. Did you find my ill? Nope, but I got your gold. Well, that's a price. I was to receive, but where did you get it? Ah, from the blood. I mean, a client themselves? I see, yes. They're always some blustering young fellow like that. Hasn't earned his swallows or starch yet, I'll wager. Caught, you say. Captain Moonske is set to. is kind to say so, I'm sure, but he'll. but I hail from the Ula. We trade with anyone if the guild to pay. Pirates, princes, they're all the same to us. And if I know the particular pirates, and I do, they'll be wandering another cast soon to drink away with his little phrases. Many thanks, adventure. Someone's playing music and doing terrible. It's this person. She's not doing a very good job, was she? It didn't sound like it, at least. Sounds like, I'm not sure, I've never played those instruments. Do you need to play them yourself or does it automatically play just press a button? Because the timing is a bit off in that one. Well, Matt, that crash your peepers over these beauties. Never, not a spot of rust to be found. Every piece fresh from the forges of Naldic and Vimmels.
Burgery Consortium. You deliver the packages requested. Very good. I shall pass the scissor sentiments to my superiors. Hmm, what manner of service do the dutiful scissor provide? I'm quite sure an adventure of your status has already glimpsed the truth behind the facade. For a business such as ours, the presence in the city is incredibly reassuring. Alright, that's another quest done. Bismarck wants fresh lamb, does it? Gods, I could do with a slice myself. Fresh of the grill and dripping in his own juices. Sorry, friend. I haven't had a single bite to eat since my chef began. Anyway, wrote, you can get lamb easily enough by hunting the lambs that graze outside the city. Go through the sapphire gate and follow the path east and south for a bit. And you'll run into the fluffy and tasty critters before long. Mapping the realm, middle Lenaskea. Plenty of enemies we need to kill here, it seems. Wharf rats and sheeps. That's dope, that's two quests done. I've got so many quests lined up that I don't even know if we can do another quest right here, right now, but if not, we'll come back. It's okay. What is this? Antidotes. That's for fishing. That's a chocobo keep. Plenty of quests around here. Two quests here. Let's turn them in. If you have any luck obtaining the fresh lamps, please hurry. The guests are arriving any moment now. Here you go. Four slices of fresh lamb in the right wreck of time. Thank you ever so much. This time I feel fulfilled by role. I used to be a chef myself, you see, but my skills weren't quite up to par. So when the Bismarck expanded operations, I asked to be made a professional instead. This way I can still be part of the business in spite of my shortcomings. That's smart. All right, that's one quest complete. Hi, Leticia. Tax evaders among patrons, eh? You say, goodness me. I dare say they may well put an end to my appetite, but this is the best interest in our city state. You have the emergent named the ledger came to dine with us. I shall see that Melvin's gate is notified without delay. There we go. Storyteller. Rank, uh, Storyteller 3 unlocked. Is that 50 quests? A hundred? Wow, we already did a hundred quests. I didn't know that. Right, so we got four or five quests left now. There's one here, one here.
Aye, sir, so slow, a few rats. Good on you, lad. The bloke came through the other day and plopped this huge sack of size of bleeding gubbers on the counter, saying any man wants slays rats can have something from within. When I inquire as to why, all of them say their damn noise they make when they're scurrying around is driving them insane, you ask me, though. I was already a bit of a touched. Someone tells me the poor lad will never find peace. Taking the gold. Speak with Anans at the Armorer's Guild. That's the main quest. Then we have this one and this one. Deliver the letter to Pattaya. I don't even know where Pattaya is. There. The Arcanist Guild. We're almost done in this city. New boat for the Fisherman's Guild. I'm afraid now is not the best time to test. You see, we have recently retaken our commission for a galleon. Let's ask alone as our hands full. But look, I'll see what I can do. The Fisherman's Guild has a long been one of our best clients, and I would be loath to disappoint Sisipu. I may yet take a while, but I shall endeavor to her a boat ready in a timely fashion. Alright. Taking the potions. Now that, that, that is taken care of. We will now do these two. Proper procedure and the right price. Having said that, what is that place called? Arcane, it's literally called the Arcanist Guild, alright. Because that's our next objective. Sweetnicks when there's important records. Without the proper documentation, I'm afraid we shall have to expel them from the city. Why, these are Sweetnicks records. Glad I'm to see they were submitted in time. Honestly, you wouldn't think the goblin would have lost his fear of the office by now. Every month he submits these papers, and every month his hardiness forces me to consider his removal. As long as one of the fellow proper procedures, Lim Salominsa, is quite welcoming of foreign traders, pray convey those words to Sweetnicks. Perhaps it will aid him in soothing this poor goblin's fears. Right, we got some, uh, what is this? Proper procedure, alright, that's done, but we need these two as well. There's Kyokurun, and the other one's here. Seren Hill. A fine evening to you, sir. What can I interest you in? Why, you seem to interest in almost everything, don't you? This is another one of those investigations. Well, I'll have nothing to hide. There's Kyokuron. Kyokuron welcomes welcome customer. Kyokuron loves his lovely trade. Kyokuron is good or goodly made. All right. Bane Singh. Is he like the market master to see if no one overcharges stuff or something? You're the one who made the list for Swasblit. Let's have it then. Hmm. Nothing wrong with the market, as far as I can tell. You often get pirates selling stolen goods at cutthroat prices, and that drives the numbers down right across the Arcus Alley. Thanks to these reports, though. Yo, Robin! Yeah, we're still playing. I've got about... How many hours have I got in my stream? 10 hours and 21 minutes. I want to do, like, about 12 hours stream, and then I'll call it quits for now. Thanks to these reports, though, we can tell a glance when the shitty dealings are taking place. Good work, lad. We're in a bit of the boring part right now. Needs to be done. This is not the interesting part, I can tell you. Someone's playing this song, but he's this still this person. It's going. The, 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 the rhythm is off. Tunes are right, the rhythm is off.
Yeah, the start. I mean, this is the part where you go through city to city, and I'm also unlocking all the, uh, the classes as I go. And since I'm not skipping anything, you know, I'm reading everything, it takes a while. Sweenix rosy cheeks. Uplander delivered a gate to Melvin. Uplander who has white heart and swift legs. The Luxley Pataja has kind backwards for Sweetnix. Sweetnix has outflow of joy for the Lux Lady Pataja. Sweetnix is happy gobu. Gives Uplander jingle shiny. Alright. Quest complete. So that's all the quests done in Limsa Laminsa, except for the main quest. So we can now continue with the main quest and then do everything we just did, but that in Gridania. So you can see I already have uh, just Carpenter, Leather Worker, Botanist, and Lancer, Conjurer, and Archer left. And those six are all over in uh, Gridania. Zenville. Greetings, sir, and welcome to our fair city. If you permit me to examine the seal in the mist, if you carry. Here you go. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies. We cannot afford to be complacent, you understand? Please step this way. The thing is, is I need to stop my stream after 12, before 12 hours. If I go over 12 hours, YouTube won't save my video. Because I want to keep going, really. My girlfriend seems busy today, so I got all the time in the world. tongued merchant send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the old arms place great faith in you. This way. I wish more more of these scenes were voiced over, so I don't have to. <laughs> I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from Thanalan? Hmm, a memorial service to honor the fallen. I know later on in the game they'll do more voice but more voiced parts. Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Garlean Empire sought the rest of Georgia from her grasp. It was an an it was in answer to the Imperial threat the city state formed the Grand Companies and forged the Georgian Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wager an all simple contest of martial might. They had other plans, the Meteor Project. The goddess Nails from Darnus, Hells take him, intended to cleanse her realm by snatching the lesser moon Delamet from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent his lunatic scheme, we marched the forces to the Cartino Flats and there met the seventh Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartino, and I have seen a full well many. But though we have no quarter, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Delamut came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. It was the elder primal Bahamut, bent on making a hell on Eorzea. In the space of her breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while her own armies fared a little better. It was as the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. While Archon Louis Swab still with us, he would have doubtlessly shed some light on those unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For our, while our nation struggles to recover from the devastation, the beastmen call forth the damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our forces will catch us unprepared. I speak not only of beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken a claim of yours, yeah? The Imperials grow... The, Imper the Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all. We need champions to replace those we lost. But such... Thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is duty of every soul to survive the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. 
Aye, Rob one is the right of it. I accept this proposal. I like this guy as well. These two are big shots in the game. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see that the Flame General receives my reply. You travel next to Gridania, yes? Yes, I am. Pray give me regards to the elder seats here. Oh, and tell her the wolf has been sniffing around her stables. A private jest, and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell her it's the same. Fare you well, Ve Vexus. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Well, all done done. Limsa Lominsa done. On my way to Gridania. I mean, there's other cities in the game that will have to do all of this. What we're doing right now, it's like small quests, etc. And all the... Uh, Ethernet shards, but that's much later because those are DLC cities. Every DLC has one. But look how busy this place is. What am I doing? Speak with Lonoplo Lo Lo at the airship landing. Yeah, I was going to the Ethernet, but I don't have access to Gridania yet. We need to go the old fashioned way flying. This one? Greetings, sir. This is a counter for passengers traveling to Gridania. A pleasure to serve you again, sir. Are you ready here to board the airship to Gridania? Yes. The gangplank. Let's click on it. Waiting. Alright, blast off. To Gridania. So let's gather all the quests first, I suppose. Let's talk with this one first, arrivals attendant. Ah, you must be Envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Gridania, sir. The Elder Seeds awaits your arrival. Let's get Serpent Honor Guard. Greetings, good sir. You're all on Envoy, are you not? I've in received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nofiska's altar. She will admit your lotus stand while the elder suits here waits. Alright. Errol. Hello, Errol. Errol has noticed a rare bit of excitement within the city's serene state and would share with you what he knows. I make no secret about my dis inclination towards Gridanians, as you may well know, but I just saw a rare sight. Would be remiss not to share with a fellow adventurer. Just over yonder in the Acorn Archard, I saw a com cornly maiden, new to those benight parts. I'd wager dancing with a gaggle of younglings. It was a dance I'd not seen before. I've seen my fair share. Do perhaps ready themselves for such a fresh ride? 
After so much doom and gloom, I shouldn't mind of a day of merrymaking. Ah, just the thought of it excites me. Did you see what it was all about? Sure. So we got two quests here. We got this Ether Shark. We got the Ether Right itself. Go here first, then go here, then teleport here, and then go left. Yeah, I got... This place is also busy. There we go. A tomb with the Etherite. Very important. Let's get the Ethernet shark since we're here now. There we go. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to the Archer's Guild. Is there. It, it is here that the Archers of the Realm over a gather to master the bow. We engage the enemies from a distance, ever seeking out the course of battle with a single well-placed arrow. If you mind to become an archer, then you have come to the right place. Do you wish to join our ranks? Sure. Marvelous. This allows me to enlighten you on the history of both our art and the guild. The bow is an ancient tool that has existed since before our nation came into being. It's implement of war and of hunting both. It protects us from our enemies and even keeps us fed and clothed. Archery, as practiced in Gridania, was born of two distinct styles of bowmanship. The first was delivered to the longbow sentries to the Eleazan, who once ruled the lowlands, while the second belonged to the shortbow hunters of the formerly nomadic Mikwote. As you will doubtlessly be aware, both races ultimately called him come to call the Twelve Suits home. Though the people began as rivals, they gradually learned to live together in harmony. During this time, they learned from one another their two schools of archery intermingling to give birth to the art that is known today. Ah, but this wouldn't have been possible were it not for the Trappers League. The guild was established in order to promote sustainable hunting and cooperation within the hunting fraternity at large. As a happy consequence of this union, the guild's members came to engage in friendly contestants of skill. Inspired by such competition, a handful of their numbers began to focus on perfection as opposed to more practically transforming a skill into what may be termed of an art. These individuals would go down to form the guild of their own. I, the Archer's Guild, where men and women gathered the mastery of the bow, more than a few members of the God's Quavers loose their first arrows within these very holes. And that, my friend, is a brief history of archery in Gridania. Doubtless you are meager to... Meagler... Well, doubtless you are eager... More than eager to take... Doubtless you are more eager than ever to take up the bow. Wow. It would be my pleasure to recommend you to your Guildmaster. You must receive her permission if you are to join us. If you'd excuse me for a moment, I shall see that the relevant lists are amended. Please, pray speak to me again for it in a short while. So, are you resolved to join the Archer's Guild? Yep. The look in your eye bespeaks your determination. It would be my pleasure to refer to the Guildmaster Lucien. Lest your wordly unduly, Lucien is an affable and kind-hearted woman. Even those not of the guild have been known to seek her counsel on various matters, and even they have been given a fair hearing. Lucien awaits you in the training area yonder. Present yourself before her and impress her upon your desire to join the guild. Hello, Lucien. What you doing? Greetings, adventurer. I'm told you wish to join our rank. I'm Lucien, the master of the archer's guild, and I bid you welcome. Our doors are open to all who will, will to learn. Allow me to explain the basics of our art and offer you the foretaste of that which we teach the members of our guild. The bow's greatest advantages range. Unlike those arms used in other dis disciplines of war, it allows one to strike at the enemy from afar. Though the, though the bow may not boost the destructive forces of a sword or spear, it myriad strategic applications more than compensate for this shortcoming. An experienced archer can immobilize an enemy by striking a leg or separate strength with a potioned arrow. Rise to become a virtuoso of archery, and vertical deluge of death will be yours to rain down upon your foes. By fighting from a distance, we can better assess the battlefield and therefore determine the most advantageous course of action. This is of paramount import, and our role in battle is to exploit the enemy's weaknesses. With this requisite placement and timing, but a single arrow may serve to turn the tide. To this end, the guild seeks to instill discerning eye with its members. 
that he may learn to strike at vulnerabilities swiftly and surely. Now, any halfwit can bend the bow, but it's no simple task take, uh, undertaken to become a skillful archer. He must be prepared for a long and arduous journey. Are you resolved to complete that journey? Yes. That is well. From this moment forth, you may consider yourself one of our number. Now lend me your hunting bow, if you would. I shall add it to the names of the such creatures as would provide a fitting challenge to an archer. And to help you on your way, I bestow upon you this short bow. Arm yourself with your new weapon and then speak to me again. Or would you undertake a trial to gouge your fitness to join the guild? Alright, archer unlocks. There we go. This person has wings. Model A2 tactical top. Fimimbas. Fimimbas of the Archer's Guild wish you to deliver a sealed message to the markets. Hill adventurer, might you have a moment? Sure. I am in need of a trustworthy soul to deliver a missive to Parnell. You can find her in the Shadow Bower, in the midst of the markets. Why would I not simply go and speak with her myself? Well, I'm sure you have observed. Gridalians have a tendency to be rather, um, I mean, in person. They can be, well, a little bit on the pricky side. Matter is not urgent. Simply hand over the missive the next time you find yourself in the markets. Please, as a favor from one adventurer to another. Alright, she probably did something to piss them off, but... Right, to the eve right. Some more quests over here. Idel. Idel is looking for an adventurer to deliver the forgotten item. Ah, an adventurer, precisely what we needed. Not a moment ago, we dispatched a new recruit, Artor, to inspect Mikado Amphitheater. Regrettably, this young Eur has made spirit, has more spirit than sense, and charged off without his tools. Suffice to say, he won't be getting anywhere work done. Would you be so kind as to deliver them to them? Wonderful. Seek out Loeth. Loelic at the acorn orchard behind the atrium. You should have Arthur's tools. Is it Carpenter? Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to the Carpenter's Guild. Yep. We are the additions who took wood and granted new form and purposes the archer's bow, the lance's spear, and the novice shield. If the carpentry holds any appeal, you should consider joining your guild. Might you be interested in learning the ways of woodworking? Sure. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, before we proceed, I think the only right thing to acquaint is your guild's storied past. Since the founding of Gridania, we've built our homes and crafted our weapons from the trees of the Twelfth Wood. As our nation grew and prospered, the woodworker's repertoire expanded and encompasses a great variety of articles on the carpentry developed into an art. At first, there was no isolation, association of carpenters. Each individual worked and sold his services independently. However, the adventure of water, the advent of water mills meant that the more efficient construction methods were needed, along with formalized maintenance regimes, regimes all of which are necessitated organizations. The Carpenter Guild was found to oversee the operational water wheels and promote cooperation between woodworkers. Now I must mention at this point that we owe much and more of our prosperity to Great Loam Growery. Thanks to the hardworking botanists, we are blessed with the finest lumber in all Eorgia. This confluence of ideal circumstances allows us to perfect all manner of goods and services to the people of Gridania. My apologies, that was rather long than I intended. Still, I trust you have gained a great understanding of our guild. We expect our members to drink deep and collected wisdom that the guild has amassed over the course of its history, to actively seek an understanding of wood and techniques required to work it, rather than simply waiting to be taught. We expect, in short, nothing less than a total commitment into the craft. If you wish to start down this path, speak to me once more and I shall explain the enrollment process. Would you like to learn more about the enrollment process? Yes. Wonderful. I should mention at this point that Timbermaster Beaten assesses all well 
all would be apprentices personally, so you would need to obtain his approval before you begin. Timbermaster beating can be harsh and for unforgiving man, but if you love to craft and learn, have the will to learn, you could ask for no better tutor. He's quite simply the finest carpenter in Grandania. Of course, it will take you some time and no small amount of effort to comprehend the full extent of his teachings, but you may rest assured that he will not lead you astray. That said, when you meet him, I would advise you choose your words carefully and um, resist the urge to run away. Okay, there's Beaton. Doesn't have a first or last name, I know what Beaton is. Another green adventurer come to play with Sauce. Well then, I suggest you first speak with the... Ah, you've met with Cork, haven't you? I'm like, is this guy hitting the pole? But no, he's chiseling at it. That is well, but how do I know the decision to initiate your guild and rest with me? Tell me, true adventure. Tell me, true adventurer. Have you a mind to devote yourself to the art of carpentry? Yes. The look on your face bespeaks determination, or may have trepant wind. Still, you look strong enough to hold a saw, and if your resolve is indeed genuine, I'll give you leave to remain for the time being. However, you are useless to me in your current state. You are as the seedlings. Some potential, perhaps, but no more than thrive than perish. Experience what it is to acquire a boy, and I should give you this means to acquire it. Take this saw. It's old, yes, but sharp as needs be. Now prove to me that you're not completely incompetent by taking up your new tool. Once you've done so, present yourself to me for inspection. Right, carpenter unlocks. Phew. Yep, not gonna do that yet though. So we now have just a leather worker left and botanist. Little Halleck. Idel sent you. Give me a moment. Here they are, still fresh and unused as the day they got him. Doubt he's even realized he left it, he left the bloody things behind. First day he forgets his tools. Daft salt needs to kick up me up the mumble. <laughs> Alright, so we got Nicolix here. Nicolix needs the assistance of a kind adventurer. You know all about the adventurer, she'll do anything for a reward, won't you? Well then, I want you to make a new laugh. She's no good with strangers, so first you should introduce yourself politely with a bow. So this is basically the same in every city, it teaches you about emotes. Hi. Run! She spoke to me, run! That seemed up to work, but still, it looks sad. Hmm, try sharing the joy in your heart with her, then it'll prove how nice you are. Alright. Joy. I said. Joy, not Jal. You're odd. Run! I think she's starting to like you. Good, now you've broken the ice. I bet I'll surprise her and just start dancing. She'll love her head off. Aha, you're a really good dancer, mister. That looks fun. Maybe I should try it sometime. Thank you. You're pretty good at this. Lil lost her father five years ago during all the fighting. She hasn't laughed much since then. So I wanted... I mean, we're all worried that her younglings have been following me around lately. You wouldn't understand anyway. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. How about you, Jitain? A day at merrymaking. Is that all your adventurers think about? I'm here to teach my dear fellow from me. These younglings are to learn the most sacred, meaningful, and uniquely uplifting dance. Now, I realize full well that the tradition may not hold much alluring to the young, but I didn't think you would up and run away. This matter of disobedience is unprecedented. It's all more surprising considering that they obeyed a timber master without demur. What I wouldn't know, that, what I wouldn't give to know his secrets, but I must wait here for my unruly charges. I wonder though, might you ask the man how he tamed them? He bribed them with gifts. Yo, Beaton, I'm back. Another green adventurer come to play with sauce. Apparently not. Speak your mind, child. So the younglings will need the dancing will need will not heed their dancing master, and I'm to provide the solution. 
Master Yelovet seems able enough, but having no generosity towards herself, she has none for her charges. Give the younglings these on our behalf and bid them to return to the lesson. Told you we need to bribe them. Give toys to the children. Oh, there's one here. Hello, bestful boy. Hmm, scoop with both hands, then left. Look up, up, right, down, or is it up, up, down, right, left, right, left, right? I wish you could let... I wish you would let me make these notes. Here's a wooden toy. Oh, why? This is made of maple. It's unmistakable. <laughs> Master Beaton would tell you the grain of... Almost at flaws, like syrup someday. I'll be a timber master like him. He wants me to go back to Mr. G.S. class, doesn't he? Uh, he always tells us if you can true a piece of wood, there's no excuse not for trying yourself. Alright, I'm going. So here we got the letter worker skills. Let's get this out of the way. Skills receptionist. There we go. Greetings and welcome to the Letter Workers Guild. Here we produce the finest letter goods, taking care of the hundred lives which we sacrificed for their creation. Our letter armor is worn by archers and lancers of this great nation, and favored by all who prefer to prefer. Protection does not come at the cost of mobility. If you wish to place an order, I bid you visit Fenyil Fineries. If, on the other hand, you might have the mind to join our guild, I should be happy to assist you. Might you be interested in becoming a letter worker? That's the idea. Nothing would make me happier than to welcome a new initiate into our ranks. However, it is essential that you first understand the burden that every letter worker must hear. As you cannot have failed to notice, the Twelve Suit is blessed with an abundance of life. We Gridanians have long hunted the forest creatures for both nourishment and clothing. For Gridania is unlike any other place. The elements that watch over the Twelve Suit have never looked kindly onto taking life, and those who flout their gov governance do so at their own peril. The elements decreed that the life is not to be taken without due necessity, and so the Trapper's League was formed to regulate the hunting of animals. The Letter Workers Guild subsequently founded to manage their fair and equitable distribution of pelts. Nowadays, adventurers are a major supply of pelts. Any letter goods have become widespread, but in times past they were rare and precious. The Letter Workers Guild have not gotten, forgotten those times. We treat letter with no less respect than living creatures when it comes in crafts, goods, and high quality in so doing. We honor those lives lost, and minimize the need for further killing, and all forgotten benefit of our products. Surpassing durability. Our guild is also the sole product of the famous Fenyi brand of leather goods, the Pride of Gridania. The product represents the ultimate expression of our core tenets and the transcendence technique which shaped them. Know, though, that being a guild member does not automatically make you a Fenyusine artisan. You must earn the right to become one. For most of the letter workers here have the fruits of labor bear the Fenyu brand, yet the distant dream. That is a life awaits you, should you choose to walk our path. Succeed will not be handed to you. The success will not be handed to you, but I can guarantee you that you will have the opportunity to seize it. So if you wish to make a name for yourself and craft goods which are envy of all, you have to come to the right place. Speak to me once more once you learn once you wish to learn about the enrollment process. Have we decided to join the Letter Workers Guild? Yes. Very well, I will invite you to speak with Guildmaster Gava. She's a brilliant artisan, personally responsible for the creation of countless Fenyi products. You have doubtless heard her name before. The Guildmaster patterns are uniformly elegant, in which them even a novice craftsman can cut their materials with minimal waste. It is for her to decide if you're fit to join us. She can be found in the work area within. Present yourself to her and do not waver your determination. Geva. So you wish to become a letter worker? If you've spoken with Rendell, you can be told the means to work with letter. The weight you must carry, the responsibility you must bear. Now to just... Not just to the elementals, mind you, but also to the guild. Our craftsmanship is unrivaled and each member is expected to live up to that reputation. Once you join, there's no turning back. If you dishonor us, I shall flay you myself and make a chokeable settle from your hide. Will you swear upon... Will you swear to uphold the traditions and do our best to the letter worker you can be? Sure. 
though you seem ill-equipped to do even that, I will give you a head knife to help you along your way. But rest is up to you. Do not pressure yourself in association with us, means your work will bear the Fenuel name. Until you prove yourself worthy, you will not be permitted to march as starch a Fenuel product, March left craft one. Now then, if we're to continue with your initiation, you'll need to put that knife in your hand first. Talk to me when you're ready to begin. There we go, letter worker unlocked. The last of the disciples of hand. That list is now completely full. No, I shouldn't have dumped down. I regret it at the moment I did that. Making good progress in Gradania now. Getting rid of all these quests. Parsimentrant. The master of markets, Parsimentrant, is willing to admit an adventurer to assist him in fulfilling an order from the Lancer's Guild. Lost, are we? Are sure how to navigate the Rosewood and Ebony Stalls? Very well. If you wish to narrow if you wish to know more of the markets, I should give you a practical education free of charge. The master of the markets, I entertain many requests. The order from the whalers, for example, but I delegate them fulfillment to my hirelings that I might tend to such tasks as I alone am capable of performing. For your personal assessment, Betterment, I shall delegate the fulfillment of this particular request to you. I bid you search for the stalls for a bone spearhead, a pot of beeswax oil, and a length of bamboo root rope, and deliver them to Kingalit of the Lancer's Guild. There's much more to be found in those stalls. If you have the dedication to seek it, and then the coin to procure it. However, as my representative, you only need to name my name as payment. None will deny me. In fact, many will be too eager to part with their wares, so numerous am the debts I am owed. Prime proposition, is it not? I'm spared a simple task, and you gain priceless mercantile experience. Why, I should rightly charge you for such an opportunity. Or worry not, I'm a man of word, and the terms will strand to deliver the goods to Kangalit, and she may even see fit to reward you. That's a lot of text. So let's talk with Admiranda. Welcome, welcome. Hmm, at the best of the good master Parsimonter, did you say? To what do we owe the pleasure of your company today, Lord? May I take this opportunity to say that it's an honor and a privilege to serve you. Ah, but you must have beeswax oil without delay. Yes, yes, feel free to take as much as you require. And you will, of course, inform Master Parsimon that I was only too happy to accommodate his needs, yes? Well, what, what kind of monopoly does he have? You're a threat? Sorry, mate, we ain't open yet. Oh, one of Parsimon's threats, is it? Well then, what was it you said you wanted? A bone spear hat. Here, take this. Take it all and tell the best that we're square. Hello, Parnell. <coughs> Greetings, sir. Might you be looking to secure a service of a retainer? Actually, not yet, but... What's this? A missive from Fenalbus, you see. Whatever it could be about, let me see now. Hmm. She wants to know about our available stock of potions at the markets. Hardly a matter of warrants a letter, much less hiring a courier. Why, she could not ask a question in person? I sense the adventurers from beyond our borders from Gridania is somewhat difficult to deal with. Ah. Uh. Are we truly so devoid of warmth? If we mistrust outsiders, it's only because so many of them have brought chaos into the Twelfth Wood. Yet since, as theirs are not forgotten yet, I suppose we might endeavor to be a little less cold. That's another quest complete. Alaric. You got a discerning eye, yes. The craftsmanship truly something, ain't it? Perfect for securing any manner of... Parcelance. God, I never hear that bloody name again, it'll be a too soon. And there I was, thinking I might make a guild today. Here, take the damn bramble wheat robe and bugger off. <laughs> no one likes him, apparently. So here's the Lancer's Guild. We'll get another quest and another uh, guild. We'll join another guild, I suppose. There we 
go, another Ephorite. Talk to uh, Slanguit here. What business you have with me, adventurer? Hmm, you come up on the bidding of Master Parson on Tret. I guess these are made for uh, spears. So soon, I am impressed. I placed my order only a short time ago, yet here are all the items I requested. Truly, Master Parson wants every bit as resourceful as they say. You are fortunate to work such a you are fortunate to work on a such a man. You would do well to mold yourself in his image. If you have any aspiration as a merchant. Boisland. Boisland of the Lancers Guild wants a fledgling adventurer to deal with his quarrel problem. Ah, a fresh faced adventurer. There are many matters of person I had wished to meet. The Lancers Guild is looking for someone to track down and exterminate half a dozen squirrels. The infernal pests have been squeezing in under her floorboards every eve for the past several moons and gnawing away at the support pillars. They have yet to inflict any serious structural damage thanks to the builder, but I hesitate to bring such trialing matter before the woodwailers or the gods quiver. Hence my delight at your timely arrival. Why an adventurer would not dispatch such woodland nuisance is not worthy of the name. Not here in Gridania at any rate. And you know what becomes of incapable adventurers? Ah, perhaps it is best you do not. The scrolls at which you spoke can be found in the central shroud. Return to me once you have dispatched of them. Assuming the task could not be on you for your sake, I sincerely hope it's not. No, these are level 1 units. If you can't beat them, delete the game, man. Welcome to the Lancer's Guild, adventurer. If you seek to refine your skills with a pole arm, then you've come to the right place. Here at the Lancer's Guild, spear wheels gather to train with one another and further hone their abilities under the tutelage of our finest structures. Do you seek membership with us? Yes. Very well, I shall provide you with an insight in our histories of our guild. More than just any instrument of war, the spear is also a tool for hunting, and with game every plentiful ever in the Twelfth Wood, the weapon has been mainstay of the locals here since before the founding of Gridania. With the passing of time, our nation became uh, gathering our nation became a gathering place for spear masters from across our realm, many eager to test their metal against the faint might of our wood whalers. And it was here in Gridania that the myriad fighting styles came into contact, eventually giving rise to the art thought here today. The spear technique could be formalized as all owned much to be founding of the Lancers Guild by Woodwaler Captain Mistol, nigh one century past. The tradition of accepting students from without as well as within Gradania's borders persists to this day, ensuring that the art of poor may not only survive but also continue to evolve. Well, there you have it. I hope this brief history of the Guild has helped sense of any doubtless in your mind. The Lancers Guild is always eager to have welcome new initiates. If you're willing to Alice, speak with me again. We begin the enrollment procedure. Sure. Excellent. I shall let Guildmaster Yewen know to expect you. All who seek admittance to our ranks must present themselves before him. He will judge if you are fit to become one of us. Pray make your way to the training area within. Our Guildmaster awaits you there. Well met, adventurer. I understand you wish to learn the Lancer's art under our roof. I see you have some combat experience, yet it remains to be seen if such skills you've required will avail you here. But no matter, in my, as my, in my capacity as a guildmaster, I shall grant your training beginning with the very basics, the principle of our art. There exist myriad fighting styles, each of which has their own unique qualities. None, however, can claim to be as offensively minded as ours. Our approach is ever one attack, no matter who or what we face. As experienced Lancers are able to wield a poem as if it were an extension of his body, he transforms into a raging storm before his foes, delivering a barrage of devastating thrusts and slashes. To facilitate such relentless assault, we Lancers forgo plate, favoring armor of leather and chain. Such materials also provides adequate protection without unduly hindering movements. A Lancer may be worth measured quite simply and how swiftly and decisively can pierce his enemy defenses. By its nature, the poor arm is a simple weapon to wield, for good or ill. Even in farmers' hands, it's capable of wrecking havoc. Thus has it been a maestre of every great army since ancient times. Yet know that a lance alone does not a fencer make, or lancer make. Faced with unfavorable odds, an unseasoned spearman will break formation and flee with a moment's hesitation. The true lancer, however, flinches not before his enemies, for he knows the meaning of fear, for he does not know the meaning of fear. Ever does he press forward, disdainful of the odds that he might pierce the enemy's lines and open a path to victory. Needless to say, doing so will require no small amount of courage. 
And that is why our guild has striven for the first time to steal its essential quality in every soul passed through our hells. Arduous trials await you should join our ranks. Knowing this, have you resolved to wield the lance? Yes. Well said, adventurer. That see no reason to deny you the place within our ranks. Ah, but I neglected to introduce myself. I'm your Wayne, master of this guild. Pleasantries, duties, exchange. I shall add to your hunting log the names of creatures again which a lancer might home his skills. In celebration of this occasion, I hereby present you with your very own spear. Arm yourself with it and speak to me once more. I would have you undertake the final ta the first task. A trial, to be precise. Well, we got the lancer unlocked. Did I get this ether right? I'm not sure. I think I did. Yes, I did. Well, we got preserving the past here. What? I'm terribly busy right now and would thank you not to bother me. I'm a carpenter of a prestigious oak artrian and I have repairs to. Forgot your toolbox, didn't you? Guess what did they put in? Oh my god. I took it to your from the guild too then? What's that? Idel sent you. With my tools. Uh, yes. I was actually just about to go get them. Um, this is so embarrassing. My apologies. It's just I've been so focused on the task at hand. You know, it's a miracle the amphitheater even survived the calamity. It was the Carpenter's Guild that saved it, moving it piece by piece and rebuilding it. When I saw what they had done with Gridania, I knew what it wanted to be, but gods, when they told me the first task was to come here. Anyway, thank you for bringing me my tools. You're new to the Oak Atrium too, right? Well, let's both work hard for good of our guild then. Oh, and may the elements watch over you as you keep you safe. Stain? Stain, the caretaker of Myth Kato's Amphitheater, needs an adventurer to help her tidy up. Greetings, traveler. Come to see me Kato's famed amphitheater, have you? I am a twain, caretaker of this centerpiece of Gdanian culture, and I fear I must need trouble you for your assistance. You see, it's not overly meaning men, look yourself, who are drawn to this place. The sylphs often visit in the dead of night, long after the citizens have gone to bed. We have no particular objection to their presence, and they seem grateful for the episode for the accommodation. So much so, in fact, that the last night they've has left a token of their appreciation in the form of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. Their generosity is more than welcome, of course, but the sheer quantity of these things make gathering them all seem like a chore. It's not as if they don't have enough to do already. In short, I'd be most grateful for any help you could give me. So we're gonna take up the vegetables. That's kinda nice, right? These are not rotten ones, like the one we got from that cove. These seem like proper vegetables, you can eat them. If you don't want them, I'll take them. There's cabbages, or pumpkins, what are they? Pumpkins, onions, and carrots. I'm not sure what the green one is. Looks like a pumpkin, to be honest. Well done, friend. Mikoto herself would sing her praise. She knew well the power of art, how it could strengthen the soul of a nation and preserve its history for future generations. The amphitheater was here greatest gift to Gridania, and it was her wish that all her folk use it freely, not only performances and festivals, but as a place to share memories and make new ones. I wonder if the sylphs come here to do just that. That said, I do wish they would find another way to access their gratitude. We have no need for vegetables here, but mayhap Sir Caroline cannot be cannot make use of them. Anyway, thanks for the elements for bringing you here today. I call it lazy, but alright. Hey, Daimosant. Daimosant has need of an adventurer to deliver a message. You there, adventurer. Could you deliver a message for me? 
My supervisor, Milliken, is stationed outside Atelier Fanyi. She's doubtless busy, but I'm past due to be relieved. Long past due, truth be told. However, I can't simply abandon my post. Speak to her for me, would you? But choose your words wisely. She has a bit of a temper. Alright, let's get this Ethernet shard. But I don't want to be a dancer. Why can't we just play? I mean, I guess we could dance for fun, but I don't think Mr. Sudetta knows she's so uptight. Here's a toy. Go back to her. Is it one of Master Beaton's toys? Does it mean he there's more if I go back to class? I'm on my way. See, I told you we're bribing them. Malane. The conjurer Malane seeks an assistance for a frantically busy student. You there. You're an adventurer, yes? Good. I have the task for you. Take yourself over to Conjurer's Guild and speak with my student, Briya. She has her hands full, preparing for auguries and will would likely welcome your assistance. In her excitement of becoming a Conjurer, I fear my young disciple is pushing herself beyond her limits of endurance. Enthusiasm is all well and good, but it would not do her to have initiate collapse from exhaustion. There's a bubbly boy, which is the last one I think we need. I, I ran off because it's boring. All Mr. Shadet sees is how we're doing wrong. Hey, that's one of Mr. Obedience. Is this supposed to be a bribe then? You got yourself a deal, adventuring man. Well, at least they're aware of that I'm bribing them. They've now reached around. Okay. So which one am I missing then? Botanist. Oh, that's one up there. Yeah, okay. That's the main quest. Can't have that one yet. Briar. Yes, yes, I'm Briar, but I'm also awfully bit. Oh, you say Lady Mella and ask her to assist me. In that case, I suppose she might lend a hand, especially as mine appears to be shaking, but only very slightly. Note that everything is worrying about more nervous energy. I might be exceedingly grateful if you would take this Azamia Rose Oil and refill the sense sensors. There are two that require attention. Please have a care to not disturb the conjurers amid their meditation. You must be as quiet as obtrusive as possible. Brea's Busy with preparations for the coming ceremony and needs an adventurer to bring her scarlet oil. Might you perchance be comfortable around Valkin? If so, I have an urgent need of your assistance. You see, I was preparing for the forthcoming auguries when I found to my great embarrassment that we lacked the requisite quantity of scarlet oil. If it's not too much to ask, I would be most grateful if you could resupply us in time for the ceremony. Scarlet oil can be harvested from ladybugs, such as the fountain near the Bannock. Six of the Valkins should yield enough to the necessary amount. Pray return to me as soon as you have it. Like I said, I love this quest stuff. It's very easy to do. It just takes up a lot of time. Many things, I must admit, being rather impressed by how faithfully you followed my instructions. I've always con considered adventurers to be uncuffed and rowdy lot, but I see you're capable of courtesy as well. Lady Malan is a few fine eye for character. You should feel honored that she chose you for this task. Again, I just call it lazy. Alright, guild receptionist. Well met, adventurer. You've come to the Steelglade Fan, home of the Conjurer's Guild. Where conjurers harness the power of earth, wind, and water that are bound in nature, and thereby weave spells of healing and protection. Ever do we seek noble souls to initiate into our mysteries, might you be such soul. Come join the guild. Then allow me to provide you with an overview of what is to be a conjurer. Conjury is the art of healing and purification. It is a practice that harness the power of nature, and they might bring about change in the form of spells. Primitive magic, such as the ones wrought by individuals known as mages, meaning those with the ability to manipulate ether, has existed since the dawn of time. 
It was not until some five centuries ago that the country emerged from this shapeless agglomeration of spells and charms, even which led to the founding of Gridania. In those dark days, the elements would not suffer man's presence in the Twelfth Wood, forcing our forebears to make their homes beneath the earth in the great subterranean city of Gelmora. But their desire to set the settle in Twelfth Wood continued to burn fiercely. Then, time and time again, they sought to curry the elementals' favors. Unlike man, any other creatures bound in the temple of flesh, the elements are beings of pure evil. Recognizing this, the mages of El reasoned that their talent for etheric manipulation might allow them to commune with those, therefore, enigmatic entities. It took five long decades, but our forebears finally succeeded. The reward, the elements' permission to dwell in the dwell's wood, so it was the nation of Gridania born. Since that time, the elements have taught us to live with one nature, speaking to all Gridanians throughout the heroes, those mages who are able to commune with them, and their intimacy with the elements, the heroes would go on to attain greater mastery over the forces of nature, thus did they conceive the art of conjury. And that, my most attentive listener, is a brief history of conjury. If you have a mind to walk our path, I wholeheartedly recommend to join our guild. It would be my pleasure to explain the initiation process to you. Pray speak with me again when you're ready. Is your mind made up? Are you ready to join the Conjurer's Guild? Yes. This is all well. I shall introduce you to our Guildmaster then, Brother Isum Yun. Brother Isum Yun provide, uh, presides over the Conjurer's Guild even as he serves his nation as a hero. You will find him in the meditation area within. Go to him and make him know you desire to join the Guild. Greetings, adventurer. I am told you wish to become a conjurer of the Stillgate Fen. I am Brother Isum Yan, master of this guild. Before you formally accept it into our ranks, I would impart to you the principle of conj conjury. Pray attend my will. Conjury is an arcane art that takes life of and the living for its domain. Its primary purpose of solving of hurts and the granting of protection. Adventurers such as yourself often stand upon the front lines of battle. Owing to this, you are likely to find yourself in many situations where the capacity for healing would be advantageous. Mind you, there is more to conjury than that. By harnessing the power of earth, wind and water, conjurers are also capable of weaving spells that wreak havoc. In terms of sheer destructive power, conjury may pill in comparison to thermothergy, but its capacity to defend one against aggression more than compensates for, the, for this relatively shortcoming. In mastering healing and purification, not only will you be able to mend wounds and purge afflictions, you will also be able to breathe life back into the fallen. More than simply healers, yet not true dealers of destruction, conjurers realize their full potential when they employ their powers in support of others. This, my dear adventurer, is what it means to be one of us. Hmm, mayhaps there was too much to grasp upon a single hearing, but worry not, for the meaning of the words will become clear to you in due time. Aye, you will not come to understand that conjury is not the sole province of this conjurer. Should you wish to walk our path, I must need ask you to solemnly vow to embrace nature, to heed the will of the elements and the twelve suits alike. Can you make this vow? Sure. I knew your answer. I knew your answer or your lips had parted, yet I'm no pleased. Yes, I am no less pleased to hear it. By the power vested in me, I hereby name you the member of Conjurer's Guild. If you would be so kind to let me your hunting log, I shall add to it the names of the such creatures that will pose a suitable challenge to conjurers. And to mark the momentous occasion, I present you to this game. Though it may be old and weathered, it will serve you well as you would have take your first steps upon the path of conjurer. Take up your cane, Vexus, and present yourself to me once more. Alright, conjurer unlocked. That is the last disciple of magic that we can unlock for now. All that's left is the botanist now. Let me double check. Okay, no, that's only the main quest. We can't do that yet. I mean, we can do it, but we don't want to. That's the difference. Got Sami Yang here. 
Botan is named Sami and is hoping that an adventurer will pick up the scattered rose hips for her. Stop right there, not another step. I apologize if you startled you, but please be careful. The ground here is covered with rose hips, you see. My seed pouch had grown to threadbare that had finally split open. I'll be there to myself. I'd be scattering Asim and rose hips along his road. Ah, good sir. If you would help me gather them, I'd be ever so grateful. Thank you. Your kindness is truly a blessing from the elements. The rose hips should be laying on the road between here and Great Loom Growery. Remember to tread lightly, that should crush them on her foot. Makes me wonder what these things weigh, because they're quite large. You would think you'd notice them dropping from a pouch or whatever it is they were carried in. Two quests in here, I believe. No? No, I guess not. Only the Guildmaster. Or the Botanist thingy. The last one. Hello there, and welcome to the Botanist Guild. Where brings you here today? Hmm, interested in becoming a botanist, are you? Then you've come to the right place. At our guild, you can study under some of the finest botanists in all the realm. An enticing proposition, is it not? So what say you? Would you like to add your name to our role? Sure. Excellent. Now you're doubtless eager to dive headlong into the nearest shrubbery, but first, a brief explanation of the origins of the Botanist Guild. Our guild boasts a long history. Its roots can be traced back some 500 years to when our nation was still in its infancy. It was around that time that the precursor organization, organization that our own was established to, well, to facilitate the communion with our elementals. Ah, oh, but I suspect you're already confused. Not being forest-born, let me put it in a way that you would understand. Twelve who doesn't belong to man, but almighty beings known as the elements. It is by their leave that we Kodanians dwell here in the forest, it is by their leave that we shall receive of its bounty. Ever since mankind settled in Twelve's wood, it's been necessary for us to obtain the elements' permission prior to aught prior to taking aught from their domain. Historically there was a rather involved process that is only precious few could actually commune with them. Specifically those conjurers blasts with the ability to hear the elements, aptly known as hearers. In order to relay elementals will to the botanists in a more timely manner, a new organization was formed with a hero at its mouth and ears. This organization would eventually evolve to become the Botanist Guild. To this day, the guild employs the service of a hero who offers guidance to our members. Yet this is no longer our organization's sole concern. We also seek to promulgate correct harvesting practices, that is, practice which honor the will of our elementals. And that, my friend, is the story of how our guild came to be. Trust you have a newfound appreciation for the work we do? Now, with all the talk and elementals and communing, perhaps you're wondering whether you live to join us. Well, you might cause doubt to sight. You don't need to have been raised as a good little forest-born boy to be your botanist. Now, do you need to know the secret forest-born salute? I jest you. Just need a healthy respect for nature and a will to learn. If you honestly believe you uh, possess these things, it would be my pleasure to recommend you to our guildmaster. Please wait a moment while we see to our formalities. Speak to me again when you're ready to begin our enrollment procedures. Ready to enroll the Botanist Guild, I take it? Yes, please, the last one. Music to my ears. It will be my pleasure to refer to Guildmaster Fufusha. Our Guildmaster knowledge of nature is second to none. Only need witness to her uncanny neck for spotting the finest timber to see hers as a truly God-given talent. It is for this reason that she holds the title of Botanist. Ah, but you need not be overawed, for she is the kindness of souls. You will find the guild must just outside this building. Seek her out and impress her upon the desire to become a botanist. I am Fufushu, the master of guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I take that Leon Sola, I that Leon Colt has given you an interview with the botanist already. Well then, I suppose you had better continue where you left off. All Gradanians may rightly claim to share a close relationship with nature, but none is so intimate as that of the botanist. It's our calling to nurture the natural environment to its mutual benefit of man and wood. But even so, all nature holds us her. But even as nature holds us in her loving embrace, providing for every need, she is a heart of unessential, unsentimental creature, one that will take life just as readily as she gives it. Being a botanist means coming face to face with this uncomfortable truth on a regular basis. Knowing this, do you still wish to walk our path? Looking in your eyes bespeaks the passion in your heart. 
Very well, I bid you welcome to the Botanist Guild. To help you on your way, I present you with this hatchet. Take it up and then present yourself to me again. I would assign you to our first task as a Botanist of the Guild. Finally, all of the unlockable class have been unlocked. Botanist, that was the last one. We got this one there though. Ethelred. A botanist named Ethelred needs an adventurer to make a delivery on his behalf. God damn, another adventurer? You're like flies on muck. Whatever Gadania did to deserve such a plague, I don't know. <laughs> I suppose times are changing and they kept telling me I should, and perhaps you might be. Oh gods, help me. Just just take this Azime Rose to Waldo of the Stillglade Fen, will you? Well, what are you still standing here for? Go and deliver the bloody rose. Alright. While we're at it, might as well get this one. Then we're gonna do some of these quests. Right, that's all the Ethernets. You have attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Gridania. The Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate, and the Yellow S and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Ethernet destinations. Well, we have finally got all the boring parts done. Look at that. It's all filled in. That looks nice. All level 1. Would be nice if it's like max level. I don't know what is that. Level 100? Here we still need to unlock a lot of things, but limited job. I'm not sure what a limited job means, but it says limited job. Whatever. Alright, Samyain. Good sir, pray tell me you've recovered all the rose hips and abandoned not one to traveler's boot. Here you go. Blessings be upon you. I feared this path would be lined with roses next year. No such wondrous sight will be wholly a question objectionable, objectionable, but as Siamian roses are ill-suited to this location, as a botanist it's my responsibility to see Gridania's plants grow and thrive in the midst the most ideal conditions. A place for every seed and every seed in its place, you might say. It was most gracious of you to aid me in this time of need. I pray the elements extend to you the same kindness. Okay, there's another one. There's another one there. These quests are scattered all over the place. What's all this about? Damison sense he needs a break? The nerve of the swiveling little shite crying for relief all the time like this? Has he already forgotten how short-handed we are since the business with the Ixel the other day? Sending a bloody unknown adventurer to do his bleeding no less? The self-served sot thinks only of his only woes. Robbing his sore souls while welcoming all manner of ill gill grabbing ventures into her holy wood. Useless bloody fool. Makes me blood boil it does. Ah, but it's not you. I should be given a peace of mind to... You seem a decent enough sort, considering, still? I understand that it's a duty to keep an eye on every stranger that passes through these parts. Any road, I appreciate lending an ear to my subordinate. Damn fool that he is. Go on then, I'll see to your... I'll stay, I'll, well, see, see that you stay out of bleeding trouble. So this took forever to do, the last part, you know, getting all the uh, guilds, all the side quests. But we're almost done, it's just a few more quests to uh, finish up on. Yadaith. She's got a new dance for us. Well, I don't know what sorcerer you work, but the younglings are back, and I do believe we've reached an accommodation. It would seem I was stricter than I imagined, and loosened up a bit has made a great difference. 
We dance for the Feast of the Harvest to give thanks to Nofika and the Elementals. There must be no regression in this sense. Let's the Meron be angry. It's very, very important. I do realize I haven't made the best impression. Having you fetch my students for me to make it up to you, would you let me show you the dance? Think of it as a kind of peace offering. Right, now I try. Here we go. <laughs> These dances. Look who's here. Yeah. Why, you're a born dancer, dear sir. And so we say, and so say we, and so say we. Comes a sailor from the sea to show the ladies how it's done, and so say we, and so say we. Swing his axe and says, remember, shiver, shimber me timbers, and so say we, and so say we. Oh, gods, gods, no, Master Beaton, what have you done? You brought a weapon to the sacred dance. The matron forgive us, we are surely doomed. Run! Master Beaton, you scared her off. We were having fun. Timber Master Beaton. Wasn't that Sailor's song? You know it. Never mind how I know it. Move to the point. What could have troubled Miss your death so? You did. S you did. She said you're supposed to be peaceful or the ele- You're supposed- Wait. She said you're supposed to be peaceful or the elements will be upset. And now you know how uptight she gets? It's a course of relationship never was done, never does run smooth, child. You will discover this in time. All right. Well, we got the new dance. You have learned the emote harvest dance. Blue Betcher Gate. That's where we want to teleport to. Need to make some kills. Mapping the realm. Central Shroud. Won't be doing the quest down here until we actually need to go inside this area for the main quest. For now, we'll just take care of these enemies. Finishes up all the quests. Okay, so we need to go to the Lancer's Guild first. Turn it out one quest and then go to the Conjurer's Guild, I guess. It's called Conjurer's Guild? Yes, it is.
The scrolls are dealt with then. Very good. I'm pleased to see you have proven useful. What's this? You wonder what happens to the adventurers who fail to complete such shriveling tasks? Why such sluggards soon find there is no place within the city, and what they do end up leaving Gridania? Well, you hear the truth of that before long. There we go. Complete. Then we take the uh, Ether Shard here and go to the Conjurer's Guild and turn in the last three quests. Talk to Waldo here. Welcome, adventurer, to the Conjurer's Guild. Here to commune with the elements and heed the guidance. Yet, yeah, I must confess, the elements did not whisper of your coming. Here's the Azema Rose. We did indeed request the Azema Rose from Ethelred, but you should have bring it. But that should bring it to us instead of. In his stat means that something worth wonderful has happened. Ethelred has long held a grudge against many adventurers who passes through Gridania's gates. His beloved flowers are renowned for their beauty. You see, and were once so highly coveted by Olden's collectors that they were picked nigh to extinction by fortune-seeking foreigners. Yet, if it's the peace we desire, we must all learn to look be beyond most mistrust born of the past and overcome our prejudice, so as the Elder Sealed Seeds here taught us, and so do we live. I doubt it was easy by Alpharet to entrust the Azaima Rose to you. When he hears when we received it, he will come to know that not all outsiders are serving of scorn. Truly, it will be the will of the elements that you came to us that day. Please accept this as a token of gratitude. There we go, more gold. We're at 22,000 right now. Briar, here we go. Are you back? Have you procured the Scarlet Oil as I requested? As a matter of fact, I have. Yes, everything seems to be appear in order. The ceremony may proceed as planned. I am grateful. To the elements to for delivering thanks the elements no to the elements for delivering it to us. Pray accept this small token of our appreciation. Let's go with the gold. There we go. That is all the side quests. So I'm just checking how long we have till we reach the twelve hours mark. Oh, we got twenty five minutes. We can do the main quest. That one takes a bit, but not that long. Silent Conjurer. You are Alden Envoy. Begging your pardon, sir, but might I expect to miss if you bear? Sure, here you go. Fairly, this is the seal of the Supreme Commander of the Immortal Flames. Please come with me. What kind of ranking do you have to recognize that seal? Do you have voiceover or not? So you are the Uldan envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna. Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. A remembrance service for the Fallen of Cardano. Pray tell me, adventurer, what do you know of her conflict within the Empire? It would seem my counterparts recounted the tale in some detail, that as well. Hmm, a message from the Admiral. A wolf has been sniffling around our stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I'm able. But first, friend of my friend, I will tell you more of the Gardelian trap. In the greater part of the history, Gardamalt was not even among the most influential nations in Ilsebart, the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitek some fifty years past helped to raise it from the depths of obscurity. Emboldened by, his emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbors, swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. 
and when all of Ilsebart lay within its grasp, it turned its ravening gaze upon Eorzea. Yet Gardamold's transformation did not come by the virtue of Magitek alone. The success owned much to the consummate leadership of its first and reigning emperor. Solus Solgaveus, the man who built the empire in his own lifetime, yet he has lived long enough, and after more than four score winters, it is thought that he grows frail and even more prone to his illness. If rumors are to be believed, the matter of succession has, stabilized, has destabilized the imperial court. That would explain the empire's relative inactivity in the recent years, which has grown as much needed time to rebuild. Yet we cannot allow ourselves to become overcome complacent, for Garlemald still maintains our presence in Eorzea, in the form of the 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding this great host is Legatus Gaius von Bilsor, a man whose ambition is well known to us. So long as he breathes Eorzean air, none of us may sleep easy. The calamity wrecked such a devastation upon the realm, that it has been all we could do to nurse our wounds. Never mind rebuild our defenses, simply put, we have not the strength to repel the Empire. To add to the woes, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals, whose very existence is a bane upon the land. Each nation is beset with its own primal problem. None of the resources have really looked beyond its own borders. The Admiral's desire for my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me that the Empire may soon resume its events. Though the primals pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat posed by the Garlean is greater still. Clearly, each nation can no longer afford to think only that which occurs within its own borders. A storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must need to stand united once more. Remembrance service may help to rekindle the spirit of the unity which brought the people of Eorzea together with the last empire threatened our liberty. The Flame General was wise to make this proposition, and I wholeheartedly approve of it. The, necess the, necess the necessary provisions shall be made for service here in Gridania. I like their spears, they're kind of cool. Your work here is done, my friend. I shall send my reply to Flame General forthwith. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safely home. You may now make use of the airship's routes connecting the three nations. Before you may board on an airship, you must pay the requested fare in Gil. Out of Ula. We have a little uh, minion here. Airship. Here we go. Serpent Officer. Serpent Officer has, to, has information that may be of interest to you. I pray you... I pray you meeting with Elder Seetzer went well. My Lord Envoy, correct me if I'm mistaken, but did you not receive or deliver a message to Admiral Merwip Blofsewin of Limsalominsa? While you were here, did you happen to meet Baderon, the properties of the drowning wench? Gregacious gentleman, always happy to help with his fellow men. Well, if I'm told that the task for a capable adventurer, I know not what the task entails, but... I But I dare say the Flame General's personal envoy would make a fine candidate. If you're in, if you're interested in learning more, pray speak with Baderon at his establishment. Teleporting. There we go. We have fifth. 48 eve ride tickets. Otherwise, it's cheaper to take the uh, the airship. So if you skip everything, this probably would take you about two and a half hours, something like that, three hours. We're talking to everyone, so it took me 12 hours. That is a big difference. Well, I say three hours, but I hardly doubt it's three hours, because I think it will take longer. 
Sure, it takes longer if you read everything like I do, but... Speak with better on it, a drowning wench in Limsa Lominsa. Welcome to the Drowning Wrench. Sit whenever you like, mate, and I'll be with you now. Hmm. I'm better, alright. Who's asking? I have heard I got a job for capable adventure, you see? Well, you're bloody right. Just so fairly warned, though, this ain't no job for the faint of heart. Things liable to get downright bleedy airy. But if you think you're still interested, let me know, and I'll, get, I'll fill you in on the details. Better on us to... The proprietor of the Drowning Wench has a need of a capable adventurer. I thank you for taking the time to help me out. Now I'm sure you're busy, so I'll come straight to the point. Where does the suspicion looking bugger has been sneaking in and out of Stasha Sea Grotto, and I need trustworthy sort to lead them north of Aleport and find out who, they're, who they are and what they're up to. Don't sound like much, I know. But if it weren't long ago that the Fishback's pet pirates paid us an unwelcome visit, and folk are falling a bit nervous, if you permit me, Master Bedron, I should be happy to elaborate, Raynor. Well, well, if it ain't the Chief Yellow Jacket himself, to what do I owe this rare honor? Commodore Raynor, come to make sure the patrons are behaving or just thirsty. Neither. In fact, I was informed that he had requested the adventurer to assist in my investigation, and I came to offer what information I could sift from the recent reports. Over the course of the past moons, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel to the coast of Ilport, in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention not more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completely a, a routine patrol of the region, the Sestasha Sea Grotto included. Their search revealed little, save that the family of Pharrells had taken up residence in the cave, nothing to concern in short. The light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Sestasha again. But with the Sahagin testing our defenses daily, I'm loath assigned to test the limited forces at my disposal, or let any stretch thin as it is. Thus, I sought the service of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation of him in our stead. Any aid you can offer to this matter would be greatly appreciated. Then it is settled. Sestasha is located in the Western Lanaskea. For more detailed instructions on how to reach the place, I suggest you consult Vimelpa. She can be found at the ferry docks on the lower docks. You lead the man. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, lad. Let's pick these up. Rising to the challenge. Itoan is ill-pleased with the carelessness of its French customers. We all know what, how it feels to have one too many. That's why I not fool our patrons for much what goes on in their tables. But it's too much to ask to keep their belongings on their personal when they leave. It wouldn't bother me so much as half of them didn't show up a week later. Ranting and ravings as if drunken heedlessness were shown my fault. Somehow my fault. Take this impressive looking journal right here. As oft as it used to seem to be, I've no doubt its owner is tearing up the town, searching for its prized possession. It's a blue one, so you give something. A stranger he was, a Svevi Rogadin who enjoyed his drink, seemed to be getting on well with one of the regulars, Quentinine. Perhaps you could still catch up with him if you spare me the headache. I'd offer you a free drink, but the last time I did that, the Baron docked my wages. Beauty is only scalp deep, Sejobi. Rumors of a most dangerous madman about town have Sejobi at ill at ease. You're either a brave man or a fool friend to be wandering the streets of Limsa tonight. What with the slasher of fisherman bottom on the loose? Not her, there's a madman about. Why, it, he says he brandished blades so long that it's sharp that he could get a will. No one's seen any blood yet, but he hasn't stopped the rumors from sending shivers up my spine to every ill house in town. That, you're still standing before me tells me you don't scare easily as the rest. Perhaps you could assist me with an investigation. 
To start with, you might want to look into that scream I just heard outside. Shudder. Alright, and then... This is not the quest itself, right? Speak with Quentin. Alright, nope, there we go. Alrighty! Well, that was a very long stream, guys. We've reached the hour... We've reached the 12 hour mark, in which YouTube will no longer save our videos if I continue. I have to do it manually, so now YouTube does it automatically. And I could take a break, let's be honest. Be streaming for 12 hours straight. So, I do hope you enjoyed the guy. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to help me out, please consider subscribing, as I've made it my goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2024. Let's see if we can reach it. A little shout out here to Robin S91 for joining the stream. JP Gaming, DNNG, Professor Void. Thank you guys for joining the chat as always. And then I hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play, Final Fantasy XIV. Might be coming back to streaming later today. Let's see. Depends in, uh, if I have any plans later on. Gonna ask a few people. If they're up for it, then uh, I'll join them. If they're not up for it, I'll be back streaming here. Alright, I'll see you all in the next Let's Play. Till then.